Welcome guys. Let me know whenever you guys can uh, see me. Welcome to the stream. Sorry it's been uh, so <laughs> unfortunately delayed. Um, just, you know, went to <laughs> went to Mexico, then I got COVID. Good times. Oh crap, I said co Oh no. Should I have said that word within the first like few minutes? Is YouTube gonna get mad at me? Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I can't remember. I think they used to get mad when you said you know the c word <laughs> but hopefully it's okay whatever hey guys welcome i'm gonna ask you guys to be a um a little patient with me because i'm still kind of sick but uh oh my gosh you went to mexico yes i can confirm that everybody um everybody is alive and well <laughs> in uh in mexico unfortunately mitch was there yeah he was the one who gave me uh covid <laughs> He just pulled down my mask and coughed right in my face as I was about to board the plane back home. Oh, God. I just found out a train goes choo-choo. I am so happy for you, Epta. King shit. <laughs> we are so happy for you, King. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome, guys. Thanks for uh, coming. The trip was good. Uh, besides getting sick. I was, like, sick while there. I was like, what is wrong with me? Oh, man. And please, no uh, spoilers. Let me go ahead and uh, put that in chat, please. Spoilers, please no. Thank, bless. Okay. Okay, I don't, oh yeah. Um, so I got um, this little guy too while I was in Mexico. Let me um, get this. Uh, <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever. Look at him. Oh my god. <laughs> the little kitty cat Mitch. I saw it and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> what is this thing? I'm gonna call him a uh, Mitch Nut. I know, I know that name sounds really bad. The reason for it is because uh, my real cat's name is Peanut. And then when Dara made that cursed ass uh, Mitch X Peanut edit, uh, they called it Mitch Nut. So <laughs> this is Mitch Nut. Oh my god. Isn't he just so precious? He's just so, so adorable. I'll be getting a new little mascot in the uh, in the streams. Oh gosh, Catboy Mitch! No, no. Oh, thank you, Vegas. So excited for the stream. Appreciate that. Thanks for being a member. Thank you, Brandon. Wow, we be you survived Mexico. How was the wedding? It was beautiful, amazing. Besides, besides Mitch there, who was there to ruin it. I was like, aren't you supposed to be in Hawaii, bro? <laughs> aren't you supposed to be in Hawaii? Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, uh, NR China 20 Rose, for becoming a part of the Kenjo cult. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, I saw this, like, uh, mannequin, too, that looks so much like Haru. Kind of, I need to post that. I posted it on the Discord. I haven't posted it on, like, the Reddit yet, though. It's pretty funny. So, BB's canon. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> it's not, not canon. Thank you, X. Remember to live, laugh, love, Setsuka, Oomphies. <laughs> So true, bestie, so true. Thank you, Epta. We you should join us when we listen to You Know Miles so you can figure out what sound a train makes. Thanks, I'm very confused about it. So, so true. It, it says meow, right? That's, that's what a train does, right? <laughs> Thank you, Kokichi's Croc. Great seeing you at Satsuki and Hari's Mexican wedding. Oh my god, it was so great seeing you, Kokichi's Croc, too. You and uh, your lovely... Lovely groom, Kenjo. Or was it Ken? I think it was Kenjo, right? That you were marrying? <laughs> but thanks, guys, for uh, all the donations and such. Oh, yeah. Uh, people are saying... I, I don't know if I'm going to get to the execution today. Hopefully, um, hopefully I do. Oh, welcome, Brandon. Thank you for becoming part of the Kenjo cult. Um, just because I'm feeling still a little under the... I feel like mostly okay, but I don't know. I feel like my main symptom now has just been like being really tired. So if I get tired and stuff we might not be able to get to the ex execution but if we do get to it i can put like a trigger warning or something oh thank you kelsey hope you feel better soon i appreciate it also i'm so sorry i for i've been quarantining so i think your stickers are still downstairs that i bought i was like looking for them frantically <laughs> trying to find them before the stream started because i have the uh what was it like the sticker like the sorry i was born stupid sticker i was like crap i forgot about that but i've been having to quarantine upstairs until like just this morning basically so i was like looking around frantically for them i was like i know they're in the house somewhere but i don't have them today for the stream oh thank you average gamer 69 sorry if this makes you never unsee things but setska only has one eye open <laughs> also mitch is obviously the killer the clues are there that is so true he told me that when i was in mexico too he was like i did it weeby for for us for our love i was like fuck off mitch 
I caught Kinjo. I caught. Oh no! No! I caught Kinjo cheating on me with Yuki. I mean, you kind of should have seen that coming, though. I'm sorry, bestie. <laughs> but uh, but I mean, I think that I think that one was kind of kind of coming. You know what I mean? How is the Satoko Haitara wedding, Mexico wedding, so beautiful, amazing, magical, magical? Everybody was so alive. It, it was just amazing. What a beautiful, beautiful wedding. <laughs> Thank you, Ace, for becoming a uh, part of the Kinjo cult, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Thank you, Nikkei Stan. Welcome to the Kinjo cult. Thanks for becoming a Kinjo cult member. Welcome back from Mexico. Hope it was fun and hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Soul. Appreciate that. Me, too. <laughs> Oh, thank you. AF Green Machine. I'm sorry you got the Mitch disease. I tested positive yesterday, so I get to be here too. Oh, no. You got to quarantine. <laughs> you got to quarantine, man. Oh, God. What if he gave me the Mitch, Mitch itis instead of COVID, dude? Or you just like slowly start turning into Mitch over time. Jesus. <laughs> no. No. Oh, so much worse. Thank you guys for all the uh, donations and stuff. I appreciate it. Um, I want to give a couple of shout outs to the subreddit like normal. Oh, wait. Thank you, Phoenix. First time making it live. Can't wait. I oh, appreciate you. Thank you. I'm glad you got to, uh, <laughs> glad you got to make it to the stream. This one was made by, uh, Lemon Brownie, so I won't be able to play the whole thing here. But they, uh, they decided to, uh, whatchamacallit, um, make like an animatic for um, me reading <laughs> that one movie fanfic that I read on uh, stream a little while back. It's just beautiful. The whole thing's amazing, especially, <laughs> hey baby girl. <laughs> it's just a bunch of really great <laughs> things like this. So I highly recommend that. Um, that one movie fanfic, but it's an animatic. You can look it up on YouTube or it's on Reddit. And I'm pretty sure I tweeted it on um, Twitter too. I'm gonna keep donating so you never end up getting the game, getting to the game. Oh no! But we gotta know what happened to uh, to. Why can't I can't think of her name right now. <laughs> like to to give her bro's wife. Her, the you know, you to the girl, guys, the girl, the girl who died. This is. So sad. I'm tired. Okay. So, I'm tired and I'm sick, so don't judge me. Oh, I love this uh, art too, especially because you're in a fishing, <laughs> fishing Mitch down there. This one was by uh, Laura Lamer. And then this one's by uh, Kuramame. Happy birthday to Nikkei. I was going to stream on his birthday, but I ended up not doing it because I was sick. So happy late birthday, Nikkei. At least you don't have to see your friends die or you die um, on your birthday. Because that'd be kind of sad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, freaking my Kokoro is broker. <laughs> Yuruko. You <laughs> just say the random ass names in the chat. <laughs> I would never forget Kokoro. I was testing you guys. Just testing you guys. I would never forget her name, okay? That's so not me. I would never do this. I refuse to, uh, oh god, <laughs> sorry about that, Kokoro, I'm very torn up about your death, as you can see, <laughs> oh god, okay, let's go ahead and get this, uh, all set up, and, do do do, do do do, uh, Sorry, guys. Ah. Here you go. I think that's it, right? Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Wait, let me, uh... <laughs> it's like, why is my, my files folder back there? I think I might have missed some other, uh... Some other donations. Oh, thank you, Morseline. Kokoro was just chilling too soon. Wait, who's, who's Kokoro again? <laughs> I know Inori in this game, but not, uh, Kokoro. <laughs> Kind of like, just kind of uh, escaping my memory for whatever reason. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, I appreciate it. Not allowed to find out, it's confidential. <laughs> I figured it out. I have a whole brain cell, a whole half of a brain cell working overtime right now to remember <laughs> who it was who died. Oh man, I already watching Weeby forget, uh, 
The irony of watching Weavey to forget I'm sick and stuck in bed while she plays a game about a girl sick and stuck in bed and then she dies. Oh my god, I'm sick too. <laughs> sick. Uh, <laughs> it's like sickception right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Bless Spain too. I think I might have missed this one. Titchin for Ray and Coco to sing a duet of Katy Perry's. <laughs> no! No! No, no, no. Hot and cold. Oh my. Thank you, Gamer Bro. That's it, Weeby. You're getting canceled. How dare you forgo forgore my wife's day? I remember that. I remember that she was your wife, Gamer Bro. Isn't that more important? Isn't that more important than anything? That's what truly matters in life. <laughs> truly. <laughs> I remember the important part that you sent for her, and that's all that matters. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and start talking. Oh my god, Mikado, bestie. <laughs> Uh -huh. Sura's best boy. Oh, thank you, Epta. Oh my god, you showed up by our own stream. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm Kura. By the way, thank you again. Yeah, I have figured it was you, Epta, since uh, I organized your art. But I was like, I should still probably read uh, his, uh, you know, like, username on Reddit. Thank you for the awesome art. I appreciate it. You'll never click that start button. I did it anyways. I did it. Weeby is just flustered because she met Mitchy IR. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, no. He got me. I hated him so much that I got physically ill from being around him. After like two or three years, I got contracted COVID just from being in Mitch's presence. Uh, thank you guys for the donations. I appreciate it. Oh, Miss Sora, how's the investigation going? You're in my way. Get out. Are there no depths to your cruelty, Miss Sora? And I was just about to show you a clue I'd found. Uh, clue. Oh. Yes, take a look at this. Cold pack? What's this? Dry ice? So how's that? An open bag of dry ice, no less. I found it on the floor just over there. Oh, thank you, McDonald's Sionji. Mikado called. Oh my god, that profile picture. I think I've seen it around before. It's like Sionji, Mikado, so much, uh, <laughs> so many combinations. Aw, uh, but thank you, I appreciate it. I hope I, uh, I feel like mostly better. It's just kind of like sleepy is the main, main, uh, symptom I have right now. <laughs> thank you, Cookie Cheese Croc. Shit, I want a refund. <laughs> I started the game and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, thank you, Maki. I'm once again asking Kanade to insult me. I'm, well, if you just dress up as like Yuruko, I'm sure she'd be more than willing, more than willing to insult you. <laughs> more than willing. Thanks, guys, for the donations. Opened a bag of dry ice, no less. I found it on the floor just over there. I was trying to remember it was like, who would have had time to come in here, like, uh, to set all this up, you know what I mean? We all were like going with Teruya, I believe, but. I don't know, it's kind of been a while since I played it, so hopefully they'll refresh my memory. Dry ice, so this is how they froze Good Kokoro. Grief. Who knows, but wouldn't it be too difficult to freeze someone with just this? You could partially freeze some parts, but there are only so many pieces. Definitely not enough to completely freeze Kokoro's whole body. But the fact this open bag exists means that they must have used it one way or another. Perhaps the low temperature of this room can provide a clue. It would definitely be hard to freeze a whole body with just this. Still, the fact that this exists means that they must have used it in one way or another. But... Um, that's what I just freaking said. <laughs> just saying the same exact thing. But, oh my god, but it was me who thought of it. Considering the cold air and the white mist that was here, there is po a possibility that they use it to lower the room's temperature. This feels like an important clue. I should write this down. It's a good thing I found it all on my own and nobody else showed Please it to me. Stop that. Um, Miss Sora, since I'm the one who. Hey, are you adoring me? You can stop that. <laughs> I think she was. I get. I was like. I don't think if I was clicking in the key, it seemed like she was actually just skipping through his dialogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up, Mikado. Over you. Ah, the student e handbook. I instinctively checked my pocket and found mine was still on me, but. If not mine, then, well, then I think it's probably Kokoro's. Ah, hey, Nikkei. Uh. That e-handbook right there is making this situation a whole lot more complicated. Uh, what do you mean? Right. Uh, think about it. Our rooms can only be opened by the owner's e-handbook. Yeah, it was like, that'd be pretty hard to uh, break in because of that. The e-handbook is inside the room. Yeah, Kokoro was also killed inside the room. Look at like the, the vents or something. Oh my God, I saw so many vent guys. So the key to this room was inside the room itself. Could this be a locked room murder? Yeah, and Kokoro would never 
would never open the door if it's not for her meals. Unless they just like somehow got the ice in the room without um, getting in the room themselves. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I kind of forgot about that. But you can only open the room through your e-handbooks. It'd be pretty hard to get, especially if it's in the room. Yeah, and Kukuro would never open the door if it's not for her meals. So that would mean somebody who is here to bring her food use that chance to kill Kokoro. That would be impossible. It'd be possible only if only one person had visited her. But including Taria, there were always more than two people that had visited her. Dude, what if Taria did this? That'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> I see. I severely doubt it. But I'm just thinking of like the craziest possibilities, you know. And yet, besides that, there are no other ways to enter these rooms. So it could only have happened during mealtime. Um... Um, Nikkei, maybe if someone had stolen Kokoro's e-handbook, couldn't they come in whenever they wanted? Uh -huh. huh? Uh, they could have snatched the e-handbook while giving Kokoro her food. Then after that, they could have entered the room freely as they pleased. That's not possible either. So what if they steal it? You can't even turn the e-handbook on if you don't have the owner's fa- Oh, is that why they cut off her hands? I can, uh, I can see, I can see that being the case. Ew! What is wrong with this person, dude? Uh, That's why. I don't think we found, like, where her hands and stuff are yet, either. Even if you happen to leave the e-handbook on, you wouldn't be able to use it again without the fingerprint. The e-handbook automatically turns off after a certain amount of time. So unless you plan to re-enter right after you'd left, you won't be able to enter the room. Oh, I thought I solved the mystery, poo-poo. Uh. Anyways, if we don't solve the trick behind this locked room murder, this trial is gonna get real difficult real fast, especially with Weeby solving it. You can't enter the rooms without the e-handbook, then how did the culprit enter Kokoro's room? Cut off her freaking hand, Zora! Have you looked at that? Oh god, okay. Let's look at the fridge. Are they gonna be in there? A refrigerator! <laughs> There'd be nothing weird in here, for sure. Perhaps there's some kind of clue inside here. Nothing special to note. Okay, that's good. I just always think of like dead bodies being in fridges, you know? Wait, um, this is... At first, I first thought it to be a normal refrigerator, but I soon noticed something odd. The divider, it's a bit, bit tilted. The divider between the refrigerator compartments seem a bit unnatural, like... Huh. Hmm. They put her in here. The hand must have been very handy. Oh, you guys! <laughs> Screw you guys. Why'd they have to cut her feet off too? I don't know, man. I don't know. It seems like maybe they shoved her in here then. They could have like froze her to death in here and then moved her out here later. Maybe like when the room got like cold enough. Cause like, it would take a really long time to get this room cold. Either way, this is such a messed up murder, dude. <laughs> okay, like someone, like someone just crammed it in. So this divider was removable. I guess Kokoro could have just misplaced it at some point. But I'll write it down, just in case. Say... Oh, Sora, you saw that too? Are you talking about the refrigerator dividers? It does look a bit suspicious, but I doubt it'll be an important clue. No, not that. You didn't miss it, did you? Are you... Oh my god, are you as stupid as your Ruko? The dying message. Uh oh. The dying message? I opened the door and searched inside again, but I couldn't see anything resembling the dying message that Kanade mentioned. Oh, thank you, Marceline. Let's just help Kokoro get back on her feet. No! I have some bad news for you, bestie. I have some bad news. I don't think that's ever going to happen, ever. I think it might be a little too late for that one. Thank you for the donation. Kanade mentioned. Where's the dying message? Uh, poor Sora, you're more dense than you look. Oh my god, and I thought your Ruko was fucking stupid. See the bottom compartment over there? Um. Oh, what the? Are you talking about these icicles? Certainly. Yep, this is the dying message that Kokoro left. The icicles are the dying message? Oh, hey, Kazuna left a dying message too. We should lend Kokoro a hand. She definitely, she definitely needs, she definitely needs a hand right now. Or two. Ba bum ching. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, uh, Kokichi's Croc. Oh, man. Icicles are the dying message? I was like, yeah, because they don't left a dying message to you. I don't really know how the icicles did it, though. I guess, I wonder if we'll have, like, a thing with, like, ah, with Akane, too. Kind of like, because, uh, you know, Akane thought she did it in that one, but then she didn't end up doing it. Or I wonder if we're going to get something like that. I thought these were just frozen icicles that had dropped Use down. Your head. <laughs> Use your head. 
Sora, come on, that brain. Use that brain a bit more. I know you don't have much. We can deduce two facts from these icicles. First, the refrigerator's output is set to maximum power. I'm sure you've heard from Monaco, but the refrigerators in her rooms can be set to instant freezing or defrosting. <laughs> Thank you, uh, average gamer. Everyone with these puns needs to chill out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm dead on the inside. Thank you for the uh, thanks for the donation. You guys got no chill for real, for real, for real. I'm sure you heard from Monaco, but the refrigerators or rooms can be set to instant freezing or defrosting. Moods depending on its output power. This particular refrigerator is set to instant freezing mode. Oh yeah, they totally they totally put her in here and froze her that way. Oh, I see. I guess we'll see too when we get to her if she's like already kind of like starting to melt or something maybe. Oh, I see. I guess the one in my room wasn't cold enough to form icicles. Also. Second, Kokoro used these icicles to leave a dying message. She just like wrote like, not the maid. <laughs> what, a, what the hell is this supposed to mean, Sora? <laughs> Staring at it. Sora, take a co close look at these icicles. Oh, thank you, Brandon. I solved it, Mitch's third brother, Fitch. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Although I can believe this, do you know something about this, Mitch Nut? <laughs> he, he can vouch. He's shaking his head. He's like, yep, it was definitely the third Mitch hiding in the school. For some reason, I sound like a monocoma. Thank you for the donation. So we're going to take a close look at those icicles. On closer inspection, the icicles had small carvings on their bases. On one side, it says F, and the other, O. F, O. <laughs> Fuck off. I thought these were just scratches, but they were deliberately engraved by someone. How'd she even do that, though? She was, um, you know, um, paralyzed. Indeed. Yep, and if you look closely, two of the eight icicles are overlapped. Overlapped? But... Well, to be specific, it's more like the longer one had penetrated the smaller one. In the pierced icicle, the smaller one has not F and O, but F and I engraved, engraved to it. FIFO. Fofi. <laughs> So true. I think you might get kicks sweepy out of her chair. Move, Queen is here. Oh god. Simp, simp, simp. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Maki. I appreciate it. Now that you pointed out, it does look like that. But how did you know that this is the dying it's message? Obvious. I mean, it's obvious. The icicles are lined up in an unnatural way. Plus the refrigerator being on instant freezing mode was suspicious as well. So, what does it mean? Are you for real? <laughs> for real? Does a dying message have any other purpose than to point out the fucking killer? Then, did you find out who the culprit is? <laughs> Duh! That's... I can't tell you right now. No spoilers. I need a bit longer to think about it. <laughs> foo foo, but don't worry. I'll be sure to figure it out before the trial. This is a dying message. The message that points out who's the killer. FIFO, I can't believe this. <laughs> How could FIFO do this? Although I'm not sure what it means, I can't just leave it all to Kanade. We should figure it out together at the trial. Refrigerator divider. Just starts getting like really stupid at the trial. <laughs> so like, Sora comes out, she's like, it was FIFO, guys. I Like, everybody's like, who the hell is FIFO? Then Shinji's like, oh no, not FIFO, my imaginary friend. He would never do this. Kanani's in the corner just like, are you are you guys serious? <laughs> Am I gonna have to lead this trial by myself? This is a drum container. What is this doing in Kokoro's room? On closer inspection, there is a label on the drum. Liquid nitrogen, handle with caution. Liquid nitrogen. This thing can freeze an object in an instant. Oh my god, there's so many things. Uh, decoding that message. Good luck. It's impossible. I already did it. <laughs> It's FIFA. Oh, FIFA equals FIFA equals Mitch. I was thinking that too. It's like, it kind of sounds like FIFA. Thanks for being a member though, Nilo. I appreciate it. Oh God, I can't believe Mitch is... How many, how many fucking versions of Mitch is there now? But he's probably FIFA. I'm sure, I'm sure he's FIFA. Whatever version of Mitch we're on. Liquid nitrogen, just think it freeze an object in an instant. There's like a million things that can freeze. There's like the refrigerator, this thing. Um, what else was there? Oh, yeah, the dry ice. Oh, thank you, Kate King. Oh, my God. You're all poking fun when somebody just died. I'm over here trying to mourn for Gamer Bros loss over here. Insert limb and or cold pun here. It'd be like that. It'd do be like that. <laughs> thank you for the donation. 
FIFA looks like FIFA. FIFA equals soccer. Soccer equals Mitch. That is so true, bestie. I think we figured it out, guys. I think I think we figured it out with our big brains, guys. It's always Mitch, okay? Mitch did it last time. He's gonna do it this time. He's gonna do it the next time. Every fan game I play forever <laughs> will be Mitch is the culprit. God bless. Thank you, Brandon, by the way. <laughs> Appreciate it. Liquid nitrogen. This thing can freeze an object in an instant. After carefully opening the lid and looking inside, I found out it was empty. If it's empty, that means somebody used it. This seems like an important clue. What is it? Rara, what are you doing? Did somebody say she always has her eyes her eye closed? What are you trying to hide, you sussy baka? Why am I so sus if poor Sensica, dude? <laughs> She's just too nice, you know? Ayo, hey, let's go. We finally back. What's up, Weeby? Oh, thank you, MBA, for coming to the stream. I know. It's, it's good to be back, man. I miss this game. And I miss hanging out with you guys. Rara, what are you doing? Seska, take a look at this. It's liquid nitrogen. The culprit must have used this to freeze Kokoro. Huh? Is she really always have her eye closed? Girl. Girl, you trying to hide a moid symbol in your eye or some shit? <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad, but I do suss her. She's just so nice. She's so nice that I have a hard time believing it, okay, guys? Using liquid nitrogen to free... Using liquid nitrogen to freeze Coco. Are you sure? Isn't it a possibility? Don't. If the culprit used liquid... Girl, like, really? <laughs> Literally every, every freaking photo she does. How did I not notice that until now? If the culprit used liquid nitrogen, there must be some traces of it left somewhere. What do you mean? Aside from that... If they put Coco on the bed and poured liquid nitrogen on her, the sheets on the bed should have been frozen as well. Okay. Better than the room temperature, there aren't any frozen traces anywhere, let alone the bed. If they didn't pour it on her, maybe they could have dunked Kotaro into the container, then pulled her out. If that's the case, they wouldn't have been able to pull her out. Their hands would have frozen the instant they put them in the container. And if they poured it on the floor, the floor would have been frozen, not to mention the container is empty, right? If they dipped her, some traces or leftover liquid would have been definitely left inside. So that means the culprit didn't use liquid nitrogen, but then why why is this here? Thing is. Does Setsuka have heterochromia or missing an eye? So like, I don't know, maybe she has like a glass eye or something? Uh, shot it out with a pinball or whatever it is. If there was like a shot put ball murder, I would definitely be sussing her. I guess I'm already <laughs> I'm always sussing her anyways. <laughs> oh gosh. Thank you for the uh, donation, Kate King. And uh, thank you, Upta. It's tough going after my oomphies. What? I'm sorry, but she's sus. I can't help it. She's still very pretty though. I love how much you hate Mitch, yet he's probably the most talked about person in your streams at this point. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> See, I'm getting sick now just having to talk about Mitch, Sean. How could you do this to me? <clears throat> My COVID's coming back just from having to talk about Mitch. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Oh, God. Well, I guess we need to investigate more. Maybe we'll find our answer later. After hearing Setsuka's words, I'm sure there's more to the strum than meets the eye. I decided to make note of it for now. Liquid nitrogen container has been added to the bullet section. Setsuka's account, she's still not showing her eye. It's gonna go through my whole life like this from now on. Um. <laughs> that's what, that's cute, right? Uh, how's the progress? I'm, Sora, how's the progress? I'm still in shock, really. I'm really, wait. I was like, uh, I was like, wait, it's not, we're not in Nori's death, Yuki. You can't do any shock puns. <laughs> oh man, I forgot, sorry. Me too, but we should keep investigating. Oh, that's right. I wanted to ask you something, Yuki. Oh. Ask me about what? You said this morning that Kokoro didn't open her door when you brought her meal last night, correct? Can you give me a full recap of what sure. happened? Ah, uh, sure, if that would help. It's just like what I said in the morning after dinner last night. I suggested that to Emma. Since she always left right after finishing a meal, I hadn't had a chance to talk with her in a while. So I suggested going to visit Kokoro together. My, what a brave move on your part. Are you sure that there wasn't any personal feelings involved? <laughs> personal feelings? Emma wasn't in the best state because of Kokoro's condition. She was, she was looking for someone to visit with her anyways. I'm joking, Yuki. Please continue. What? Right, right. Anyway, so that's how Emma, Taria, and I became a group for Kokoro's supper delivery last night. I feel like Yuki has a crush on everybody. Can't bear not talking about Mitch, can you? <laughs> I literally get COVID once again. <laughs> 
when I start talking about Mitch. Co Co Mitch. Co Mitch or Mitch vid 19. <laughs> Something like that. I get sicker the more I was feeling perfectly fine. Then you guys kept talking about Mitch and all of a sudden I was like, it's I'm relapsing. I have I have COVID again. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Uh right, anyways, that's how Emma Teruya and I became a group for Kokoro's Supper last night. Okay, Emma Teruya and Yuki. I don't know, man. I don't want to assess Emma, but it would be the most sad if she was the one who did it. And I feel like if somebody was to get into Kokoro's room, like if Kokoro was gonna let anybody in, I feel like it probably would be Emma. But I don't know, I think I'm mostly just kind of going off of the basis of it be that would be the saddest. Oh, thank you, James, for the $5 donation. I appreciate it. But when we arrived, there was no answer. We even told her we brought Teruya, but again, nothing. Well, I guess she kind of allegedly seemed like she was already dead then anyway, so. After a few more tries, we all just assumed she must have been sleeping, so we left her supper in front of her door and left. It'd be logical to assume that she was already dead at that well. point. I doubt that. Oh. Remember what Yuruko said earlier? The supper we left on her doorste doorstep had been taken away that night. Okay. Maybe they did it that night then? Huh. Yuruko. <gasps> what? Did somebody call me? Ah, Yuruko, perfect timing. Is it true that, that the dinner at Kokoro's doorstep was gone? That the dinner that the dinner that was at Kokoro's doorstep was gone when you passed by last night? Huh? huh? Well, yeah, that's what I saw. I told you that this morning. Um. Come to think of it, it was Yuruko who brought this morning's meal, right? If it's okay, could I ask you what you did? What did you do this morning? Oh, no. I mean, I just delivered the food and did my usual stuff. I went with Yuruko to deliver the breakfast. What happened to that breakfast, man? And when we called for her, there was no answer. So just like Yuki, I left the food by her door and went straight to the village. The village? What for? I always practice cooking in the morning at the village. Oh. Oh my god, practicing becoming a good wife for me? <laughs> slant. Don't slant. Don't. Slant. I was totally saying slant. I, never, I would never say the other word, the S word. <laughs> Hopefully one day we won't have to rely on Mikado's cooking. Oh, that's, that's a good idea, actually. So let's go. Where's long sleeves? Weavy, what are you hiding on your arms? <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys want to make fun of me, but you're gonna you're going to feel so stupid <laughs> when she finally opens her eye and you just see Mitch in there. And he's alive, living inside of Setsuka's glass eye. You guys are all gonna feel really stupid when you find out that I'm right. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Oh god. <laughs> Hopefully one day we won't have to rely on Mikado's cooking. Um, but the breakfast that Yuriko left is still here on the doorstep and hasn't been touched. So that means it's almost certain Kokoro died this morning. What? what? What's with these looks on your face? Are you guys suspecting me? I would never. Not one bit. It's useless to suspect anyone when the trial hasn't even started yet. <laughs> I thought it was you were going to say you didn't suspect me because you love me or something, Sora. <laughs> no, that's not it. Yuki, we need more clues for now. Sorry. You're right, let's not jump to conclusions. The only time anyone would enter this room is during the three scheduled visits. Excluding just now when we found out Kokoro's, when we found Kokoro's corpse. The possible times are this morning and yesterday evening. Yuruko and Yuki's account on those two visits might come in handy. I should write this down. It'd be interesting if it was suicide, but that doesn't really make sense since uh, I feel like she was very uh, adamant about like wanting to survive, you know what I mean? But I almost feel like that would make like the most sense, you know what I mean? I guess it just kind of reminds me of like a Sakura's murder a little bit because she was like trapped in a room, you know? Okay, the victim is Kokoro Mitsume. The estimated time of death is unknown. The victim's corpse was found in Kokoro Mitsume's room. Both hands and feet have been cut off and are missing. There's also instances of second to third degree frostbite all over the body causing necrosis to the cells. Other possible causes of death are destruction of cellular tissues due to hypothermia or frostbite. There may be additional damage and other signs indicating otherwise. However... <laughs> However... <laughs> not gonna let you read the rest of that movie. Uh, spoilers! So you're claiming Setsuka is Sitch, the eighth sister, not the other... <laughs> the other Mitch sibling. <laughs> oh my god, Mitch has a sibling. Sitch, that's so true. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying she's definitely a part of Moid. <laughs> Thank you, Amon. Thank you, Upta. From X. This is the sound of a pigeon. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Thank you, X. 
<laughs> Are you doing okay? I know I'm, uh, I'm just respecting your waifu a little bit. <laughs> a little bit by thinking she's evil. But hey, I like, I love and respect evil women. So there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Thank you guys for the donations. Kokoro's body was lying down on the bed like a lifeless block of ice. Kokoro, who killed you? Is it even possible to figure out the culprit without Kokoro's help? We're so stupid by ourselves. We're all basically Teruya from the last game. Now we can't let ourselves despair. Even without Kokoro, we need to win the class trial. Kokoro, if you'll excuse me, I need to feel around your body to examine you. Oh, thank you, Marcy. Keep a souvenir snap for frozen hair and ten. Oh, gosh. Keep a souvenir snap off for frozen hair and tennis. No! <laughs> That's so awful. <laughs> Somebody finds in Sora's pocket. Um, what's what's this, Sora? Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. I'm not weird. I'm not. I'm not weird. You're weird. You guys are the weird ones. Kokoro's body was frozen, and she was only wearing her underwear. It was an appalling sight, but the culprit may have left some evidence behind. The cause of death is due to freezing, for sure. I don't know, Sora. That one's uh, I think that one's still on the table. But since the moniker file mentioned that there may be additional causes, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. In addition to that, okay, I was like, I wonder if the bleeding, like, uh... Cause I think, yeah, they would have to have cut off her hands and feet, I think, before they froze her, because there's, like, blood coming out of it, you know what I mean? It would have to get, like, a chainsaw or something to, uh, whatchamacallit, like, cut it off, I feel like, after she was frozen, anyways. In addition to that... Oh, I don't want to see that, girl. Both of Kokoro's hands and feet were nearly cut, this nearly cut the off. Direct cause of death, but nothing's confirmed yet. Other than that, there was no identifiable injuries. It's hard to notice other abnormality, abnormalities, abnorm, abnormalities in the first place due to the whole corpse being frozen. At this point, Mitch is going to have just as many siblings as Satsuki. That's what I was thinking too, honestly. <laughs> I was like, there's basically as many Mitches, fake Mitches in our weird Mitch lore as there is for like, um, uh, <laughs> Satsuki's, uh, siblings. Hey. Sorry, are you investigating Kokoro's body? Yeah, I thought I might find some potential leads. So, did you find anything? No, not yet. I have a question though. Why is Kokoro only wearing her underwear? Um, isn't it because the culprit undressed her? What I'm saying is, why would you take off her clothes in the first place? I don't know if that was maybe like uh, just to get us to not, I don't know, mess with the body as much. Like we'd feel too shy to or maybe. something. Or see, like it would be too disrespectful or something. Well, there must have been some reason. Right now, her clothes are under the bed. Okay. Maybe it's so that she'd freeze to death quicker? Um, I honestly don't have a clue. <sighs> I really feel sorry for her. I wouldn't want to die like this. I don't know who the culprit is, but I'm not going to let the culprit get off easy. To leave Coker in such a terrible state as this, it's unforgivable. So true, Queen. I wish I could cover her with a blanket, but thinking rationally, Shobai's words make sense. There could be evidence found on Kokoro's body. In fact, you're investigating it too, Sora. Yeah, that's true. I think that was why I was thinking that in the first place, because I think, yeah, Yuriko like, wanted to cover her up, and Shobai was like, I don't know, shouldn't mess with the evidence, but it makes sense that if she was naked, we'd want to like cover her up and like mess with the evidence. So it was kind of a smart move to do, now that I think about it. Won't be here long, but you keep me going during finals. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Lala. And I hope you uh, do good on your finals. I know how stressful those are, man. Do not miss those days, but good luck. There could be evidence found on Kogura's body. In fact, you're investigating it too, Sora. Right. Huh? By the way, Sora, did you also investigate the bed? The bed? Listen. While Aroha and I were investigating around the bed, we found blood stains. Of course, I saw that. Aren't those from the cut hands and feet? No, not that. I'm talking about the dry blood stains. Oh. Dry? Look. Oh, is it purple? <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess because it's like pink would dry and turn purple, kind of like how red dries and turns like brown sometimes. It looks like some time has passed for these blood stains to dry. You can tell from its color and texture. So, where did these blood stains come from? It doesn't seem like it's from the severed hands and feet. Oh, no. From the looks of it, the blood from the. The from, uh, from the looks of it, the blood from the severed limbs came from the frozen blood vessels that they started as they started to thaw. Oh, wait. <coughs> Ew. Ew. Excuse me. <coughs> Ew. <coughs> oh, man. 
For the looks of it, the blood in the severed limbs came from the frozen blood vessels as they started to thaw. So, okay. So maybe they did cut it off when she was still frozen then. Wouldn't they be like a chainsaw or something? <laughs> maybe. With this, we can assume that the hands and feet were cut off after Kokoro had completely frozen over. Then these blood stains it must be from before Kokoro was frozen, right? But... Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you for blessing me. Appreciate it. But then again, it's probably too soon to say for certain. <clears throat> you're okay. You're a lot smarter than you see. <laughs> I don't care what Kanani says about you. And she says a lot of bad stuff about you, man. I'll tell you what. Hey, do you keep acting? Why do you keep acting like using my brain is some kind of big feat for me? I'm trying my best to figure out what happens too, you know? I'll make sure to take note of that. Thanks, Yuruko. I don't... Uh, oh, it, it's nothing, really. Oh. I love it when she blushes. Blush for me more. Okay. Um, What else is there? I think I've done everything in here so far, right? What do you think, Emma? You sussy baka. Emma, how's your investigation I'm going? I'm sorry, Sora, but I want to focus on investigating right now. Can we talk after the trial is over? I have to avenge Kokoro's death. I see. I'll try my best, too. Okay, I guess I'll try to go and see what happens. Oh, thank you, Kyle! Ah, uh, dang it, Weeby, I had to miss your surprise stream last week. But now that I'm here, loads pistol with malicious intent. Who is the psycho who killed the psycho? Someone's gonna die tonight. Someone's gonna die. It's so true. Thank you for the donation, though. I appreciate it. And thanks for uh, coming to the stream. I know they've been kind of a weird times recently. But, you know, uh, we'll be back to normal and kind of like starting this Sunday. But yeah, thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. I think I searched every part of the room. Where should I go next? Huh? Huh? Sora, what are you doing just standing there? Oh, I was just wondering where I should investigate next. What about you? Weren't you supposed to guard the crime scene? I was gonna go take a quick bathroom break. The trail's about to start soon. Wouldn't wanna have an <laughs> Oh my god. Wouldn't wanna have an accident during the trial. I totally pissed myself last night. That was so embarrassing. So I left the crime scene to Hibiki. I see. Hey. Perfect timing, you there. Da da da. Sora, I think he's calling you. Dumbass. You artist, yeah, you bubblehead. Oh. <laughs> Me, Bubblehead! Wait, why me? I think this is the first time we've talked to each other. So let me get this straight. Why are you calling me Bubblehead? I guess she does kind of have like a kind of a big head. I feel like it's mostly just because her body's small. I don't care which of you it is. I'm gonna take a nap in my room for a sec. So one of you wake me up when the trial starts. What? Why should I? What? What kind of? I don't get why you're asking me, nor why you're even sleeping during the investigation. I love this. How about this? If you don't do it, then I'll make sure you don't wake up at all. Uh, all right, all right, I'll do it. Shobai, are you out of your mind? Did you even consider investigating for even a second? <laughs> investigating, why bother? I already know who done it. <laughs> it was me! What? So you know who the culprit is? Oh, that was such a shock that I... Bathroom! <laughs> oh my god, I went a little bit. What do you mean by I already know who done it? That's right. The culprit slipped up with something they said. I was the only one to hear it, though. Wait a sec. Why am I even telling you this? Just go tell that little bubblehead to wake me up later on. If she doesn't, you're next. Okay, bye, bestie. What's up with him? He's so confident about what he said. It doesn't seem like he's lying. I guess, like, I don't think he is a member of Void since, like, it would be too obvious, but it is kind of what you would expect somebody to <laughs> act like if they're a member of Void, being like, I don't even care about the trial and the investigation. <laughs> they would say, I'm too cool for this killing game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even if he knows who's the black in that attitude, cer certainly isn't very pleasant. If we try to rely on him, who knows what will happen. I guess I'll just ignore his words and try to solve this on our own terms. Sorry, did he say anything while I was... Wait, where, where's Shobai? I don't have a lot of details. He just left after telling me to tell you to wake him up from his nap. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I, uh, I got scared, so I accepted his request without a thought, but I'm not gonna do it. Never. What's with that attitude? Ignoring others, you please? Humph. Maybe. It'll be better to leave him here, so he'll be executed for not joining the Jesus, Sora. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe. It'll be better to leave him here, you know, that way he gets executed. Uh, Sora, isn't that 
going a bit far. Can we like knock out Mikado too? That way he also sleeps through a trial and also gets murdered. Yeah, it's no big deal. I'm just I'm just throwing out ideas. Okay, okay, Anori. <laughs> My name's not Anori, Weeby. Oh, thank you, Daddy Modo Clan Patriarch. Show by living his best life. Let him be, Weeby. <laughs> oh man. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. As he does, as he does. I was joking. Please don't take that seriously, but for real. If you want, if you want to play a murder together, Roha, just let me know. Just let your girl know. Just hit her up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go off to investigate elsewhere for now. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll return to my post now. See you later, you sussy baka. Sora do be a sussy baka. <laughs> if there's one thing my girl is, it's a sussy baka. Um... Okay, I was like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Whoa! Whoa! S -s Sora, good work as usual! Why are, you, why are you saying, dude? Don't say that, don't you? Don't you say anything. Don't you act suspicious. Oh, thank you, Box Onin. Slay, Sora. Don't tell her to slay! Don't tell her, don't do it. Slay it. I'm gonna have to censor these. Slay it, Sora. Slay it. Thank you, Box Onin, for the lovely comments telling Sora to slay it. This is not uh, adjusted at all for for um, the live stream. Oh, thank you, Mel. I spent the last three weeks catching up with you playing the game, and I'm so happy I can finally watch on your streams live. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thanks, guys, for the donations, and thanks for uh, coming to the stream. I appreciate it. Whoa, this is Zora, good, good work as usual. What am I, a Yakuza or something? What's with the greeting? Furthermore, Shinji, what are you doing here? This is the door to the balcony. Uh, well, I went jogging this morning. I thought I saw something strange. It looked like a white long cloth leading towards the balcony, so I thought maybe I'd find something here. <laughs> the weird little laugh. A white and long cloth. Yeah, yeah uh, but I didn't find anything. The balcony. Um, Shinji, would it be possible to leave the monocruise through this balcony? Wait, wait. What? Why? Just just in case. The windows are all closed on the ship, so this is the only known way out other than the main entrance. It's like, what would leaving do, though, to help? You know what I mean? Uh. <laughs> oh, but it's quite tall. It might look weird, but the monocruise itself has the proper structure of a regular cruise ship. Even if you tried landing in the sea, the water level around this part of the ship is pretty shallow. So you'd probably injure yourself no matter what. Then couldn't you use some kind of rope to pull yourself down? Um, well, I guess it wouldn't be impossible. Huh. Anyways, thanks. I'll write this down. Oh, look at us! The balcony! We're so cute! Kawaii! Monokuri's balcony has been added to the bullet section. Shinji's account has been added to the bullet section. I'll be leaving then. Sora, where are you off to? I already figured out where I want to investigate next. Thanks to you. Oh, uh, th thanks to me. Good luck with the rest of your investigation, Shinji. Okay. It's like, it's just gonna take me there, because like, I don't really remember where it is. The Mythical Wonders Museum. Shinji said the Ukiyona statue here had been broken a few days ago. I don't know if it's because of that, but I feel like something might be here. I guess I was wrong. Excluding the broken ice statue, there weren't any clues to note. Maybe Kanani was right. Maybe I'm not cut out for invest. <laughs> Maybe I am stupid, just like just like my wife Yuruko. <laughs> um, the dressing room, perhaps. Since I'm already here, maybe maybe I'll dress up a little bit. Oh, what the heck? Uh, don't scare me like that. <laughs> it's like in heels and like lipstick and stuff. Like I was just trying to chill out for a little bit. This whole thing is stressful. <laughs> Like, Daruya, you're kind of slaying. I know. Uh, huh? Teruya? D say slaying, Weeby. Don't forget. Oh, it's you, Sora. You scared me. Stand in front of the door like that. Were you just inside the dressing room? Oh, uh, yeah. I thought I'd check the items list. Item list? What's that? Seriously? Ah, so you don't know. It's a checklist of various items in the room. It's right here on the wall. Oh. Oh, yeah. He was the one who did, like, the antiques room, too. So it kind of makes sense that he would be like that here as well. Oh, so what did you want to check about the list? You see. I just checked to see if there's anything missing. It looks like everything's there and accounted for, though. The item list also exists in other places like the Mart and the workout room. I guess it's hard to notice if you're not actively looking for it. Anyways, I was checking on them one by one. This one's the last one, but the stock matches the wear, so that's a relief. Okay, so it seems like... So you've been checking them all one by one? It's my duty. Yeah, I always do. 
My god, Teruya. Are you some kind of freak? Are you uh, what? How could you say that about me? Everybody's so mean to Teruya in this game. Actually, as soon as I heard the word killing game, I felt the need to check these every day. I don't know why. I'm like, it's like I'm trained like a dog. I had a hunch that something bad might happen if I don't. I don't know why. I wonder if there's any point in that, but good work anyways. So there's no problems? Well, I did find one weird thing. Okay, I was gonna say, I was like, what's the point if there's, <laughs> if there's no difference? Okay, Mitch Finder, general reporting in. If we're still doing repeats, this killer is lethetic, good-natured, and very gay. Stares at Shinji. <laughs> Thank you, Croakmancer. Oh, gosh. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm like, I guess he would be the most, like, um, Hatano if I did have to think of a character, maybe? But I don't know. I'm trying to think. Who's another... Is he the only, like, athletic person left? I don't know. I was still thinking maybe it was gonna be, like, um... Emma or something, just because I'd be the saddest, but I would be really sad if it was um, Shinji too. He has been getting a lot of screen time too, so that's always, <laughs> that's always a scary uh, thing. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, I appreciate it. Well, I did find one weird thing. Something out something out of the ordinary. This is... One of the wigs had some shards or something on it. Oh. I don't know where I got those. Maybe I'm being overly meticulous. I don't know. Would they have... <laughs> Why do they cosplay while they murder <laughs> Like, I just wanted to feel pretty okay, so <laughs> while I while I froze her to death, that's what it seems like. Oh, good. I just wanted to cosplay my best girl Maki from B3 <laughs> while I murdered her. It's no big deal. Just, uh, sometimes you just want to feel pretty when you murder. Okay. I'm starting to think that Taria's experience is coming to help him via his subconscious. Yeah, it does kind of seem like that so far, doesn't it? Thank you, Kyle, for the donation. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, thank you, Zephy. Turia shall pop and lock in order of raid. That is so true. He's gonna pop and lock and defeat the mastermind of this game, the Mitcher mind of this game, if you will. If you will. It might have no relevance to the case at all. I mean, Kokoro was killed in her room. So why would there be any clues out here? And thank you, uh, Zephy, for being a, uh, being a uh, member of the Kinjo cult. I'm just doing my routine checkup. Wait, come to think of it, why are you here, Sora? That I just wanted to feel pretty, Teruya, okay? Well, I think that was enough time. <laughs> now end the investigation. Gotta look slay while I slay. That is so true. <laughs> and can we fault them for that? No, we can't. I trust you've all been working hard, so you should have plenty of clues to solve this case. Uh, <laughs> it's like I still don't really know who did it Everyone, at all. <laughs> gather at the entrance to the class trial room on the first floor of the monarch. Maybe when I read through the evidence, that'll late, help me. You have a hefty punishment waiting for you. <laughs> okay, thanks, Monocro. Gosh, Teruya, yeah, I don't think we have any time left to be chatting like this. Yeah, you're right. Let's head to the classroom right now. I gotta slay while I slay. Ah, ah Sora, you're here. I'm sorry I'm late. Am I the last to arrive? No, Barohan and Shobai aren't here yet. Oh yeah, I guess she's going to wake him up. What are they What are they doing? They should be well aware of this penalty for being Aside late. From that. that being said, to come back to this place again. Tell me about it. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for any murders. To think that we'd have another victim. Shit. Kokoro. No. If Kokoro isn't here, we're, oh, we're fucked. We're all so stupid, guys. Don't worry, sis. I'll take care of everything. I, as the lone person with a brain, hey. am here to solve this. Teru, you've got plenty of experience with this class trial stuff, right? I have high expectations for you, Kay. Seriously? Uh, this has nothing to do with experience. I don't have any memory of them, remember? And it might sound a bit irresponsible, but I'm not the brightest person. Or <laughs> at least he admits it. It's like, I was gonna say, I was like, Teru was not helpful to Charles in the last game. He was like the least helpful person. <laughs> like, oh God, I don't even think he investigated half the time. <laughs> like, he would just say random shit and they would be like, did you even investigate Teruya? Um, no, <laughs> but I slayed, okay? <laughs> can, I, can, I, can a man not get a break around here every once in a while? Come on. It might sound a bit irresponsible, but I'm not the brightest person around. If Ray was here instead, she would certainly have been more helpful. It's my duty. But I'll do my best. I've changed since then. Uh, how boring. Guess who doesn't have high expectations for you? <laughs> Me! So. That's why I dumped you! Whoever, what is up with the Rohan Shobai? Why are they taking so long? 
I gotta say, what an unlikely duo. Aroha's, Aroha's probably off to save Shobai. To wake Shobai up. Wake up? What do you mean? Well, Shobai said he was gonna take a nap until the class trial starts, saying that he has nothing more to investigate. What? what? Nothing more to investigate? Unbelievable! How should I say this? He looked pretty relaxed. He says he already figured out who did it. What the hell? The culprit! But I don't have a single clue on what happened! Same, Shinji. Yeah. Is he thinking that all of this, Kokoro's death, is just fun and games? I can't forgive that kind of attitude. Well, well there's also the chance that he's actually the culprit and he's bluffing. I was like trying to think too. I was like, I don't know if I really remember um, anything that was said by anybody that was kind of like suspicious. Because he said that they slipped up. I was like, man, I wish it wouldn't have been so long since I played last time because I might remember otherwise. I was like... Uh, I can't. I have the worst memory ever. I was like, I don't remember the conversation after we found the body. Because I'm assuming that's when, uh, you know, somebody slipped up. Well, there's always a chance he's actually the culprit and he's bluffing. That's... Whatever the cause may be, he was still napping while everyone was investigating for their lives. It's nothing new. This is the same person that slept through the trial last time after Jeez. all. He's definitely crazy. I, uh, I, I, I'm sorry for being late. <clears throat> Hey, Yan. Showboy, you arrogant slimeball. Stop napping when our lives are on the line. I think you, Kyle. Now hear me out. Naps are pretty important. Yeah, but maybe not, you know, during an investigation when we're when we're trying to fight for our lives. I don't know. Maybe, maybe then it's not quite as important, but I feel you. I was napping like all day yesterday. Probably gonna take a nap after the stream, Loki. <laughs> Loki. These class trials are not a joke, got it? Are you serious? We're the last ones here, right? Then let's get moving. I'm kind of surprised. Well, I don't know. Shobai doesn't really care about anything, but it's kind of interesting that he's so willing to be like, I already got this shit figured out. Because I feel like, you know, Kokoro was kind of targeted for doing that last time, but now he's, uh, you know, doing it this time. It's like, I feel like you're going to paint a target on your back, bro, if you're like, oh, I'm just such a genius. I just always know who did it. <laughs> Hope nobody targets me or anything. That'd be- that'd suck. Better watch it. Moving my ass, you never do anything! Why are you late, Aroha? Uh, sorry, Shobai isn't the type to easily wake up. Get any more boring? In this case, is easy anyways. You can take it all by yourselves. I need to go over the deals I'll be managing when I leave this place. Oh, Listen to me! Calm down, Shinji! Sora's right. It isn't the first time Shobai's like that. Just ignore him like we do with Mikado. Aww. King needs his rest. Let him do what he does best. Take take naps. <laughs> take take naps and do nothing. That is truly what he does best. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Jeff, for the donation. Huh? What? Wait, what does that have to- <laughs> I swear to God, I'm not pressing anything. I think Sora just like skips his lines. I can't even read it. And then it's already skipped over. It's like, nope, we're not done today, Weezy. We're not doing the you're not doing the Mikado voice today. But I can't stand that kind of attitude. Shinji, class trials require a cool head and a clear mind. You should never, ever act emotional and irrationally in them. Ugh. Uh, uh, okay. Right. If everyone says so, I'll calm down. Teruya, finally, you feel like a true mentor. What are you saying? Is that a compliment or an insult? It's both, bestie. <laughs> Despite some students choosing to be tardy. I should slay you right where you stand. Oh, thank you, Brian. The difference is Shobai is a great man that everyone loves and respects. <laughs> the difference between him and Mikado. <laughs> hey, Mikado did nothing wrong, and I love and respect him. Nothing but love and respect for my mastermind. <laughs> thank you for the donation, Brian. It's time to finally get things started. Is everyone ready? Everyone, please enter the elevator in front of you to join the class trial. I'll be waiting for you there. <laughs> so it's starting again. I, I am scared. Don't worry, we'll all, we've all got to face this together and we did what we could. I feel so bad. I was thinking too, because there was that donation and they were like, uh, Saying like, oh, what if it's like a sporty person? It was like, who else is sporty besides Shinji? Technically, <laughs> technically, Setsuka's kind of sporty because she does like a pool or you know whatever the off thing of pool. Is. <laughs> it's like always finding ways to suspect Setsuka. <laughs> I feel so bad. She's probably like a perfectly normal character, <laughs> but like everything she does, I'm like suspicious. <laughs> Why are you wearing a tie, Setsuka? Tie. 
Master mind. They both have eyes in it. Kind of says, says, <laughs> kind of says, girlfriend. Watching you, watching you right now, like a hawk. Oh, thank you, mighty horseshoe crab. Hope you enjoyed the break. Good luck on the trial, Weeby. If you feel confused in the trial, just rely on Kokoro to give you the answer. Oh my god, of course. I'll keep that in mind for sure. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Oopsie. Forgot. I forgot for a second that she's fucking dead. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. <laughs> oh, man. We need to be- we need to end this discussion by discussing what we found. Yes. Like, yeah, sure, master. <laughs> yeah, sure, master mindset. Mikado's just like, I'm right here, Weeby. <laughs> um, I don't know, Mikado. So it's uh, kind of giving me mastermind vibes. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, when the trial ends, at least one of us won't be here to back here back up here again. Um Yeah, you guys are right. I said I'm gonna trust you guys again. Yeah, let me go lower my to make sure it's not in my face. It's because I trust you that I suspect you to find the culprit and survive with everyone. Sis, Sis I said you just leave it to me. Don't <laughs> You're not supposed to stand up on your own or be independent or anything. You're supposed to rely on me fully. Guys, I have a favor to ask you. It might sound out of place, but I really liked Kokoro. <laughs> really, really liked Kokoro. We were roommates, one could say. At first, I just wanted to talk to her, but she listened to me. And my heart gave. I wonder if I know I will find the heartless monster who killed her. Please. Please, lend me your strength so that I can see to it that she rests in peace. It's fine. No need to be so formal. We all feel the same way. Aw, oh, cute. <laughs> Unless you did it. Sussy Baka. I'm like so untrusting of everybody. I'm like, wow, that's so sweet, Emma. <laughs> I just don't know who did it, so I'm like, <laughs> kind of sussing everybody right now. I think you, wizard boy. I do not believe this Mikado slander. I would never do anything bad in my life, ever. Shame Kokoro can't give you a hand in the trial. <laughs> It's such a shame. She can't give me a foot either. I don't know why she would, but if she wanted to, it's still too bad. Thank you guys. Welcome back, Weeby. Glad you're doing well. Aw, oh, thank you, Omnimaku. I appreciate it. Yeah, doing okay. <laughs> doing okay. No need to be so formal. We all feel the same. Yeah, but we think positively we can go through anything. How awkward. Well, in all seriousness, if we don't do this, we'll end up being dead meat anyways. Oh my god, Soryu, let me finish my, my sentence. Hey now. Don't you dare interrupt this touching moment, Mikado. <laughs> I just want to be friends. Emma, if Kokoro didn't die, she would definitely have joined us in the end. Because you were there for her. Yikes. It's a bit too late for that now, though. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You now then, let's put an end to this. Dee -dee -dee. As Emma said, we all feel the same. Well, most of us, at least. We were able to solve through the last trial when it seemed impossible. We can do it again. That's what we're going to believe. Dressing room item list has been added to the bullets. Dressing room wig has been added to the bullets. So weird. Mm -hmm. yeah. Save first. Doo -doo -doo. And then... I guess I'll just talk to everybody and look at the bullets once I uh, get in there, I think. Kanade, I will always rely on you, queen. <laughs> Thanks, Monaki, for the donation. I hope I hope she hears you. I hope she uh, insults you like you want. <laughs> it's like <laughs> whatever, Monkey. <laughs> Kokoro, please wait. Your killer will surely pay. I'm starting to feel sick. There's no way out. I suppose. Oh my God! You're talking to me, Sora. What a pity. No one gives me a chance to speak. <laughs> she just ignores him after that. I just like to imagine he like yelled that out loud. What a pity, if only someone would talk to me. Please, Sora, Queen, please. Shovai, he never thanked me once. I'm really offended. What a dick. What? What do we do? Can we survive this? What if we end up like Koro? That's so true, says you're totally gonna end up like Koro unless you rely on me 100% fully. It's all right, leave it to me. And even if we fail, I'll be with you till the end, right? All right. Big sis. Let's go. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you, bro. You didn't even stream my birthday, Weeby. Is... The class trial. Even with my memory loss, this place feels all too familiar. Somewhere. I never want to go back. Damn, to think I'd end up here again. All right. It would be a lie to say I'm not scared, but it's our only option. Let's do our best. Okay, what's up, Setsuka? 
Let's discuss as much as we can based on what we found. We must find the killer. Also, I'm the master part. <laughs> oh my god, she admitted it. It's crazy. Yes. Sora, let's boost our spirits before we jump in. Let's exercise! Hell no. <laughs> Those brats will never learn to be silent. Okay, so true. Is everyone ready? This is it. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh god, I'm so nervous. I don't really have like any major suspects right now. Oh my god, there's like a little face on here. I can't remember if I pointed that out last time or not. It's so cute. Just like last time, the elevator made an unnerving sound and slowly but surely made its way to the underground. Everyone stayed dead quiet as if we'd silently agreed to. It was like there was now an unspoken rule that the elevator was a place to silently ready your hearts. The elevator descends relentlessly as we ponder these thoughts until it finally stops and the door is open. Oh, that's cute. They're holding hands, the twins. Oh, thank you, Kev. Hope you're feeling better, Weeby. Thanks. I'm feeling mostly better. Still a little tired and uh, kind of out of it, but <laughs> for the most part, I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate it. You've arrived. I've been waiting. Hey. Hey, why is this place look different to last time? Redecoration! Hmm. I had to get all that Mitch filth out of here, come on! It'd be boring if it was always the same, eh? So for your amusement, I changed up the design. What the hell? Amusement? Just how in the world is any of this amusing? Very well. well then, please take your place where your name is written. I wish you well. <clears throat> You've done this once. You all know how it goes, right? Now let's begin a death game with your lives on the line. A second class trial to say that we'd be calmer after doing this once before would definitely be a lie. As Monica said, it's our lives on the line, I'm afraid. And I'm afraid and nervous. Heck, we all are, besides Shoba. <laughs> it's a weirdo. Oh, thank you, Maestro. Mitch is the Yuki Ona and therefore the killer. Ooh, <laughs> woo woo. That is so true, Bestie. I mean, we all know Mitch is the killer, like, come on. I mean, it's just like a given at this point, basically. Just a given. Thank you for the donation, I appreciate it. But... Kokura must have been much more afraid. Must have been scary and painful. They would hurt to lose Yuri. Kokura was much closer to us, personally. Everyone, and we all didn't really like Yuri anyways. He was kind of a little weirdo. Everyone, not just Emma, is in rage. And if we don't find the culprit, we all die. It's like, man, we actually liked this victim this time. <laughs> Fucking Sora. She didn't say it like that exactly, but you know what she was thinking. <laughs> you know what she was thinking. <laughs> we have to find out who did it. To avenge Kokoro's death. To survive. Oh, thank you, gamer bro. The trial room is green. Green because it's sitting hate to me. How nice of Monica. <laughs> he just knows you're still mourning your wife. So sweet. So sweet of him, giving King. Thanks for the donation. A trial of life and death, a trial of truth and lies, a trial of trust and betrayal. A trial of fact and fiction, a trial of pleas and excuses, a trial of friends and foes. Her little rap song. Freaking Yuri, dude, he looks so psycho there. A trial like no other. The class trial, the only trial ever to exist. Would you like to save your progress? <laughs> Even though I just saved like two seconds ago. Hell yeah, I wanna save. Okay, equip skills, oh my god. Okay, maximum influence, I already equip these. I think so, right? Okay, or wait. Wait. Um, can I even... This plays a faint image of the correct answer in each panel. <laughs> okay, okay, I was like, wait a second. I don't know, for a second I was like, can I keep... I was like, do I only have six points? <laughs> I was supposed to be really scared. <laughs> Here and ready to carry. Oh my god, thank you, Kanade Queen, for blessing us. Where's the Mitch FTEs you promised me? I already did those, okay? I ain't doing them again. <laughs> I am not, I will never be for doing those Mitch free time events again. <laughs> but you can uh, watch them. It's the one where he's the thumbnail, unfortunately. I can't believe Mitch is the culprit seven times. I know, it's like, come on, Lanouge. Like, I get that you hate Mitch. Like, I do too. But, like, you gotta make it, like, a little bit more, like, <laughs> a little bit more unique, you know, bestie? <laughs> Thank you for the donation. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um, 
I definitely want this one, right? The closing argument. That was pain. That was so much suffering. Increase the maximum number of bullets to nine. It removes the reload, delay, and terminate. Hell yeah. Oh my god, dude. I got no more space. It reduces the input delay during rebuttal showdown. Ooh, I could use that. I could use that. I was like replaying rebuttal showdown just a little bit last night. Like replaying the first trial because I was like, that was kind of rough. Eliminates all retry penalties. That's kind of nice too. Doubles the amount of crows received. Oh, that one's so nice too. Oh god, I don't have enough points. I don't have enough points now. I want all of these. Damn it. I came out as a Mitch phobe after watching his free time events. As you should. As you should. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the donation. Oh, that's so nice. But I do want to do the input delay. Wait. I can't do that one. God dang it. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Number one influence following. That one's okay. It's whatever. Enable saving. I do want to keep that one because my game. Because the game like crashes every once in a while because there's like a couple of missing files. Okay, let's get rid of that one. You can change the skills during the trial intermission so you can equip the closing argument skill later. Oh, really? That's sweet. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Terminate, talk shooting, and the closing argument. Okay, so I could literally just do both of those later, right? Oh. Oh, thank you, Iris, for being a member for two months. I appreciate it. And let's see. Oh, man. I guess I could always... Would I still have to have this one on the whole time, though? Eliminates all retry penalties. Reduces the input delay. I definitely want that one, dude. I think I don't really have many more <laughs> that I need to equip, honestly, besides these ones at the end of the game. Ugh, I wish I could do both of these, man. It'd be so nice. I mean, I guess I'll just go ahead and set it. Whatever. Uh, I'm like, which one do I want more? <laughs> really can't- oh yeah, yeah, I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you can get double crows before intermission too. That's what I was wondering too. I was like, do I set the crow thing for right now then? And then I was like, is that gonna do anything if I switch it out later? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure yet. I guess uh, during the mission you get a chance to change skills. I'm just like kind of nervous. I'm like, what if, what if you guys are lying to me? <laughs> Not that you guys would lie to me, but what if, you know, you just kind of forgot or something? I could see that. I could see that being a thing, okay? I could see that being a thing. Okay, let's look at the bullets. Okay. Oh my god, the text is so small. A file given to us by Monocro containing information about the victim. Kokoro Mitsume, estimated time of death is- Yeah, this freaking file is like so unhelpful. Estimated time of death, unknown. What- how she died, unknown. Her hands were cut off, unknown. Cooker's hands and feet were cut off by something. Why did the culprit do such a thing? An old legend on this island tells that Yuki Ona freezes people to death and takes away their limbs. Did Kokoro really fall victim to the snow woman's curse? They really cosplay Yuki Ona to do this. <laughs> I just, I'm just such a fan. <laughs> a dry blood stain on Kokoro's bed. She near the body, which doesn't seem to be from her cut off limbs. It looks like it's been there for a while. What could it be from? A large container for storing liquid nitrogen found in Kokoro's room. Leapel reads caution, liquid nitrogen. What did the culprit use liquid nitrogen for? Setsuka was suspicious of a liquid nitrogen container. According to her, there should have been some traces of liquid nitrogen in the room if the culprit used it to freeze Kokoro. However, she found nothing of the kind. If this is true, what could have been what could have been the liquid what could eh, what could have been the liquid nitrogen for? <laughs> It's a bag used to store dry ice, which was abandoned in a corner of Kokoro's room. It's been open, and its contents are gone. We never really looked at the stools, too. Those were, like, wet or something, it kind of seemed like. I guess they're, like, frozen or something uh, in the room. I kind of thought we were going to talk about that, but I don't think we did. Unless we talked about it before the investigation. How exactly the dry ice was used is unknown as of now. But judging from the room's low We don't know anything. <laughs> I feel like all of these are just, like, there's something here, but we don't know what it is or why it's there. There's another thing here. We also don't know why it's here or what what it is. But judging from the room's low temperature, it's very likely the culprit has used it in some way. It's Kokoro's e-handbook. It can be recognized. It can recognize the owner's fingerprint and has an auto battery 
saver function. Only the owner is able to turn it on or disable the battery saving mode. Without it, it's impossible to open the lock on her doors. That means Kokoro's room was completely sealed off from the outside. Something about the dividers in Kokoro's fridge looked off. They're loose and were not put in the right way, as if someone had taken them out and hastily put them back in. It could have been just Kokoro being clumsy, but, you know, it's just kind of like paralyzed or something, so it's a little, um, <laughs> a little unsure about that. A dying message, presumably left by Kokoro, was found in the refrigerator. Eight icicles of different lengths were placed on the bottom of the fridge. Each had the letters F and O carved on the front and back. Fofo. <laughs> the longer icicle, one of the longer icicles was pierced through a, a short icicle, and only this short icicle had an I instead of an O carved on it. FIFA, they're trying to, they're trying to spell FIFA, guys. It just made it look like an O instead of an A. It's an easy, easy mistake. That was what uh, she was trying to let us know that it was Mitch, and he was playing FIFA while she froze to death. This is so sad. Yuki told me about his visit to Kokoro's room yesterday evening. Him, Emma, and Toria called her through the door, but Kokoro didn't open the lock for them. They assumed Kokoro was sleeping and left the dinner plates outside the door. He checked the plates were gone later that night. Ryuka was responsible for bringing- man, there's a lot of evidence this time. Ryuka was responsible for bringing Kokoro's breakfast today. She heard no response from Kokoro, so she left the plates outside the door and headed to the island. The plates were at the same spot up until we found Kokoro's body. From this, it seems like something had happened to Kokoro. Something has happened to Kokoro this morning. So... I was bringing breakfast today, so she left the plates outside. At the island, the plates were at the same spot up until we found her body. So it seems like something happened to her this morning. Shobai claims to know who the culprit is. Apparently the culprit has made a grave mistake in front of him. I wonder if that's the source of his firm confidence. I don't like relying on Shobai, but he could be our last resort in the trial if he said, if what he said is true. Assuming he agrees to help us in the first place, of course. Monocruz balcony. <laughs> and us looking so adorable. The fourth floor of the Monocruz has a balcony. Since all windows in the Monocruz are fixed, it's the only place other than the entrance that leads to the outside. Would it be possible to exit the Monocruz through this place? Probably. It's evidence. As Shinji was going out for a morning jog today, he saw something like a piece of fabric moving near the Monocruz balcony. Was someone doing laundry at that time? I doubt it. Dressing room item list. The dressing room has an inventory list of all props and items in stock. Tree has been monitoring it every day. He was concerned it may be related to the murder and checked the stock again, but nothing went missing. One of the wigs in the dressing room was partly covered in white debris for some reason. I wonder how the debris could end up on a wig. They really just... Is there anybody who like liked that whole stuff <laughs> in like the museum that I was talking to? I can't really remember. I feel like it was honestly Kokoro who was like interested in Yukiona the most. Okay, we can have hands, fingers, severed, sever limbs, locations unknown, most bodies affected by second read phosphite, spread of the tissue, nar necrosis, cause of death, cruise B, combination of hypothermia and tissue damage, cause of frostbite. There's a possible there is a possibility of other factors having played a role in the death. Cause of death appears it just says appears, not the cause of death is. Combination of hypothermia and tissue damage, so it's still not really uh super helpful, but whatever. Let's save again, guys. <laughs> I don't want to lose all that uh, that effort I just put in. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, God, I'm so nervous, man. Okay. Let's begin. Firstly, allow me to briefly explain the rules of this class trial. The results of the class trial will be decided solely by your votes. If you manage to correctly identify the blackened, only they will receive punishment. But should you vote incorrectly, everyone except for the blackened will be punished, and they will be able to escape this field trip of mutual killing. Uh, I hope we never end up here again. But we're here now and there's no turning back. We've got no choice but to solve this case. I think you, Dara, trial time. Let's go. No, not. You're giving me COVID as we speak, Dara. You freaking Mitch Pride flag. Oh my god. Oh man. Thank you for the donation. Oh, thank you, resting bit face. The shame Kokoro had to die. She was just too cool. <laughs> Literally too cool. Get it? <laughs> Get it, guys? Someone committed a slay in Arctic style. <laughs> no. Oh my god, they just really big fans of uh, Shattered Hope. They just wanted, they wanted to have like, you know, a little ice moment too. <laughs> Thank you guys for the donations, I appreciate it. We're here now and there's no turning back. We've got no choice but to solve this case. Together we'll get through this mess. 
Yes, Daddy Grow, tell me more about the trial. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> may begin at your discretion. So we're looking for the person who killed Kokoro. Where are we even supposed to start? I'm already totally lost. It's okay, Roha. Just take a nap, okay? If you would all be so kind as to lend me your ears. There is something I must tell you before we begin. I don't have a clue what happened, honestly. <laughs> they just don't totally ignoring him. Please don't ignore me. <laughs> Why is everybody so mean to me? You've got some nerve talking to us, Mikado. Is it just me? Or is my existence beginning to receive less and less acknowledgement? This is so sad. I'm gonna have to kill somebody to get attention, I I assume. I've said this before, yet it seems I have no choice but to repeat myself. Although you may ignore me in everyday <coughs> life, it would be unwise to ignore me during trials. I, for one, did my fair share of investigation. And it would do me no greater joy than to assist you all in the solving of this case. <laughs> Leave us alone, will you? No, he has a point. We probably should listen to Makai. Oh wow, this, never thought I'd ever hear Sora say that in her life, dude. Huh? Are you <laughs> sure that's okay? Sora, really? It's not like Mikado can afford to let us lose the class trial, considering all our lives, his included, are on the line. Every testimony is important, <laughs> even if it's coming from a loser like him or a liar like Shobai. Oh, she's just calling me a loser because me and Sora are besties like that, right? Right, Sora? No, no. <laughs> ah, you're something else, Miss Sora. But more importantly, he could be the blackened. And even if he's nothing but an ugly, worthless piece of scum who's no better than a rotting piece of inedible garbage... <laughs> tell him! Tell him, girl! <laughs> hey, I'll have you know I have lots of fangirls, Sora. There's the smallest chance he might have found an important piece of evidence. Oh, dude. My poor broken heart. <laughs> now my Kokoro's broken Get, get it, guys. Get it, get it, cause Kokoro died. We get it, Mikado. If Sora says so, then I guess it's fine. Seeing that it's come to this, I present to you all my ultimate piece of evidence, which will undoubtedly restore your value trust in me. Ultimate piece of evidence? What? Did you already solve it? Well, no, <laughs> not yet. But I. <laughs> uh, shut up already! Uh -huh. Can't afford to get off track. <laughs> they really should listen to him. I mean, I get it, but like, uh, they really, really should. They can't afford, honestly, to not. Yeah. <clears throat> like Ra Ra said, I guess we shouldn't completely ignore him, but I doubt he'll be of any use, so let's just keep going for now, okay? Starting from the top, I think we should go over everything we know so far. That's what Coco would have done. Yeah. Without Koro, we have nobody to rely on but ourselves. Don't worry, sis. I'm here for you. Aw, oh, Kanade. So cute and so creepy. Cheer up, you guys. We can do this. For Kokoro. Uh, alrighty then. <laughs> so, what we know about the case so far? Let's see. I mean, it's easier said than done. I'm not even sure how we're supposed to start. Oh, thank you, Amon. And that's how Sora slayed Mikado. <laughs> she slayed him with her words, dude. Why don't we talk about what everyone was doing before we discovered the body? <laughs> thank you for the donation, by the way. Just like last time, looks like we're starting by going over what we know so far. I still don't have a clue who the killer is, but with a little cooperation, we should be able to figure that out. Oh, would you like to hear? Is it just going to give me the explanation again? Or right, just here, just in case. Okay, it looks like it's the same thing. Uh, I might go to the bathroom, actually. Well, should I go to the bathroom now, or should I wait? Eh, I'll wait. I don't have to go that bad. No phrase for weak points. Why text me and you refuted? I'm just nervous, man. I didn't do that good in the last trial. I tried to practice a little bit. I feel like there is, like, a slight delay, though, like, when you press, um, especially in the rebuttal showdown. I'm glad I got that, um, thing to help me out, at least. Cross here over this weak point. Confirm. Fire chief bullet. Doesn't really look like there's anything new. I also had like notes just to remind myself of like uh, all the instructions because I didn't think it was actually gonna give me <laughs> instructions every time. And I forget a lot of times. Ask a text. A B all three bullets. Shoot, shoot seven Z. Not seven. Okay. Uh, let me. Ah, got so much crap on my desk, dude. Put that back over there. Okay. Why is it fire the right truth bullet? The right weak point. Press the shift, blah, blah, blah. Just pull it. However, seems like it's the same thing, right? Besides what you repeat an argument with the correct truth bullet, a cut in will appear and your score will be calculated before advancing to the next phase. 
They'll fail to refute an argument if you attack the right contradiction with the wrong. I was like about to skip through it, but I was like, I remember what happened last time. <laughs> skip through. <laughs> skip through a tutorial. In this case, your focus gauge will take one damn, one damage point. One damage and points are deducted. Progress gauge completely depleted. Your influence gauge will take one damage, and the mini game will start over. Don't be able to aim properly if you're pressing an arrow key while securing your aim on a wink point. Okay, so please release any held arrow keys before firing a truth bullet. You can also press S to skip line and A to view all the list of the truth bullets. Okay. Monocro file two. Oh, really? That's it? So, we found the dead body right around lunchtime. Sora, Teria, and I went to Kokoro's room to bring her lunch like always. Okay, this was just, uh, yeah, <laughs> the monochroma file that said basically not that much. But Kokoro didn't answer. So naturally, we started to get worried. And that's when I heard you guys and came over, right? Once you guys told me what was going on, I went and got Monocro to open the door for us. That's true. And when we went in, Kokoro was... That would mean that Kokoro died around lunchtime. Um... We should go over our alibis for around noon then. Probably not. Probably that one then. Monocro file had information about Kokoro's body. I should probably go over that again. So, we found the dead body right around lunchtime. I mean, I think it technically says estimated time of death is unknown. Body is found in Kokoro. I guess maybe it's just like, I don't assume that, you know? I miss the Korean explanations. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's so true. I know I was able to understand it a lot better back then. Okay. I guess it's probably. Teria and I went to Kokoro's room to bring. But Kokoro didn't answer. So naturally, we started. And that's when I heard you guys and came over, right? Once you guys told me what was going on, I went and got Monocro to open the door for us. And when we went in, Kokoro was. That would mean that Kokoro got around lunch. No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong! Poor Shinji. I'm sorry, Shinji. Sorry, I had to do it for you. Do it to ya. Noise. Try to get more than a C. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, Shinji. We can't be sure of that. But why not? Just because we found the body <clears throat> during lunchtime doesn't mean Kokoro died around that time. Even the monocro file says so. The time of death is unknown. Speaking of which, the monocro file this time around isn't very helpful, is it? Yeah. Probably because she was frozen. Even professionals have a hard time determining the time of death when it comes to frozen bodies. Uh, um... But if the time of death is unknown, then doesn't that mean that there's still a chance she really did die around lunchtime? Yeah, this just kind of can't really know, I, I guess. I suppose we can't rule out the possibility, but it's probably pretty low. Then I guess we should be talking about when Kokoro really died. Oh, thank you, Kyle. Sora, I'll shoot through your words, Bay Monocro. Wow, a murder doing a trial? Uh, that's against the rules. Or something. <laughs> thank you for the donation, I appreciate it. Wait, do we really need to? Mm. I thought it was obvious who the killer was. Oh. Wait, what? Nikkei, you already uh, figured it out? I severely doubt that. He's just gonna say it's Churia or something, right? Who is it? Who's or Mikado. Yoriko Kabuya. Uh, Need I say more? Uh, <laughs> why is everybody blaming my wife? Huh? Y Yoriko's the culprit. Wait, not this again. <laughs> why am I always the one getting pinned for this stuff? But aren't you the one who brought Kokoro breakfast? If she was dead by lunchtime, then it sounds to me like that's the only opening for someone to get a stab at her. What? He certainly has a point. If she was alive during the breakfast visit, but dead by the time Miss Sora's assemblage stopped by, then obviously whichever group was the last to check in to deliver breakfast was the most suspicious. And what do you know? That would be none other than Miss Kabuya. Wait, but I was with Karia the entire time. How do you possibly expect me to kill her with someone else there? She's right. The whole point of me joining every visit was to make sure nobody would try and take advantage of Kokoro's vulnerability. Yeah, I sort of doubt it was any of these trips that, you know, they did it. So that'd mean you're in the same boat. 
What? <laughs> oh my god. You're implying he served as our accomplice? But why though? But there isn't even any benefit to working as an accomplice. And we know Terrigia is an avoid, so he's got no reason to kill anyone in the first place. Can we really be so sure about that? Yeah, the chances of him being a void are low, but it's not like they're zero. Remember, Mikado of all people was the one who brought him here. To be honest, I always thought the whole, yeah, let's just put all our trust in a total stranger thing was ridiculous. I mean, I get what he's saying. I feel like uh, Nikkei's a lot more, um, I don't know, untrusting than I thought he would be. He kind of just rubbed me as like a, uh, not like fan service, but just like a funny character, you know what I mean? But he's definitely got a lot more layers so far, I feel like, than uh, we'd expect. <laughs> Literally and physically, because he's got a lot of clothes on. That's insane! I was kidnapped! You're one to talk, Nikkei. Constantly <laughs> accusing others doesn't automatically make you innocent. Fine, then let's turn this around. If it wasn't those two working together, then when is the murder possibly supposed to have taken place? Sure, there isn't any incentive for accomplices, but Monocro didn't outright deny the possibility. You... Guys, say something! Yuko. I know how you feel, but he does have a point. What? Ah, uh, damn. We need to discuss this more, but... I feel, so, <laughs> I feel so bad for her. They literally accuse her every trial. Considering the order of people that have visited Kokoro, it makes sense for people to be suspicious of Chiria and Yuruko. We need to talk about it more before deciding anything. Okay. Put crazy handbook, Yurko's count, severed limbs. Um, Why are you guys suspecting me again? Considering the order, that breakfast visit was the only possible window for murder. I was with her, and she didn't do anything suspicious. Crazy handbook, recognize under his fingerprint, about cleaning the old thing. Impossible to open doors. Was that, what was Yurko's account again? on celebrating breakfast stage her no response for Kokoro so she left the plates outside the door and headed to the island plates were at the same spot up until he found Kokoro's body when this it seems like something had happened to Kokoro this morning Nikkei out of your sound like a nerd emoji <laughs> he really does oh my god <laughs> he does sound super nerdy <laughs> I guess like a journalist or something so it's kind of like a nerdy thing right um I don't know if it'd be your Ian book either that was one of the other one I was like maybe I don't know maybe I just listen to them first Like Nick said, there is a possibility of you two being accomplices. Miss Mitsume ate her meals up until last night. And the body was found this long. So if something happened to Miss Mitsume, it would have been during this morning. These two also don't have alibis in the first place. As it stands, there are two prime suspects. That's true. Are Chura and Yuriko really the culprits? They need to present evidence to show their innocence. I think it's probably the last one. Like, technically they do have alibis, I think. <laughs> From each other, kind of, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why are you guys suspecting me again? Considering the order, that breakfast visit was the only possible window for murder. I think it probably is that one. This seems like something that happened this morning. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Aaron Sparks. Hi, Weeby. I just found your channel, and this is the first stream. Kind of lost, but <laughs> love a good Dying Rafa fan can. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, it might be good to watch from the beginning. Also, uh, from the other games, too, because the other one's really good. This is actually a sequel to uh, Dying Rafa Another. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, but uh, thanks for stopping by. It's really, it's a really great fan series, so I highly, highly recommend it. I guess uh, it's probably her account with uh, Nikkei, right? I was with her, I and so. she didn't do anything suspicious. I'm just gonna say like it. Miss Mitsume ate her meals up until last night, and the body was found this long. So if something happened to Miss Mitsume, it would have been during this morning. We're gonna say it's that one. These two also don't have allies in the first place. No, that's wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's good. Do, 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 do. So far, 100. I will not get a C this time. I will. I'm manifesting. 
a B minus. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, EK, but I won't let you badger Yoriko again like this. Sora! Aww! Uh -huh. Defending her wife! Yoriko has As she an should. Alibi. After the trip with Teria, she went straight to the village to practice cooking. Yeah. When there was no answer, we left the meal on her doorstep. As soon as that was done, she told me she was going to continue practicing her cooking at the village. <laughs> Why is she practicing? Why are you practicing cooking, bestie? I'm here for you guys. <laughs> you got any evidence to back that up? <laughs> well, well, I did meet a few on the way there. <clears throat> oh, I saw her. You were cooking some stew, right? There are plenty of witnesses, Nikkei. <laughs> Stop accusing my wife! If what Yoriko says is true, then there would have been no time for murder. Alright, then we can excuse Yoriko. But what about Teruya? He entered Kokoro's room every visit. There could have been plenty of chances for him to kill her. Kokoro said she'd only open the door when two or more people came to visit her. Thus, under normal circumstances, if anyone entered Kokoro's room to kill her, then we're dealing with more than one culprit. Now that Yoriko's alibi has been confirmed, it would have been impossible for Teria to kill Kokoro on his own. Thus, the theory of Yoriko and Teria being accomplices is disproven. Okay. Your argument is uh, full of Oh no! <sighs> it's this mini game. This isn't going to suffice as a valid alibi. The evidence in Kokoro's room supports that. Sorry, but as a journalist, it's my job's instinct to pursue every last detail of what I find suspicious. I was like, surely it's not Nikkei who did this. He's just going in so hard. Allow me to present you with this evidence. Let's see if you can retaliate against the ultimate journalist's latest scoop. Oh, God. I hate this one. <coughs> Rebuttal showdown. Okay, whatever. Just in case there's anything. Arrow keys. Move lane to lane. Uh, don't use S to shoot. That's a lie. Uh, left and right arrows. Eh, I don't know why I even pressed this. <laughs> I know what it is. Weavy News versus Nikkei News. Fight, go! Oh my god. I hate this video so much, dude. I hate it so much. It's so hard. It stresses me out so much. Oh gosh. The three hander rebuttal gauge, blah, blah, blah. Ah, whatever. Why'd I even do this? Okay. Oh my gosh. So long. Okay. Okay, Nikkei, you're going down, probably. Setsuka's account, Monokuru's refrigerator, divider, Setsuka's account. I do not remember Setsuka's account at all. So, after delivering breakfast, your okay, what's her account? That much I can understand. Where's that at? Oh, that was like the the nitrogen thing, right? Weeby, what's your opinion on Ice JJ Fish? I don't know who that is. I'm guessing that's like a YouTuber or something. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't really have much of an opinion on that. But thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Uh, what's the other? Uh, I didn't really get to see the other ones. I'll probably just... Let me just focus on this for a little bit. She visited Kokoro with Teria with the intent to kill her. Then she split so that she'd have a witness for her alibi. Oh, shit. You saw the state of the body, didn't you? It was frozen solid. Could Yoriko have done such a feat in such a short span of time? It was impossible for Yoriko to do that and immediately leave for the village. Nope. There's a way that she could have frozen Kokoro instantly. Her room says it all. She used liquid nitrogen. She killed Kokoro, then poured liquid nitrogen over her. Her body would freeze instantly. And there you have it. How to run. Okay, I think it's probably Setsuka's account. Yoriko really did kill Kokoro. She needed to be incredibly swift with the task. Sorry, I'm like... Not talking much for this because I'm just trying so hard to focus on what they're saying. I'm so glad this is voice acting, at least. But it's probably uh, Setsuka's account because um, I think that was what he was trying to say, right? Yuriko really did kill Kokoro. She needed to be incredibly swift with the task. I think so. Watch chapter six of my playthrough and I've only realized you can bring up the truth bullets during the debate. I've just been, oh no, that's so sad. I think I saw somebody else in the last time but did a trial saying they didn't know you could uh, read the truth bullets. I was like, man, that is so rough. <laughs> I'm glad you found out at least three chapter six, right? That's something to be proud of. Serious possible, but he's overlooked something vital. Let's show it to him. So after delivering, oh, your told went to the village. That much I could understand. But she could have easily killed her then and there before fleeing soon after. She did it to see her with Carol and intend to kill her. Then she split so that she'd have a witness for her alibi. Okay. 
You saw the state of the body, didn't you? It was frozen solid. Could Yoriko have done such a feat in such a short span of time? It'd be impossible for Yoriko okay. to do that and immediately leave for Please, the village. Please, this be right. Nope. There was a way that she could have frozen Kokoro instantly. Her room says it all. She used liquid nitrogen. Ah, oh, damn it! No, god damn it! <laughs> it's so slow, damn it! Ah. Uh, I'll have to like set it maybe beforehand. Damn it! Ah, oh, I missed it. Ah, no. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I don't even care. So after delivering breakfast, oh fuck me now. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. But she could have easily killed her then and there before fleeing soon after. She visited Kokoro with Harry over the intent to kill him. Okay, come on. So that she'd have a witness for her alibi. It's like this one later. You saw the state of the body, didn't you? It was frozen. Uh, I gotta like set it Could beforehand, maybe, and just take a couple such of L's. A short span of time. <laughs> It'd be impossible for you to imagine losing a dirty voice for the village. <sighs> Nope. There's a way that she could have frozen Kokoro instantly. Her room says it all. She used to look I'll peer through those words. Oh man. I just like I feel like it doesn't give you that much time to do those. Okay, it's fine. Still on on the way to B minus. <laughs> on the way there. Oh god. Okay. No, that doesn't add up. There's no way Yoriko used liquid nitrogen to freeze Kokoro. What are you talking about? We all saw an empty container of it in her room, plain as day. If she really used that to freeze Kokoro, then there should have been traces left behind in the room. I feel like all the other characters besides like, <laughs> like everybody besides like Sora and probably like Kanade, it feels like, uh, I don't know, like they just like see stuff and they don't think about it any farther. He's like, <laughs> liquid nitrogen. That must mean that they used it. I'm not gonna look inside of it. I'm not gonna think about it what whatsoever anymore. No more investigating. Just nothing, man. <laughs> just gonna assume that's what it is. But other than her corpse, we didn't find a single trace of anything else being frozen. Right, Setsuka? Yup. No traces mean that the liquid nitrogen was probably never used. Maybe she could have frozen Koro in some other room before bringing her back in? Wasn't it like empty though or something? That had taken a significant amount of time. Nikkei's proposition was that the crime could have been done within a short amount of time. If Yoriko, our supposed murderer, had taken time moving the body like that... <laughs> You're assessed each trial. Kamida can he confirm. Don't disrespect her like that. <laughs> Thank you for the donation though. I appreciate it, Mighty Yo, Hershey Crab. <laughs> Then it would be impossible to arrive at the village as early as she did. So Yoruko and Teruya are innocent? That's what I've been saying since the start. <laughs> no way, but who else are we going to blame everything on? Damn it. Yeah. Kanade, what do we do? I agree, it's Yoruko, not because I hate her. <laughs> Why does Kanade hate Yoruko? I want to find, I want to know the lore behind that for real, honestly. Thank you for the uh, donation, I appreciate it. I know that from an opportunity standpoint, we're suspicious. <clears throat> but don't you think you're being a bit cruel, Nikkei? <laughs> hey, what's with that attitude, Nikkei? You owe these two an apology. <laughs> He's such a little <laughs> such a little turd. <laughs> now now, fighting won't get us anywhere. I still think you guys did it. Since Bravo's cleared up our suspicion on Terry and Yuko, let's get back to the case. If not for freezing. Then what was the liquid nitrogen for? After all, since we found a container in her room, we can easily assume it must have been used for something, correct? No, that's probably a red herring. A red herring? Mm. But the label on the drum clearly said liquid nitrogen on it. They pour it out somewhere else then? Because yeah, I thought that it was empty, right? Right. The label, but nothing else. I'm saying that they probably just oh. stuffed that label into an empty container. Look at it closer. Okay, that makes sense. It's slanted, slightly, as if hastily slapped on. I'm willing to bet there was never any liquid nitrogen inside that container at all. Yeah, where'd they get that random label then? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Wait, then how did Kokoro get frozen? It must be the Yuki Ona's curse after <laughs> all. There's no other way that a person would suddenly freeze. Of course, it's not because of the curse, but still, to freeze someone so thoroughly. There must have been a tool inside her room to help freeze things. That tool must be... <laughs> no, no, not the Hangman's flashback. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I, re I replayed this one as well. 
Okay. Um, I just gotta remember to do it in like the right order. It's okay, I can I can do it this time. I believe in myself. This should be shown for about five seconds during which you should memorize letters. Nice you must spell the blanks, the keywords, reading them left to right. Try to recall the letter that would fit the leftmost blank first, then the card that you think holds that letter. After choosing your initial card, select another card. That, that letter matches the left of your first choice. You manage to match a pair correctly, then their mutual letter correctly fills the blank. The space will be filled and you can move on to the next blank. You'll receive a penalty if you're to your score if you'll take damage if your letter is incorrect or the cards don't match. The lower right corner will display the time limit. If the timer reaches zero, you will receive a penalty for your points. In your focus gauge, you'll take damage. If you're concerned that this game is too difficult, don't worry. Oh no, who's calling me? Stop that. <laughs> um, don't worry, the cards will all be shown again briefly before you run out of time. I was like, that's kind of the main thing. I just wanted to double check. I was like, I think it does show again, like at the end. <laughs> so try to use these resets and guidance in all your attempts. Like with a non-stop debate, your fluence gauge will be damaged. The game will start over if Pikachu gauge runs out completely. <clears throat> okay. What the fuck? Refrigerator? Okay. Okay, I think, what was it? It was like right here, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> was it this one? God damn it. Ah, oh, where was the other F? I know I saw it. Was it here? God damn it. Refrigerator. Ah! Damn it. Maybe I should wait to see. I hate this game, dude. I hate it so much. <sighs> it's fine. Um, fun fact, I was <laughs> Take a picture of the cards. <laughs> Is this one? Uh, where's the other F? Where's the other F? God damn it. I hate you so much. I hate, I hate you so much. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm not good at memory, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna re screenshot it next time. Ah, damn it. It wasn't, it's not going anywhere. I know that it's a refrigerator, guys. I just, I'm really bad with memory stuff, especially when I'm nervous. Oh, God. It didn't show me anything else. Was it because I, I guess maybe I did it too much. Bottom right. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. Can't Crap. give up here. Okay, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> guys. Cheating's bad. Just remember that. <laughs> Cheating's bad. There's nothing good about a cheater. And I would never condone. I would never condone it. And you shouldn't either. <laughs> it's just not right. It's just not right, guys. How the fuck did I mess that up so bad? <laughs> oh my god, no. No, wait, 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 oh, wait, the fridge, oh, wait, okay, it's the same thing, it's, it's like, it's like, no, I can't, I can't go for two seconds, okay, it's I, <laughs> I would never condone it, um, I think it's really sad, you know, <laughs> it's really sad that people would, like, think that's, like, an okay thing to do, especially on stream, when there's children, there's children watching, <laughs> I just think that is just, the worst thing you could do. I mean, what a terrible influence. I would cancel that streamer. Oh, god damn it. Don't I still fuck up? <laughs> cancel that streamer immediately, and that's just how I feel. And I won't apologize. Wait. Oh, oh my god, it's an O. 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 Why did I think it was. Guys, I know how to spell refrigerator, okay? I know how to spell refrigerator. Just leave me alone. I see. <laughs> oh man. I think I was possessed by Mitch for a second. <laughs> I still got 50. <laughs> I still got a... <laughs> Where the refrigerator has no D. That's so strange. <laughs> I was possessed by Mitch for a split second and I felt myself cheating. <laughs> Never, I would never, guys. It was, it was a Mitch. It was, uh, it's probably <laughs> Mitch did that. <laughs> oh god. 
It's... <laughs> Why did it take you like 20 minutes to figure that out, Sora? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> refrigerator. A refrigerator? <laughs> Kokoro froze Kokoro with a refrigerator? Well, excluding the liquid nitrogen, it's the only thing left capable of freezing someone. But oh god. Is there any proof that the refrigerator was used? Proof that the refrigerator was used to freeze Kokoro. I wonder if there is... If that's where this comes into play. Okay. <laughs> is it the refrigerator again? <laughs> I can't fucking... I cannot, dude. It'd probably be either this or the dying message. The refrigerator divider looks like something was jammed in there, right? I noticed the refrigerator divider in Kokoro's room was a bit loose. I'm sorry, guys. This is poor and stupid. <laughs> Perhaps it's because oh the culprit God. had taken the divider out to fit Kokoro in. Then placed it back when she'd been frozen. Oh yeah, that makes sense. This Mitsume is quite small, so if they squeezed her right in, I'm sure that she'd fit rather nicely. Squeeze in? <laughs> Watch your words. Disgusting. There is also the fact that her refrigerator was set to instant freeze mode. Man, Kanadi hasn't insulted Yuruko at all this trial so far. Refrigerator is to Sora what faucet is to Yuki. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> that is so true. I think it might be. <laughs> Faucet to me as well. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. <laughs> oh god. Dude, the way my heart sank when I saw how big that word was, and I was like, it's for refrigerator, and I was like, oh thank god. Thank god I knew this one. <laughs> Wait, even if the output was set to instant freeze, there's a big difference between freezing some leftovers and freezing a whole human being. Yeah. Let me turn this down really quickly. The phone's going crazy. We're not talking about mild frostbite here. The monochro file says that she was frozen to the point where all her cells suffered from necrosis. <laughs> that was the whole point of the refrigerator in the pl first place, I had to tell you. I think you cannot, eh? I'm insulting her in my head. Okay, there we go, that's good. <laughs> Wait, what if a human being is left out? <laughs> if she was frozen that badly, that means the culprit must have left her in for at least a whole day. Huh? Wait. <clears throat> means Coco would have been in there since yesterday's lunchtime. Yuki, when you were there with me and Tsuruya delivering Coco of her meal, there was no answer, right? Y yeah, but Yuriko said that the dinner was gone that night. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. Maybe Yuriko is lying? <laughs> Why would I lie about something like that? <laughs> everybody is so mean to her. Why does everybody pick on me, dude? If your refrigerator theory is correct, that means Kokoro should have been inside the refrigerator last supper. I swear, if Yoriko really is the culprit... <laughs> and you guys were all acting like I wasn't right. Wait, hold your horses. Yoriko never visited Kokoro yesterday, so she wouldn't have had the chance to enter her room. Then who delivered breakfast yesterday? Me, Roha, and Teria. Oh, Roha. And you met up with Kokoro? Yep. We had a really nice chat with her. Kokoro uh -huh. even wrote her on her iPad. Oh, those were the days. <laughs> those were the days. It, it was yesterday. That means she was alive up until that point, at least. Who was there for lunch? Me, Kanade, Gigi, and Ruru. Who's Gigi again? Kanade, Gigi, and, and did Ruru. Did you guys meet Kokoro? Of course. Oh, yeah. She about Shinji. four people being too many. Uh. Wait, this is getting a bit too complicated. Can somebody summarize it? Roha, can you give me a piece of paper from your sketchbook? Oh, yay, a drawing. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, let's take a picture of this, too. Okay. So, day one. Day before yesterday, yesterday, today. Still couldn't make Kokoro body discovered class trial. Okay, unable to meet with Kokoro. Last group to see Kokoro was Shinji, the twins, and Teruya. Unable to meet with Kokoro starting here was Emma, Yuki, and Teruya. Man, I don't want to think you did it, Emma, but I'm so scared. I'm so scared because that would be the saddest. Can summarize what we discussed so far. I think it's you're the result. the most likely to cosplay while slaying too. So I'm just I don't know, girl. I'm watching you. I'm watching you like a hawk. Setsuka, your drawing's adorable. These are really cute. Such a good summary too. <laughs> Is she still blinking even in the drawing? <laughs> I don't have use over my uh, left eye. I hereby dub you the Taking Notes Master. 
Or would it be mistress? Miss Chiabukuro, which do you prefer? I'd prefer it if you stopped focusing on the drawings and instead focused on the timeline of events. Looking at this, we can confirm Kokoro hasn't answered her door since yesterday evening. That means something definitely happened between those two visits. Okay, so like lunch and dinner of yesterday. Does that mean the visitors right before then? Shinji, Teruya, and the twins are all one big culprit? Oh my god! Are you guys the spirit of Okanoki Wawa or whatever it's called? What? Why are we the culprits? And how would that even work? I doubt that four people were accomplices, especially when the chances of there being even one accomplice are close to zero. But according to Yuki, that gap between lunch and dinner was the only period of time she could have been killed in. I mean, like, has such a slow death. I'm like, couldn't they have, like, put her in the fridge in that time? But she technically died, like, later, you know what I mean? Wait, that's impossible. Haven't we already discussed that the only time we could have entered her room was to deliver meals? Oh, Zell's here. Thank you for joining. Always slaying the voice acting, as always. Appreciate you. That was a rule she personally oh, yeah. set. Wait, maybe I shouldn't say slay. I feel like if I say slay to you, it might, like, uh, technically transfer over into the game. I take it back. And I definitely saw her dinner had disappeared. So she couldn't have been dead by then, right? Ah, I really, I don't know why, but I feel like they're, like, not giving, not taking the idea of, like, the killer could have just, like, taken the plate to make it seem like she was alive. Like, that's what I've been thinking the whole time, but nobody else has, like, said it at all. But if Coco were still alive last night, there wouldn't have been enough time to freeze her. Okay. I, I have no idea what we're talking about anymore. According to this theory, none of us could have killed Kokoro to even get close to her. They obviously needed to first enter her room, and if it wasn't during our visits... Admittedly, I think the refrigerator is the root of this problem. Me too. We should just we should just execute the refrigerator, okay? Like that's what I'm saying. That's what I've been saying the whole time from the very beginning. That refrigerator, I I sense mission in it and I, I don't Determining like it. Determining how one would have access to it is what's brought us to a dead end. No, it must be the refrigerator. Considering the liquid nitrogen was just a red herring, it becomes the only tool capable of freezing Kokodo. There is no alternative. But if we could have only entered her room during lunchtime, then... Damn, this really is a locked room mystery. <sighs> this is hard. Can I use a hint coin? <laughs> I I still don't know what we just discussed. <laughs> it's okay, Shinji. Just take a nap, okay? Okay, buddy. I got it! It's ah. Yuki Ona! Oh my god. <laughs> can, we, can we also make Aroha take a nap, please? Monaco, we need to stop the trial right now before it's too late! The refrigerator is this, so these guys, <laughs> guys are spelling refrigerator wrong too, <clears throat> on purpose, cause I, cause I did it. I hate you guys. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Also, I'm sorry that my throat keeps going crazy, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, I noticed you guys are all spelling refrigerator with an E at the end. Are you guys making fun of me? And the class trial, you say? <laughs> I don't mind at all, but I assume that means you've given up on finding the Oh, complete. God. Guys, I know how to spell refrigerator. I promise. No, that's not... I mean, does a culprit exist in the first place? It seems like it's impossible for everyone, so... Is there anything that could point us towards the culprit? We just need a small push in the right direction. I gotta help oh. oh gosh. This the one. culprit exists. This is a case where if you think about the method first, it's more difficult. So let's put the method aside for now and focus on the culprit's identity first. The evidence pointing towards the culprit. You already know, Sora. Okay. I know you have what it takes to solve this. And don't worry. I'll help you out. I like this music, man. That's cool. <laughs> Roha's either stupid or sus. I would say just stupid, honestly. I get it. I was also born stupid, you know? Okay, I think this is that one where I, like, absorb stuff, right? Uh, I don't know, man. I think I'm probably okay. I took notes last time, so... Arrows move up and down, yeah. I was like, I think that's basically it. I just press enter and shift when I'm trying to, like choose a thing. Okay, just start it. Come on. Okay. 
Thank you, Queen. The murder method is still a mystery. The Queen I think container. There was a clue pointing towards the culprit at the crime scene. Whew. Kokoro's final moments. The final clue that Kokoro left with her dying breaths. That yes. clue clearly points out the real culprit. You remember now, right, Sora? Okay. Right? I think I know what you're talking about. Dying message. Do -do -do. Dying message? I agree with that. Yay! <laughs> Consent! <laughs> My crazy girlfriend. Sorry, Monkey. I'm stealing her from you. Oh, gosh. We are on our way to a solid B minus. I love to see it. We love to see it. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> just one more time. Just, one, just save one more time. It's fine. That's it. The dying message. Which I still have no idea what it says. The dying message that Kokoro had left. If we decipher that, we can figure out who the culprit is. Bingo. Well, the dying, oh, what now? The dying message. You usually see victims leave them behind right before they die, hinting towards their killer's identity. But Rara, you're saying Coco left one herself? I'm still unsure how she did that since she was paralyzed. Yes, <laughs> the icicles inside the refrigerator. <laughs> Sorry, Maki. It's not my fault. She wants me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> they look like normal icicles, but if you look closely, there are letters written on each one. It looks like someone carved them with their nails, presumably Kokoro's. FIFA. Would it be my girlfriend? I have to ask my husband. <laughs> he's okay with it. I already, already saw him in chat and he was he, he's excited about it. He's totally cool with it. Isn't that right, Modki? <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I'm kidding, Modki. Love you. Love you. Bestie. <laughs> what? F O? I'm like, who has F O in their name? Look, two of them are stuck together. It looks like the bigger one is penetrating the smaller one. Okay. Um, so the icicles <laughs> killed Kokoro? Oh my god. I don't. <laughs> Shinji. I'm sorry I was born stupid. It's okay, Shinji. It's okay. I'm like, I kind of want him and uh, Roha to have like a competition on who's smarter <laughs> or stupider. Uh, thank you, Net Neutrality. Uh, with Kokoro dead, Kanade is our Kirigiri. Basically, so far, man. <laughs> Basically. Thank you for the donation. Are dying messages supposed to be something obvious? This feels more like some secret code or something. Yeah. It's actually rather simple. I've already figured out the culprit by using this. God, I'm so fucking smart. <laughs> tell him! Tell him, Sora! What? Kanade, you know who the culprit is? Is she gonna be my ray of this game? Who is it? Instead of outright telling you, let me explain through this dying message. A okay, let me make Sora tell you! But we don't know what it means. Miss Kanade, we are inclined to hear your explanation. Of course. Once you learn the identity of the killer, the method should come naturally. Now, <clears throat> while these initially look like a random series of icicles, the important thing to note is that there are exactly eight of them. Okay. Furthermore, the letters F and O have been carved into each end of them. <laughs> Monica, you have Monica. Yeah, but Monica, she's not happy, you know. She's so sad because she's just like, I want to be... I want to be with Monkey, and she cried on my shoulder, and I comforted her, and I was like, I know, Monica. I know, girl. Go to him. Go to him, and that was why she met you at Anime Expo. And now you guys are in love and married, and we love that. We love that so much. <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, for the donation, by the way. One more FNO being carved into each end of them. Okay. Six of them stand separately. But like me, Kay pointed out, <clears throat> one has penetrated another, conjoining the two. I was like, is this making some kind of weird letter that's like different? And that specific icicle is different from the others. Instead of O, it has the letter I carved into it. <laughs> that's so true, Queen. It's an icicle, it's different from the others. Instead of O, it has I carved into it. Okay. The F stands for female. Oh. There are eight icicles and eight of us. Okay. O stands for others. Mm. Oh, so I literally stands for I, as in myself? Okay. So, it's the F? It's the, the, the F that's uh, yep. doing I that? I guess you aren't as stupid as you look, Yuki. Oh my god. 
with the rest all having O on them, one of the remaining seven can be seen penetrating I. Okay. Considering that it was Kokoro who made this, I will represent herself. Girl, are you sure this is like all right though? I feel like you're assuming a lot. Meaning we can interpret this message to mean one of the seven girls killed me. Okay. Whoa, so the culprit is a female? Man, if only Hajimich was here to see this, he'd be so excited. All right, so we know their gender. So what? This alone doesn't pinpoint the culprit at all. It just tells us that the killer is a girl. Well, if you'd let me finish, Nikkei, I was about to say we can take one step further to deduce the killer's identity as well. <laughs> what do you mean? Look carefully at the icicles. It's easy to overlook, but the O icicle that penetrated the I icicle is significantly longer than the other ones. Okay. Uh-oh. But didn't we just deduce that these icicles were us girls? If one's taller than the rest, wouldn't it make sense for their length to be analogous to our heights? Who's the tallest? Is that Emma? Definitely not Kanade or Hibiki. <laughs> That's kind of what she's getting at. She's like, I'm just coming with this theory to clear myself and my sis of, uh, of being the murderer. I don't even know what that word means. Oh, it's got to be a Roja. She's the tallest one. <laughs> one moment, Miss Kanade. Are you proposing that the tallest female present is our killer? Huh? That's the solution to the dying message? But that would mean she's the culprit. Would be, it'd probably be Emma, right? 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 Not Kana- not- not Kanani. Um, it wouldn't be, um, what's her face? Uh, your, would it be Ryuka? Ryuka would be the only other person that I would, uh, think of, right? But it'd probably be Emma since she's like a model. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, how could you do this? Okay, wait. So you can actually look here. Okay, oh wow. Oh my god, Ryuko's tiny! Girl! She's so small. Ah, oh, Setsuka though, too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, I think Emma's taller. I think so. Right. It's only oh my you. god! I should have fucking. That's why I thought this from the beginning, because I was like. That's... What's the saddest outcome? Like, what's the saddest outcome? That's probably what it is. It's like. <laughs> that's not gonna rot before you, man. Emma Magarobi. Are you the killer? I mean, it is pretty early in the trial, I think, still, so... Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I thought, I don't know why, but I thought Yuriko was, like, really, uh, tall. <laughs> Me still sussing Setsuka. <laughs> I'm like, wait, no, it's Setsuka. <laughs> girl, girl, girl. What? Trial suspended! Suspended. Okay. I don't know. It is kind of early in it, so I could see potentially it not being her, to be totally honest. Let's see, increase max influence. What was I gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of this. And then I was gonna put a uh, closing argument on. Okay, I can't do that one. Uh, let me just make sure I do this before I forget, honestly. I don't know, it's like we're still a little early in, so I'm like, because I remember in the second trial from the last game, I'm pretty sure it ended on us accusing Akane, and then it kind of ended up being somebody else, like, uh, later on. So, I'm still kind of thinking it could potentially be that, but, um, we'll see. Especially if it decides to kind of mirror that case, it might be that, like, Emma is sussy and related to the murder, but it could be, like, I don't know, something else entirely, you know what I mean? Like, uh... I'm not totally, uh, I'm not totally convinced yet. We'll see. Proper one influence following each minigame, blah, blah, blah. Definitely need that. Uh, am I gonna be able to get this one? God dang it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this one. We'd be finding ways to accuse Ruka or her girlfriend. Hey, don't put, <laughs> don't put that right there. Eliminates all retry penalties. Oh yeah. Maybe I could do that one. Uh, I probably should, honestly. Oh crap. Oh no, I want that one on. <laughs> no, I want that one on for sure. Okay. I think that's probably good. Okay, let's do that. Let's see. Let me go ahead and save. I think I feel okay enough to continue. I'm like trying to think. I'm like, 
I think I feel okay enough. I'm like, am I gaslighting myself? <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> I feel like a little warm, but I think I feel okay. The core wall should have been a height chart. That is so true. Okay, let's just keep going because I want to find out who did it. I think I feel. I think I feel good enough. Right, let me like, let me triple, quadruple check that I got all this. I mostly want that. The closing argument thing. That was that was rough last time. It's very very rapid. Okay, let's just go for it. <clears throat> Emma, the person that the dying message is referring to, it has to be you. What? <laughs> I don't know. I can I can see it being a red herring, but I can also see it being her. I like I don't know, I get what Kanadi was saying too, but I do feel like it's like a little uh a little far fetched. Oh okay, yeah, thank you, uh unknown for the donation, by the way. Sora, have you forgotten who Emma is? Why would she, of all people, kill Kokoro? She is an actress too, so she'd probably be really good at uh, pretending to, uh, I don't know, be like sad and stuff. I don't know exactly. I just solved the dying message just like Kanade told me. To. <laughs> don't lie, Sora. I was the one that solved the dying message, okay? If the tallest person out of the girls is the culprit, then that would be Emma, right? Yeah, but still. S Sora. <laughs> no, girl, don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, man. I'm soft. Losing Kokoro is painful enough. <laughs> God. Yet I'm desperately trying to find her killer. Okay, I don't trust her anymore. I think she did it. I think she did it. This guilt tripping, this guilt tripping acting performance. No, no, girl. Um, but it's still working on me. And you have the nerve to say I killed her? I don't know, man. I don't know. That's crossing the line. If this is some sick and twisted joke, let me make it clear to you that I'm not laughing. I don't know. Rara, even if the dying message coincides with M's height, don't you think this is a bit... I mean, it was no secret M regarded Coco as her best friend. You saw how upset she was when we found her body. Oh, thanks, Lala. Hope you feel better soon. Thanks for streaming anyways. I appreciate it, yeah. I think I feel good for the most part. Hopefully I don't feel hopefully I don't feel bad after the stream. <laughs> I usually do feel pretty tired, but hopefully, uh hopefully I'll be okay. I think I think I'm good enough. If I start to feel bad, I can just stop whenever. But thanks guys. I just wanna know what happens, you know? It's like they always leave it on a cliffhanger at the middle part. It's so hard to stop. Yeah. Sorry, Sora, but I can't get behind that. This feels more coincidental than incriminating. Maybe our interpretation of the dying message was just wrong? Hmm. Seriously? <laughs> Are you all really that stupid? What a bunch of fucking simps. Whoa! Dial down the aggression a bit, huh? My interpretation is 100% accurate. <laughs> I girl boss my way through it as I should. Didn't I just say that once we determine the culprit's identity, the rest falls into place? Honestly, I was thinking she was a red herring, but the way she was acting just now was so, like, melodramatic. It was really, like... Just made me think like, you know, she's an actress, so she's really gotta like, uh, pull it, pull it all out. Trust me, if you assume Emma's the killer, this case becomes much simpler. It'd be interesting too if she like became friends with her at the beginning just to try to like, get close with her to kill her, you know? Like, uh, I feel like it, ah, oh, that's so messed up, but it wouldn't make sense. Guys, just thought of a joke. Did you hear about the time that KG failed his explosives analysis test? <laughs> they say he bombed it. Ba bum ching. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Kyle, for the donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> let me, uh, yeah, crap, let me get this uh, up again. Kanade, I know you think you're helping, but I assure you, I. Y'all telling Kanade to freaking slay in chat? Guys, don't do that. Don't do that. She will. She is getting ready to slay any moment. Yeah, come on, Kanade. You're being mean to Emmy. There's no way that Emmy would ever. Sister? <laughs> Sister? Shut the fuck up, okay? The grown ups are talking right now. How about shutting <laughs> the hell up while I'm talking? <laughs> Stay out the way. Okay? <laughs> Holy shit! 
<laughs> she really getting ready to slay, dude. She's really, she really is slaying. Oh my god, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh god, that is such a creepy looking sprite, dude. Oh my god. Hibiki, what have you gone through? What have you seen, girl? It's okay, you can, you can confide in me. Maybe like stay, maybe not, don't stay in y'all's dorm anymore. Maybe stay the night in my dorm from now on. You're safe, I'll give you a safe space. Uh, um, what the fuck? <laughs> um, let's maybe deal with that later. <laughs> oh. It seems to me that Miss Connor is Oh my god. Sometimes you just have to be mean about it. <laughs> That's so true, Queen. You're slaying, and we love you for it. We love you for it. Thank you for the donation. Oh god. It seems that to me that Miss Connor is the case. I don't know. Are we sure about that? Looks to me like Miss Little Sis is getting a bit deluded. Uh, if that's what you want to call it, dude. If that's what you would call it, man. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to lock her in her room next chapter. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Kanade? What are you smiling about? You think of a funny joke? You just thought of a funny joke. Huh? You're so silly. You're so silly, girl. You're so silly, girlfriend. <laughs> deluded. Oh, you poor, naive chump. Kanade, oh, what's wrong? Oh, Sora. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? Are you the killer? I don't understand. Yes. She's going psycho mode. You alone believed my reasoning, right? <laughs> oh my God, we're kind of besties. You're kind of we're kind of girlfriends now, Sora. <laughs> don't you agree? Since these gaggle of imbeciles can't tell the difference between their asses <laughs> from their elbows, why don't you try figuring out how Emma did all this? Oh my God. Oh, I was just like, I don't know if I want to anymore. Can, can I be excused, Monocro? If you're lost, I can give you a hint. Thank you, best girl, Kanade. She's like the Kirigiri of this trial, too. Emma's talent. Her ultimate talent is the key to this. Emma's talent. Trust her, sheeple. Those sprites are pure sanity. <laughs> Thank you, net neutrality. <laughs> I mean, like, there's nothing weird with those sprites at all. She's just slaying. She's <laughs> just her girl. <laughs> Nothing weird whatsoever going on. Well, I hate to admit it, Kanade's logic has been sound so far. I guess I've got no choice but to entertain her theory. Sith the method will become clear once we determine the killer's identity. So what is it about Emma that would answer all these questions? I need to focus. Logic? Craft? Uh, have I done this one before? I don't think so. Uh, oh no, yeah, I haven't done this one before. Press and hold Z to move up. Let go... Let go to move down. Okay. It's one of those types of games. Running to too many obstacles results in a point penalty. In Logicraft, you must train the entangled thoughts inside your brain. You encounter colored blocks coming from the right during your flight. And your obje objective is to reach the end without colliding into them. Your spaceship will move upward while you're pressing C. With no input, the ship will descend on its own. Hitting a block will damage your shield as reflected on the gauge on the left. Shield has five points. If it's damaged beyond that, there will be a penalty to your score as well as a decrement in your focus gauge. Furthermore, you must attempt the stage from the beginning. <laughs> your focus gauge is fully depleted. Your influence gauge will take damage instead. And you must start over the entire minigame. <laughs> Yay. We love that. <laughs> Flappy bird, basically. Yep. Yeah. Each block inflicts a different amount of damage. Green blocks inflict one damage and yellow blocks inflict two damage. Oh, Jesus. Really? Okay. Green and yellow inflicts too. Only have like five lives, anyways. Roblox kill you instantly, so be cautious when you see them. I guess so. The Sion, Sion blocks lining the top and the bottom of the screen also inflict one damage when you get in contact with them. Okay. If you reach the end of the stage, you will be given a question with three answer choices. Choose the path you believe to be correct and wait at the location for about seven seconds. Okay, so you just kind of hover over it. The game will then proceed to check if your choice was indeed correct. If your answer is correct, you'll move on to the next stage. If not, you start all over, right? If not, your ship will be destroyed and you must reattempt the stage. At least it's just the stage and not the whole game. I guess Shobai's ability if you struggle with this one. Oh, okay. I guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll see probably though. Finally slams head into wall. I am deceased. Matki, um, your wife's uh you might need to come get her. <laughs> She's acting a little cray cray right now. 
<laughs> Your ship will not automatically descend during this period, so you may freely move it around using the arrow keys. Oh, okay, cool. That's nice, then, at least. Make it through the total of three stages and three questions to complete the logic graph. That's not too bad, then. Uh, can I pull up, like, evidence or something during this, or no? Okay. Oh, my God, she's so cute. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm sinking. Hella sink. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, girl. 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 No. Girl, girl, girl. Girl, girl. Okay, come on. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Why is it so hard? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why are all these mini games so freaking hard, dude? Oh, my God. <laughs> Pause this for a second? Or is that not a thing? Okay. Oh my god. Why did I not take damage that one time? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> oh, uh, how do I... How do I move her? One second. Okay, I think I did it. <laughs> okay, guys. I uh, can't read the donations right now. Okay, sometimes it like hits it, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> I guess it's like not uh, the most, uh, what's the? <laughs> Why is this so hard? <gasps> I like this game, but I feel like the trial mini games are a little. Maybe it was because I clicked out of uh, the game or something, but I couldn't move for a second. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, girl. You can do this. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. make it please god say I made it <laughs> what does the ultimate actress do act that's so true bestie okay so it's just up and down that's what I, I think I was like trying to move like straight that was why I couldn't move It's kind of creepy. Ah, fuck. Oh my god. Not the yellow. So, hanging out with Show by next game. Oh my god. Okay. okay. I guess it's okay if it touches the bottom for some reason. Whew, just go for it. What would allow her? They simply stealthily hide. Oh, disguise another person? I think so, right? Please. Whew. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew. Okay. It all makes sense. <laughs> I guess it's like when it hits the bottom, it's like okay or better. Also, I saw somebody, they were like, you're literally the worst person at this game ever, no offense. Um, that's kind of offensive. <laughs> People do that in the comments all the time. They'll be like, you're literally the worst and I hate you, <laughs> but no offense. Like, okay, thanks. We'll take offense to that, Pesley. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> like, I don't understand comments like that, man. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, I uh, thank you, Box and Onan. Gisha, my ability to struggle with this one. Okay, yeah, so those are the ones I read. 
Love me my best, love me my worst. I love you even more at your worst, Kanade. Don't worry. Don't worry. Generally, I shot myself with a spray show. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Phoenix, by the way. Uh, Kyle, correction, Modkey's wife. It's just being completely normal. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you guys for the donations, by the way. Oh, gosh. Okay. M for males would be so much easier than O for others to put on icicles. Also, this mini game sucks. <laughs> it was pretty tough, man. <laughs> it was pretty tough. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. There we go. Emma's talent. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh gosh. With the talent of ultimate actress, wouldn't it be possible for her to act as someone else? What do you mean? Up until now. We'd written off this case as impossible. Was she really like, uh, trying to be like, guys, it was the spirit of Inoka Bababadada, whose name I can't, uh, can't remember. No way of entering Kokoro's room and each of us having alibis for that period of time. However, one person did have access, Kokoro herself. But what if the Kokoro we met was in fact not the actual Kokoro? Uh... Oh, dang. So that's where the wig came from. I see. Dude, that's messed up, man. You better hang out with Shobai Weeby. I will. I definitely will, dude. 110 million percent. Shobai is my new bestie. I forgive him for ignoring me last time. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, by the way. What? I was pretty offended, though. I'm not going to lie. When I gave him a present, he was just like, okay, deuces. What if Emma was disguised as Kokoro? Uh, man, that's crazy. And if the real Kokoro was already dead, then suddenly the murder becomes much more possible. Wow, that's crazy. That's... You mean the Kokoro we've been meeting with all this time was actually Emma? Sora, first you besmirch my friendship. <laughs> now you wish to besmirch my talent, too. Besmirch? No. It's not Girl, don't even. Don't don't give in to her. She's gaslighting you. What's your deal? Why are you suddenly hell bent on making me this evil psychopath? Calm down, Em. I know how you feel, but Sorry, girl, but it's just like maybe don't kill your best friend next time. Calm down. I just lost my best friend, and yet Sora thinks it's okay to suggest I was the one who killed her. No, I think I'm entitled to feel a little betrayed. All I want is to let Kokoro rest in peace. And, and yet... <laughs> Permitch and <laughs> Dill in the chat. Uh, she is, she is slaying with the acting. No, I didn't mean to. Oh, you poor Sora, dude. Sora, don't you think you're going a bit too far with this? Bismitch. <laughs> yeah, I honestly can't see Emma killing Kokoro. It just wouldn't make any sense. This is a hundred ten million percent a killer move, man. Let's retrace our steps and go back over what we know. Maybe Kanade made a mistake somewhere. Me? <gasps> made a mistake? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Kokichi Sprite! <laughs> oh my god, I'm just like your best boy, Weeby! Aren't you in love with me? Of course I am, Queen. <laughs> what a disappointment! I never expected you all to share a single digit IQ like my sister. Oh my god! Now she's shit talking her sister? Oh my god, that's bright too. She looks crazy. To think I could easily die if you have what's vote wrong. <laughs> Disgusting. I mean, she do got a point. Best friend, you just. I was thinking the same thing, honestly. I was like, I didn't want to, like, you know, just like. I didn't want to talk down on their friendship, but I do feel like people in Daganarapa do that all the time. They like first met and they're like, my best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> it's like, was she really your best friend? Was she really? Thank you for the donation, by the way. You. Uh, How dare. A sister, what the heck? <laughs> Strange. I could have sworn I told you to be quiet, Hibiki. Oh my god, we gotta save Hibiki, dude. She's gonna die. She's gonna die if we don't stop this. Oh my god, Hibiki, you can come to my room and we can be besties. We can do each other's nails and you you can be safe with me. You can be safe with me. Weepy, Maki, get me out of this trial room. <laughs> my love, I will. You've done nothing wrong. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Who are better, Kokichi or Kanade? Definitely Kanade. Definitely, definitely my best girl. 
Thank you guys for the donation. All the work can solve this case. Can you not even understand something as simple as that? Ah, her voice. I love that it's like kind of implying here that her like cute little voice was like all a stage, all stage two. Because now her voice is like not like oh ha ha anymore. No, no longer cute anime girl. <laughs> Feels like no wonder he didn't like the holy water as a gift. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Phoenix. God damn it again, Kanani. My heart can't take this. <laughs> same, same. We got it, guys. Save Hibiki. Hashtag save Hibiki. <laughs> Always so useless. Can't do anything yourself. Oh my Always god. Always on me to clean up your shit. Jesus. You should know your place by now. Would this- would she have like formed this personality from Hibiki like bullying her though? Hibiki! <laughs> Why? You're so scary! This <laughs> is the first time we've ever seen her like this? Um, okay. <laughs> Ignoring the nightmare fuel for a second. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like I'm not seeing this. <laughs> just gonna pretend like this didn't even happen. Oh, thank you, x -Fun, for becoming a part of the Kinjo cult. I love your icon, by the way. It's so cute. I also kind of think it's unfair to accuse Emma as the killer just because some icicles in her love of acting. <laughs> no. I'll believe Kanade and Sora's reasoning. Oh, me too. Me too. <laughs> That speech was so moving it lit a fire within my heart. <laughs> oh, I love that. Can you teach me how to do those sprites, Kanade? Too much. <laughs> this is all too much. Oh, ho. Simmer down, everyone. Simmer down. The class trial room is a sacred place where the only permitted battles are ones of wit. Thus, any conflict must be resolved through a formal debate. <clears throat> are we doing the, the big thing? Scrum debate, maybe? I don't want to suspect Emma, but this case cannot be solved unless Kanadi is right. <laughs> We're kind of screwed otherwise, so I'm just really hoping, sorry, she's like, I'm just really hoping it's her, okay? Fan Fury, Roha is the best character. I think for the donation, Roha is a little cutie. I like her a lot. You mean Inori, right? Who's a Roha? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thanks for the donation. First things first, you need to listen to everyone's arguments and find the holes in their logic. Scrum debate! Uh, I don't know. Scrum debate. Just like choose the one that uh like matches or it goes against it. I think it's usually just gonna be the same keyword. I feel like this one's usually pretty easy. I say knock on wood. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and if team argument, push the screen. Just fitting, blah blah blah. Do 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 Oh my god, Kanadi has a point. Assuming it was Emma, things started to make sense. Actress, riches to pay off. Oh, show by cookers. Oh my god, you're right, dude. It does make sense though. Damn. Oh man, Hibiki still on Kanadi's side, even though she's being such a bitch to her. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, by the way, Kyle. You are right though, that makes a lot of sense. Is it possible to disguise as Kokoro? We were always together, so I have no time to disguise Kanade. If you all hear my reasoning, then you'll understand why she had to use a disguise. Let's see, is that it? Oh, <laughs> killer, there's no need for something as complex as a disguise. The oh, that was it. We met was definitely the real Kokoro. Wouldn't it be tough to act like somebody else so perfectly? Even if she had perfectly imitated the appearance, she couldn't have imitated her voice. Voice. Kokoro and Emma have different heights. Wouldn't it be hard to disguise as one another? Height. Even so, this case isn't closed without a way to enter her room. Room. Okay, maybe it was always. That's what they're saying. Okay, I went a little too quickly. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> We have to counter each of our opponent's points logically. I don't want to doubt Emma either, but Kanani pointed out we need to narrow down suspects to solve the case. It might be always. Let's adjust everyone's opinions. We were always together, so I have no time to disguise Kanade. Nah. -uh. How can you say always when you weren't with us the whole 24 hours? So true, Queen. If Em's the killer, there's no need for something as complex. Kanade, if you all hear my reasoning, then you'll understand why she had to use a disguise. There we go. The Kokoro we met was definitely the real Kokoro. Wouldn't it be tough to act like somebody else so perfectly? This one's ah, mine. Shit. To act is her ah, ultimate damn talent, it. isn't it? I missed it! Damn it! Kokoro and Emma have different heights. This one's mine. Kokoro didn't get out of bed. 
we had no chance of checking her height. Even so, this case isn't closed without a Mikado. The way to enter her room may exist, just yet to be discovered. Try the balcony. Take out of the opponents before they even get. I have to start over, probably. Man, I just thought I wasn't able to find it uh, in time. Okay. We were always together, so I had no time to discover. Kanade! How can you say always when you weren't with us the whole 24 hours? If M's the killer, there's no need for some. Kanade! If you all hear my reasoning, then you'll understand why she had to use a disguise. The Kokoro we met was definitely. This one's mine! To act is her ultimate talent, isn't it? There you go. Even if she had perfectly imitated the appearance. Yuki, we couldn't even hear Kokoro's voice thanks to the disease. Did it's it. not a problem. It's true. Kokoro and Emma have different heights. This one's mine. Kokoro I love this in the game. It's so fun. We had no chance of checking her height. Even so, this case isn't close. Mikado. <clears throat> the way to enter her room may exist. There you go. Okay, discovered. time to button smash. Okay, crush mine. Set. Okay, S, 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 S. Woo! This is our answer. Nice! Woo! I love that minigame. It's so pretty, man. Shobai is literally silent, as always. <laughs> okay, we're just all the way to, to B minus, and we love that. <laughs> okay, let me read these donations. Hi, Weeby. I've literally been to your videos with B3, Diner Up on Another, and. All the wheel decides. I'm happy to finally be here live and supporting. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you uh, enjoy the, uh, I think, uh, I think I remember a show that you joined the Discord or like the, uh, the channel too. So I hope you enjoyed the Discord and the emotes too. And yeah, I agree with uh, what Kyle was saying. It definitely makes a lot of sense if uh, it was all Emma this whole time. Dude, that's crazy. So she was pretending to be <laughs> paralyzed. <laughs> or maybe, well, mm -hmm. I'm like, to just make up the illness and be like, yeah, I'm paralyzed now. That's why I have to talk with the tablet and stuff. And that was why she was like pretending with that in the first place. Hmm. That's kind of fucked up too, because she like literally paralyzed her, you know, <laughs> like the actual uh, Kokoro. I think, I think that's kind of what it is, you know? Okay, they're Dean. Mikado. U Utsuro and Kanade, the dream team. <laughs> that is so true. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Wait, wait. We're just going in circles here. We won't make any progress like this. Oh, people. <laughs> I never expected you to be this cruel, Sora. <laughs> Emma's just like, look at how pretty I am. How could I have done this when I'm so pretty? Why are we even still discussing this? If my reasoning sound... Which it is, mind you. It becomes pretty obvious that Emma's <laughs> tears are about as real as her fake ass accent. Ah! Ah, girl! <laughs> She's going for I know her, you're man. Confident in your reasoning, but there's no <laughs> need to be so rude. She is coming for her, man. Okay, fine. It doesn't seem like they're going to drop the topic, so I'll play along for now. Let's assume that the disguise is possible. So what? It doesn't <clears throat> matter how much one looks like another. I guess that makes sense why her clothes are off in the first place, too. Without a means of getting inside her room, Kanade's reasoning becomes entirely nonsensical. Girl's got a point. Only Kokoro could get inside her own room. Each dorm door could only be opened by its respective owner. That crafty crow created a contraption that not even the craziest of characters could coerce completely, correct? Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure we were all told that back when this game started. Yeah. Right now, we still haven't overcome the biggest obstacle of getting into her room. Come on, Yuka. You want to back me up, girlfriend? I think you, Kyle. Burn for real. She well, got the her. Had to have entered her room at her. Least once before murdering her. Hmm. There were only three chances for us to enter her room. You mean during the meal deliveries, right? Do you see now? The notion of a disguise has caused her discussions to become circular. This is all Sora's fault. Ergo, it might behoove us to disregard it. But who of us? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, everyone? We definitely had the chance. Why? It was when we entered Kokoro's room without her permission, of course. Hmm. You mean we entered her room without asking her permission? Once again, Kanade seems to be one step ahead of us. 
<laughs> Thank God we have her here, man. We'd be screwed otherwise. Let's see where she's going with this. Have I done the consent thing with a non-stop debate yet? I don't think I have. Dry Bloodstain, Monocruz, Kokoro. Okay, Monocruz, Balcony, Kokoro's Handbook, Dry Bloodstain. When do you mean we entered Kokoro's room without her permission? Have you forgotten? After our performance, when she suddenly collapsed. In order to gain admittance, we used her e-handbook plus to open the door. Hmm. Right. And we needed her fingerprints to unlock said e-handbook plus for it to work. But Kokoro was still alive at that point. So what if we went inside? What if somebody took advantage of the confusion and stole her e-handbook plus once inside? Hmm. And what if they left the room with her e-handbook plus? Then after that, they could come and go whenever they wished. And you're suggesting that somebody is me. Okay. So we disagree with this? But is that really... Kanani's words make sense, but is that really his truth? Emma is acting. She's an actress. Hello! Once the wigs were introduced, she fell under suspicion. I hope y'all recall. She wears contacts. Oh, does she really? I kind of forgot about that part. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, uh, Iris. I appreciate it. Yeah, she definitely... She definitely did it, dude. Uh, Kanani's words make sense, but is that really the truth? I guess it's the ending part um, that I disagree with what Kanani was saying. I think so, at least. Emma and Yuruko derogatory. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically Kanade. Basically. <laughs> basically. Mystery of the locked room. There must be evidence related to this among what I found during the investigation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quickly. Really quickly. So uh, I'll be right back and I'll think about this some more. But uh, I think I'm probably disagreeing with the last part. But yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Bye bye. It's gonna be like a few minutes. Uh, I don't know if I can really put a little Mitch nut on screen. There he is. <laughs> Talking to me, it looks like he's like literally talking to the mic. Oh my god, he's so cute. The only version of Mitch that I like.
TV's chair cold. <laughs> I was like, what are you guys talking about? And dismitch. <laughs> the dismerge thing. Oh man, okay, Minch, not going back over there <laughs> for a little bit. Ah, okay, a little bit of water too. Guy's really simping over a chair. First a bird, and now a chair. The chair's looking like kind of old. It's like falling apart, man. <laughs> it's like a very off brand of like the nice gaming chairs. <laughs> very, very off brand. Okay, first handbook. Can you organize the owner's fingerprint? It has auto battery saver function. Only the owner is able to turn it on or disable the battery saving mode. Without it, it's impossible to open the lock on our doors. Maybe that Kokoro's room was completely sealed off from the outside. Yeah, it's gotta be the handbook. Probably forgotten after our performance when she suddenly collapsed. In order to gain admittance, we used her e handbook plus to open the door. That's true. Right. And we needed her fingerprints to unlock something. But Kokoro was still alive at that point. What if somebody took advantage <clears throat> of the confusion and stole her e handbook plus once inside? And what if they left the room with her e handbook plus? No, that's wrong! Okay, I was <laughs> like, I think so. I don't really know exactly. But I think so. <laughs> well, it's the chair's fault for being such a baddie. <laughs> Damn bad, dude. Guys, I think that's actually Emma dressed up as Weeby. Weeby's actually dead. How did you know? I don't think Emma did anything wrong in this trial. Now that I think about it, she's just too pretty. She's just too pretty to have done anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, Weeby. Weeby went to Mexico. Unfortunately, she will be staying there forever. <laughs> Man, if I just like parted my hair and curled it, I could do a pretty easy Emma cosplay. The bangs are probably all crazy though. Hold on, Kanade. We can't know that for sure yet. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Look how sassy she is. I'll admit, it's true that if somebody had stolen Kokodo's e handbook plus, they could have entered the room freely. <laughs> She's gonna be like, you know, Sara, I liked you for a second. You were the only one I was gonna allow to live. She's like, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't say anything. That is, unless the auto power saving function was on. Auto power saving function? You mean the function that automatically turns off the e handbook plus after it's left alone for a certain amount of time? Even if somebody stole Kokoro's e handbook plus, like Kanade suggests, if the e handbook plus ever turned off, it'd be impossible to turn it back on again without Kokoro's input. Yeah, but I think I knew how she got her uh, her input. <laughs> her input. <laughs> Have an idea. Just kept touching it to ensure it never turned off. That is impossible. While you may be able to use the e-handbook pluses of your fellow <clears throat> students for mundane means, the auto power saving function shares the same recognition algorithm with turning your e-handbook plus on, which, as you all know, only reacts to the owner's fingerprints. I wonder. I wonder. How did they get her fingerprints? That's just so weird. Why, you, you're just spouting long words that I don't understand. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Shinji. Take a nap. Essentially. The e handbook plus would power down unless Coco herself was touching it. It says everyone else says, Kanade. Without knowing that fact for certain, we cannot continue with your line of reasoning. Oh yeah, I think she must have actually gotten sick too, because like, uh, we did see Coco that night where she like fell down and stuff. I think it was like after that. Um, well, I'm trying to think of when she announced her like illness, you know what I mean? So I think that's probably, that'd be a big deciding factor, but she definitely was sick of something. She did pass out and we like had to take her to her room. And I'm assuming it was like pretty soon after that, that Emma killed her. <laughs> oh girl, why do you look so evil when you're helping me solve the trial? I don't want to think about if you actually kill somebody. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up girl? What's up waifu? Everyone, this may <laughs> sound sudden, but can I ask you all something? What is it now? She's just in a silly, goofy mood, you know? She's just a Kinjo Kenny. She can't help it. Iroha has continually insisted that Kokoro was killed by the Yukiona's curse. She was like the opposite of Kinjo, actually, since he was like obsessed with like not killing. Yes? So? And what was it that made you think it was the curse? B because Yukiona is known to freeze the one she hates and take their hands and feet. And that's what happened to Kokoro, right? That's right. 
Iroha came to that conclusion specifically because Kokoro's corpse was missing her hands and feet. Of course, she was also dumb <laughs> enough to believe it was actually a curse to kill her, but... <laughs> We're not gonna think about that part. Who says I'm dumb? <laughs> I know I say it sometimes, but I, I'm allowed to say it. And just why are you bringing this up? You're not actually going to tell me you believe it was the curse too, are you? Oh, Kanade, I'm just being a bit quirky today. <laughs> I know, Kanade, you're so cute when you're quirky. You're just so, so adorable. We love it. Damn, Kanade, you good? This is a, this is a perfect scoop. Oh, thank you, Aptap, for the donation as well. <laughs> I don't think she's good. I don't, I don't think she's doing, doing too good. Hardly, but it begs the question, doesn't it? Either that or she's doing great. <laughs> if it wasn't the curse, then why did the killer <clears throat> choose such a cumbersome method of murdering? To, to try and scare everyone? Wrong again, Hibiki. Mm. Please think before you talk. God, you're so stupid. This is obviously a copycat crime. To give off the impression it was the curse, when in actuality, the killer had a specific reason to do this. Yeah. A copycat crime? What's that? It's exactly how it sounds. The case was specifically set up to imitate a past crime. Kanade suggesting Kogoro's death was carried out in a way that mimics the legend of Yukiona. But why would the killer do that? It's obvious. It was to cover up the trick of this locked room murder. As Sora and Mikado have proven, Kokoro's e-handbook plus would only have responded to her own fingerprints. No matter how hard they tried, the built-in algorithms would have prevented the culprit from turning the e-handbook plus back on. So... What if the killer had Kokoro's fingerprints? Yeah, <laughs> this is something I would do. <laughs> yeah, did you guys really not, uh, really not, not get that? I see, that must have been the reason why the killer did that to Kokoro. That evidence we found near Kokoro's body, that was nothing like Yuki, that was nothing like Yukiona's curse. Uh... Nothing like Yukiona's curse that was near her body? No, not these. I don't know. Uh, the dry blood stain? Was that it? it doesn't seem. That's the only thing I can really think of. Right? No. <laughs> Evidence we found near Cooker's body that was nothing like Yukiona's curse. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Severed limbs. Cougar's hands can be cut off. Old legend. Alan tells Zeke Yona to freeze people to death and takes away their limbs. Did she really fall victim to the snow woman's curse? Severed limb? Really? I mean, isn't that a part of the curse, though, too? The dry eyes. <laughs> Let's go with severed limbs. I thought that was like you the curse. Think they cut them off. The killer cut off Kokoro's hands so they could easily have access to her fingerprints. I was just confused because I thought I was saying that it was something that wasn't like the curse, but I was like, isn't that specifically like the curse? <laughs> totally the refrigerator. <laughs> oh my god. Cutting off the fingers to get the fingerprints? I could explain it though. We all just thought it resembled elements of the Yukiana's curse. Hey, <laughs> we do you need a hand. Well, yeah. In actuality, the culprit did it to get her fingerprints. Hold on. You're seriously insinuating the killer carried around a severed hand just to turn on the e-handbook plus. Who would do that? How could such a feat be remotely possible? Not only would they have to hide it, but they'd also have to consider the blood and the smell. Yeah, I know, right? I guess it was like, maybe that was another reason why they decided to freeze her, because then it wouldn't smell, maybe? Not to mention, know. if they just wanted her fingerprints, why did they also cut her feet off? Just to mimic the curse, I assume. Who said they carried all her hands and feet? All they needed was her fingerprint. A fingertip would have sufficed. <laughs> Let's check everybody's belongings. Who has a fingertip in their bag right now? Then why did they cut them all off? Because if she was only missing one finger, it would have been much easier to infer that they were after a fingerprint. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Even if, like, the only people that's actually going to believe the curse is, like, Aroha. 
but uh, it does help kind of cover up the mystery, you know. Hey guys, Nikkei News here. I still think you're a ghost size. <laughs> Nikkei in the corner, for real. I like, I don't know, man. I still think, I still kind of think you, Ruko, did it. It's like, it's okay, Nikkei. Just, just take a nap, okay? The grown ups are talking. Besides, we only know the state of Coco's body post discovery. Thank God we got Kanata here. Otherwise, we'd be totally screwed. It's possible the killer only carried a fingertip, then cut the rest off not long before we found her body to throw us off. They, say, ugh, they keep it in their room or something? That's what you wanted to say, right, Kana? Took you all long enough. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly what I'm suggesting. It's a theory, nothing more. There's no evidence suggesting such, nor would someone do such a laborious task just for one fingertip. Dang, just a theory, a game theory. No, there is evidence. And that's not usually right. At the time of the body discovery, Kokoro's body had just begun to melt and bleed. But there was also a dry blood stain on the bed. At the time, it didn't make sense. Ah, uh, that's from the finger. This is all moving so fast. What did the blood mean then? Ah, uh, thank you, Lily, for the dollar donation. Appreciate that. It means she bled prior to us showing up. The dry yeah. blood stain was left behind after the killer took her fingertip. Mm. Like Setsuka said, the imitation of the curse was nothing more than a red herring. The second island had a great motif of Yukiona's tale. It makes sense the killer would use it to distract us all. Yeah. Honestly, I tip my hat to you, dear killer. Oh, you're so cool. Uh, do you want to be besties, killer? Please? So how about I'm it? I'm so lonely. Are we now willing to agree it was possible to enter the room? Well, it certainly does explain how Emma could have entered Kokoro's room while disguised as her. Oh, but wait, there's more. On the night Kokoro collapsed, the last one to come out of her room was... Uh... Da, 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 da. Emma Magorobi. Dang, Kanata is so smart, man. Okay, uh, and? And is that supposed to do with anything? If she was the last to leave, she could have stolen the e-handbook plus without being <clears throat> noticed by anyone else. Yeah, she could just kind of fake the whole, like, uh, I'm just care so much about my friend thing. Emma, you didn't. Did you? I can't believe these lies and slander. That's gonna be her whole defense, dude. I feel like she has not brought any evidence. She just like cries. She's just like, oh, how could Sora do this to me? It's just as Kanade said. Yeah. By determining the killer first and then retracing our steps with the information that gave us, we've been able to solve what we couldn't before. Okay, so if we combine what we just learned with what we knew earlier, the killer swept her e handbook plus while we were placing her in her room. Then, after everyone went to bed, they rushed back to Kokoro's room before the e handbook plus switched off. Okay. Oh, thank you, Kanade. Oh, look, I am right again, <laughs> like always. Man, Kanadi, you haven't really been uh, shit talking to Yuriko that much. I guess you've just been focusing on everybody as, as a whole. <laughs> just like you've expanded your hate, you know? It's possible that the real and fake Kokoro were swapped then too. Yeah. Definitely seems like the most likely case, because after that, everything was so, like, uh, what should we call it? Um, like planned out and stuff, and then, you know? To make sure that they had free reign to her e handbook plus, they cut her finger off and locked her in the refrigerator. Oh! The refrigerator took me to stuff. How splendid. By working together, we've solved all the questions from earlier. <laughs> uh, our friendship has improved. Can I can I have you guys' underwear now? Access to the locked room. The time needed to freeze the body. And the alibi issue. One moment. Are we forgetting something? The school rules specifically state that losing your e-handbook plus is prohibited. Not if you're dead though, right? If what you're suggesting is true. Surely Kokura would have been punished for losing hers, would she not? Not really. Stealing it and losing it are two very different things. And besides, school rules mm. tend to make an exception for murder. Yeah. Seriously? That's a thing? Yeah, it's like the first time she's actually brought up evidence oh, for defense. Oh, she's right. Monokro said so when we tried opening Kokoro's door. Right before we discovered the body. However, if, even if I were to open the store, I believe your efforts, unfortunately, baby, a little too late, Mom. What do you What do you mean by that? Back to the topic at hand. I'm afraid I cannot allow one to break into another storm, unless certain dire circumstances arise. The, so, the rules certainly are strict, but I shall elect to forgive you if you do such in certain, certain situations. For instance, let's say a murder, perhaps? Oh, no, no, no. Regardless, since you did go out of your way to call me, I'll be kind and open the door this one time. Oh, thank you, Indifference. 
I still say it was Sophie, a big brain. <laughs> it reminds me like the lo-fi raps, the lo-fi like uh, music things too. Fofi beats. I'm gonna listen to the shows after the stream. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, donation. <laughs> By the way, I'm agreeing. I think it was also Fofi, Mitch is a uh, 57th uh, evil twin. Coco. On the topic of school rules, there was another one the killer violated for this case. You mean the vandalism? Wow, Yuki, there may be a brain in there after all. <laughs> She's so mean. Vandalism? Mind explaining for us, Yuki? Don't you remember, Big Bro? The day after the performance, you said you'd noticed that the museum's Yukiana statue had been broken. Okay. Now another morning job. Oh yeah, well, we talked about vandalism then too. But we all thought it was strange that Monocro hadn't punished anyone for it. When in actuality... Yup, it was part of the trick. Okay, so as long as it has the intention to murder... In order to help create the illusion of Yukiona's curse, the culprit destroyed the statue to make it seem as if it had awoken. Well, that may be one reason, certainly. Though I think the culprit had a different idea in mind. As you all know now, the crux of this case is the killer's disguise. Makeup can be used to mask the skin color. Stealing their clothes helps the appearance. But what about the hair? She's right. The poker we'd all met bore a remarkably strong resemblance to the real thing. So how did she mimic the hair color? Ah, yes. I've been wondering how. That evidence would tie in, perhaps, now? I'm so confused. Why is there not a refrigerator, truthfully? <laughs> it's obviously that... Which, like, I say that, I make that joke, and this, like, this isn't, it isn't even actual evidence. Oh, thank you, French Toast. Had a bad day, but watching your stream really cheers me up. By the way, does Dr. Rapa and other two have all fully voice, voice trials now? It's sounding pretty good. Much love. Oh, thank you so much. Unfortunately, this is the last trial that's voice acted, to my knowledge. I think they're still working on Chapter 3. I'm not sure exactly how far along they are into it, though. Um, but uh, I think after this, I'll have to start doing, like, the subbed version. But uh, thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. And yeah, they do do a really great job with the voices. Got it. Got it. Dressing room. She <clears throat> took a wig from the dressing room inside the museum. Right again. <laughs> right again. Well, well, yeah, there was loads of wigs in the dressing room. But none of them look like Kokoro's hair, right? And she could just, like, style it, right? Iroha, do you remember the costume party we held on the first night we arrived at the second island? Party? Oh, yeah, I remember. Man, we were having that bonding moment, and she was thinking about murdering one of us. And do you remember who helped style our hair at that time? Huh? Oh, uh, it was Emma. But wait, what does the wig have to do with the broken Yukiona statue? Relationship between the wig and the broken statue. Maybe it's because of that. Oh god, dang it. <laughs> um, the dressing room item list? Uh, did I do? I think it's likely that. Or was it the refrigerator? No, okay. Oh, I'll, sc I'll quit screwing around. I already did this, right? Show by? Nah. Maybe there's a balcony since the windows are not clear fix. Probably the item list, Stop. right? Okay, <laughs> cool. It's probably because of the dressing room item list. What? Oh yeah, I saw that too. It's a list that details the amount of stock for each item in the dressing room. How many wigs there are, how many variations of clothing there are, things like that. <laughs> Little does everyone know, Fofi didn't even need a wig for his impersonation. He uses Maybelline to style his hair. He just uses his Mitch powers to brainwash everybody. It's just, it's so obvious and it's so sad. And Emma's telling the truth in this trial, saying that she didn't do it. You know what I mean? But they just don't believe, they don't believe her because Fofi's too strong. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, I appreciate it. If the killer had taken a wig to disguise themselves as Kokono, then the numbering on the list wouldn't match the actual stock. So to cover that, they destroyed the statue and took the hair part to fill up the inventory. Oh, thank you, MD Warrior. Hey, we be MD again. Hope the best, great, hope the best. Great stream, too. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, stepping by and for the donation. Whoa. They went to all that <clears throat> effort for just one wig? Who'd notice something as small as that? Given how crucial the disguise was to the plan, I imagine they must have been hyper-vigilant and paranoid about keeping it hidden at all costs. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, 
Their meticulousness was not in vain. Since I'm literally the only one who thinks she did it right now. So that's Ganadi. Someone took the time to memorize the whole list and cross-reference it with its stock every single day. What? Okay, <laughs> perverted. Uh, can you guys leave me alone? <laughs> Oh, that was never my intent. I'm a merchant, remember? Uh, oh, right. I'm sorry. A long time ago, I made a mistake in taking inventory, which resulted in something irreversible. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the details, but I swore to be thorough from then on. Aw, good old Teruya. That was like the second chapter, I think, actually, too. But even despite that, memorizing inventories is nothing new for me. As a merchant, I can't stand not knowing exact quantities of the stock. Even with Teria making daily rounds, not even he noticed a wig disappearing. At a glance, it looks like the killer was being overly paranoid. When in reality, doing exactly that was what stopped Teria from noticing the discrepancy. This is a really good plan though, I gotta say. The killer really was one step ahead of everyone. The other tell was the small amount of rubble from the statue in one of the wigs. That tiny detail is what led us down this path. Still, we would never have come up with the disguise idea without Kanade's help. No, I was just able to look outside the box. That's all. Well, well, well. It seems our killer has finally been unveiled. What you got to say for yourself, Emma? I can't... Why is everybody so mean to me? <laughs> Probably. Emma. Oh, no. You really? Is it time to go? Correcchio, full, full Mekon Correcchio moment? I guess it's chapter two, but you know. Emma, if you really are the killer, then please... Make this easy for us and confess now. I don't want to keep having to doubt you like this. Here we go. Are you? <gasps> truly that desperate to paint me as the killer? Oh my god, she's really gonna keep guilt tripping us! <laughs> Are you really, truly? This is so sad, little old me! You've insulted my friendship with Kokoro. Used my ultimate talent against me. And created this elaborate theory. <laughs> Emma's too pretty to commit crimes. It's so true. That's basically her defense. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be like, oh, I don't know. I don't think she could have done it. Sora, she's too pretty. Please no. You want me to confess to killing the closest friend I ever had? Have you not caused me enough pain already? I feel so bad for Kokoro, dude. She's using her death as like a cover up. Emma. Literally murder her, and then she's like, my best friend in the whole world. What was her name again, Emma? Um, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's Inori? It's close. It's close to that one, right? I'd rather not believe any of this either. Uh, to you being useful in my Diana Rapa trial, it's more common than you think. It's a uh, magic help for the donation. Oh, thank you, Upta. Emma, how could you? This is such a scoop. <laughs> so true. In the case, still in the corner, like, I don't know, man, I think Yuruko did it. I'm still, th I'm still voting for Yuruko. Everybody, like, votes for Emma besides him. But the more I hear and the longer this goes on, even I have to wonder about the legitimacy of those tears. Yeah. Well, they don't call her the ultimate actress for nothing. I know about the intent, but those tears seem genuine to me. I like her sprites, though. They look really cool. They pronounce the Yukiona curse wrong. It's pronounced Fofiona, the curse where they accuse Emma Watson. This is so sad. That is so true. Thank you for the update. I was, like, confused about that for a little bit, you know? I was like, why are they pronouncing it that way? <laughs> Thanks for the uh, donation, by the way. Uh, thanks, Isaac. Don't worry, guys. Emma's just in her Delulu phase. She's in her uh, slay phase, I think, right now. Her slay era. Thanks, Kanade. Mmm, Emma Tear is my favorite flavor of fake. Just like her fake fucking British accent. <laughs> it's like you're from Alabama, aren't you? Yeah, this is all too much. Thanks guys for the donations. So useless. If we vote an innocent person as the Black End, then everyone but the Black End is killed. Right? I can't with her, man. Fine. Have it your way. Go ahead and sentence us all to death. What do you mean? I've already told you, I'm not the killer. <laughs> okay, Yuki, my ultimate sip. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, girl? What do you mean, baby? Honey? Kanade and Sora may have crafted an elaborate theory, but like I said, I didn't do it. Look into my pretty eyes. My beautiful face, Yuki. Hold my hand. So if you vote me, we'll all die. Whoever did this is setting me up. The real killer. They want you to think I did it. Please, you have to believe me. 
ultimate gaslighter. Gaslight GameCube girl boss. You're still acting innocent? Ugh, this is just pathetic at this point. All the evidence is pointing towards you. Sora, you remember what you said, don't you? If Kokoro hadn't died, perhaps my sincerity would have attracted her into her party. You remember when you still liked me, Sora? Ooh, ooh. Um. Yes. I wanted to be her friend, her bestie, and we were roommates. She may have not reciprocated it, but I genuinely <clears throat> cared for her from the bottom of my heart. If I die here, I won't be able to face Kokoro in the afterlife, knowing I let her kill her get away. Her voice actress has done a really good job so far. Uh, wait, could it be? Oh God. Yes. I think I may have found the key that she'll turn this case around. It's so hard to feel bad for her when she keeps, like, doing this crying, gaslighting thing. Please, give me one more chance. There's still time. Time to prove to you that I, Emma Magorobi, am not the killer. I beg of you, please oh, no. believe me. This thing. Allow me to point out the contradiction in your reasoning. It's just the one, mind you. One minor flaw in such lengthy reasoning. Both second trials, the culprit disguises as a victim. Oh, interesting. Thank you for the donation, by the way. But this will prove my innocence, and with it, change your mind. I severely doubt that, girl. Severely doubt that. Okay. But I'll show down another start. Need to stop memeing. Just wanted to show some more love. Oh, thank you, Indifference. I appreciate it. I appreciate the memeing and the love. Okay. Oh, gosh. So you're saying that the culprit must have gotten Kokoro's e-handbook class at the performance, right? With the e-handbook class, the culprit must have finished their preparations and gotten ready for the impersonation. According to you, it was during that night that the culprit went to the museum. There was lots to do, such as setting up the disguise and destroying the statue before morning time. But that night, I was there with all of you to hear the next announcement. Since the main gates had already been closed, I had no way to get out of the monocruise. Okay, I know what this one is. That I have no oh, such time to prepare the <laughs> The bad. I thought, eh. Uh, is it really impossible for her to commit the murder? Oh, I thought I was gonna get like an advance, or you know, a section to advance. I guess it makes sense, because I'm pretty sure I know which one uh, I'm supposed to do. Uh, it's just like, I like changing the bullet during the advance part, because it actually gives me some time to like not miss points. Uh, whatever. I think it's the moniker's balcony though, right? That's what I'm needing. Anyway, there must be evidence to repeat that claim. Let's send you her claim again. Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Fourth floor of the monocruise. Wouldn't it be possible to exit through the monocruz through this place? Yeah. So you're saying that the culprit must have gotten Kokoro's e handbook oh plus Come on. performance, right? With the e handbook plus, the culprit must have finished his preparations and gotten ready for the impersonation. According to you, it was during that night that the culprit went to the museum. Here's there the next one. To do, such as setting up the disguise and destroying the statue before morning time. But that night, I was there with all of you to take an ultimate announcement. Since the main gate had already been closed, I had no way to get out of the map. I'll pierce through <sighs> those words. <sighs> Finally getting it! Finally getting the hang of this minigame. <laughs> anyway, check out Ice JJ Fish. On the floor, though, funniest music video ever. The singing, the dancing, the lyrics, everything. Okay, thanks for the donation. Yeah, I'll check it out. I wasn't uh, totally, uh, I wasn't totally sure you were talking about, but I figured it was probably like a YouTuber or uh, something. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. And um, have fun doing these parts with no voices. I don't even want to think about that, man, because I am relying on the voices so hard right now. <laughs> so hard. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Going a lot better so far, at least in the last trial. Knock on wood. <laughs> No, it's possible to get out of the monocruise after the door is locked at night. I am gonna really miss the... Really gonna miss the voice acting for the section, though. What? Sora, are you just doing this for fun now? It is a proven fact. It was a proven fact. <clears throat> While it may have been impossible on the first island, things have changed since then, and you can now get out through the balcony on the fourth floor hallway. Oh, that's right. The balcony's door was opened while we were sailing to this current island. But the fourth floor of the monocruise is pretty high up, isn't it? If she jumped out at that height... Then what if she didn't jump? What if she had a rope-like thing to climb down? I don't really have any evidence of that, but, you know. Oh, come off it, Yuki. Now you're just being ridiculous. Nobody went out through the balcony like that. 
A rope-like thing. Didn't I hear a certain testimony about the balcony earlier? Ah, oh, yeah, Shinji. Shinji's like, yes, finally, I can be useful. Guys, I'm helping. I'm helping. Oh, I got it. <laughs> you Excuse are helping, me, Shinji. Shinji. I'm so proud of you. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 why do you need me all of a sudden? <laughs> I just totally zoned out, man, this whole trial. Do you remember telling me that morning how you thought you saw something on the side of the balcony while on your morning jog? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> You mean that? I am... Um, yeah, I, I, I think I saw something <laughs> like a big, long cloth being rolled up. Fish eye. Well, Emma, unless you're prepared to call Shinji a liar, wouldn't you say this proves someone could escape through the balcony at night? Sure, it would only be a one-way trip, but Hajime already proved it's possible to sneak back inside the mono cruise. As long as the killer snuck back inside the moment the cruise doors reopened, they wouldn't be noticed allowing them to achieve a perfect crime. Perhaps what Big Bro saw was the killer quickly retrieving the rope-like thing upon their return. Seriously? That's just a hypothesis. You can't stake your claim like that. <laughs> Come on, girl. But Shinji said he saw it that same day, didn't he? Yes, but, uh, look at me crying again, guys. <laughs> yep. That sounds like a plausible <clears throat> means of escape to me. Wow. So many pieces pointing at Emma. It's so crazy. Even you must realize that this goes a bit beyond a series of coincidences, correct? <laughs> She's like, it's almost like I was right the whole time. Emma, did you really? No way. So Emmy really did. To sum up, the killer could enter Kokoro's room freely from that morning. So we had no choice but to recognize the disguised Kokoro as the real thing. Yep. And that was what made us believe that the case was a locked room murder when she unexplainably died. That was a really good plan, though, I gotta say. She's not very good at, like, arguing evidence, but the plan itself was, like, really solid. I did not know how it happened, like, when we were looking at, uh, until we got to the trial and basically Kanade hand-fed it to me, <laughs> basically. If you're not satisfied yet, allow me to point out another reason to doubt Emma. Since the performance, she's made quite a scene about having lost her appetite. She hasn't finished a meal since that day. Why do you think that may be? Uh, because she's eating uh, Kokoro's meals. Because if she's the killer, she'd have to act as Coco. She requested to have food delivered to her room three times a day. As a result, Coco would have to be in her room during those periods. Mm. However, in order to not raise suspicion, Nim herself needed to join us for meals. So she came up with an excuse to leave the dining hall as soon as possible and set up the disguise. Dang. Come to think of it, that would also explain why she gave such specific times for food to be delivered. At the time, we all just assumed it was part of Kokodo's meticulous nature, but that too was a ploy from the disguised killer. By setting such precise times, she could decrease the risk of an unexpected situation. It all adds up. Got anything to say, Emma? Anything else to say? You really are all going to doubt me until the very end. Hmm. Even despite overlooking a crucial detail. We've accommodated for every detail and covered all evidence. And she's like, shut up, bitch. Okay, we got this in the bag. So please shut your mouth and stop putting up <clears throat> this pitiful defense. No, this detail is yet to be accounted for. I even mentioned it earlier. Allow me to illustrate the final point on why it was completely impossible for me to disguise myself as Kokoro. It's like, I mean, I feel like we're getting kind of to the end. It's like, I don't know what other evidence there is. Kokoro, show by his account, dry ice bath. Oh my god. Dry blood stain. So you're saying I disguised myself as Kokoro? That's utterly impossible. I'm an actress, not a voice actor. I couldn't mimic her voice. Girl, you didn't have Are to you do her voice. to ignore the height discrepancy? And you're in the bed the whole Over time. Over 20 centimeters taller than her. It'd be obvious that it wasn't the real Kokoro. Of course, the two inconsistencies could be explained by the disease. But would I really be able to impersonate her if it weren't for the said disease? Remember, she was diagnosed the morning after the performance. The culprit would have had to prepare the disguise the night before. How would the culprit have known about Coco's condition in advance? Uh, show my maybe? Or without it, there was no other way to overcome the difference in height and voice. She had a rare endemic disease. How could you possibly suggest the culprit would have been predicting something like that? Unless the culprit was some omniscient god, 
I'm putting an end to this disguise theory. Hmm. Would it be Shobai's account? I'm thinking, yeah, she probably play paid Shobai. If I, uh, have an eye. That's probably my best guess, at least, for what they're trying to get at right now. I only hate Yuriko and people get way too bold. <laughs> Kanata, you're hating on everybody this child, let's be honest. She's saying it again. Thanks for the donation, by the way. Let's listen to her carefully. There must be a flaw somewhere. I'm gonna guess it's Shobai's account. I don't think the dry ice or anything else really adds up, right? So you're saying I disguised myself as Kokoro? That's utterly I'm an actress. Are you also going to bring over to Girl, we went over all this before. <laughs> Come on. Remember, she was the culprit would have had. How would the culprit have four without it? There was no other way to overcome the difference in height and voice. She had a rare endemic disease. How could you possibly suggest? No, that's wrong. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. You paid off show by you rich sussy baka. Okay, 16. Going to miss the British accent from Weepy. I don't even know if I was really doing one. I was attempting, attempting to do one. This is so sad. Why is everybody accusing me? Huh? What about it? That's weird. Mm. Those who weren't with us at Shobai's examination shouldn't have known that Kokoro was specifically suffering from an endemic disease. Okay. Did Shobai not know that it was her, though, in the first place? It's kind of like a... I would have thought he would have known from the beginning since she was, like, disguised as Kokoro. You know, if he got, like, close enough to her, he might be able to tell. I guess um, Kokoro does have, like, glasses and stuff, too. It makes it be easier to, like, disguise your face. Look, Weeby, Shobai is assisting you in the trial. Oh, my God. This is the closest thing. He's literally taking a nap in the corner right now. Those who weren't with us? Everyone except me, <laughs> Thanks Lara, for Yuko, and you. Excluding Dr. Shobai and patient Coco, of course. Yeah. You weren't there, Emma. So do you mind telling us how you knew it was an endemic disease? Um, um, um. Oh, look at how long my eyelashes are, Sora. <laughs> what are you talking about? You mentioned the disease in the dining hall, right? No, we only said that the disease was a rare one, not an endemic one. Uh, what? Not to worry, Emma. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard it somewhere. Perhaps in Kokoro's bed is that very patient. <laughs> Got him. Slip of the tongue so far in. Don't look now, but I <laughs> think someone needs to fix their makeup. Is that sweat I see? I love Kanade, man. She is so sassy. <laughs> you can't take it back now. <laughs> Awkward. Well now, hang on. Let me clarify I was speaking hypothetically. Mm -hmm. She might have been suffering from an endemic disease. Girl, oh my gosh, she is really not gonna admit to it. What? Seriously? Are you serious right now? Can you just come please come on, just admit it at this point, girl. You see, given the tropical nature of the islands we've been trapped on, my mind instantly assumed it was an endemic disease. I suppose that was my fault for assuming. But she really cannot convict me for a misunderstanding. She really? Oh, come on! <laughs> I work in journalism, and even I have to admit that's reaching. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's calling her on her shit now. They're like, come on, dude, just say you're the culprit. Assumptions Please. or otherwise, aren't you ignoring the obvious? <laughs> even Mikan didn't go on this long. The issue isn't about the type of disease. It's about how I knew of it in advance. Obviously, your theory anyway. <laughs> Obviously, my bestie Kokoro would have told me we were besties. That's a fair point. To fit with the timeline, the culprit would have been preparing the disguise long before Kokoro's diagnosis. I definitely think she injected her with something. And had Kokoro not fallen ill, the plan wouldn't have worked. There is no way someone could have predicted that. Do you understand now? With this, the entire disguise theory falls apart. Ah, yes, the infamous <laughs> disease. Let's talk about that for a moment, shall we? You also think the disease is total bullshit, huh, Kanade? Since Emma seems so fixated on it, and she is the ultimate actress, what if this disease was also another part of her act? <laughs> Emma's refuting so badly. Somebody sedate me. Get her, Kanade. You're about to get her, and I love it. I'm right there supporting you, queen. What do you the donation. Even if Emma was disguised as Kokoro, wasn't Shobai the one who diagnosed her disease? Oh, is that true? Then let's ask the man himself. <laughs> Everyone, how wake him up from his nap? The good doctor has been mm -hmm. awfully quiet throughout this trial. 
Oh, yeah. he's still here? I thought that was just a cardboard cutout. <laughs> you who? Anybody in there? I'm busy right now. Can I ignore you later? Some of us are actually getting on with more important shit. Hey, you know, more important than the stupid class trial. I'm running some numbers through my head. I got more than 20 business deals I need to take care of. Since I'm stuck wasting my life on this rock. This guy isn't real. Does he even realize how important this trial is? Shobai, I'm sorry to bother you, but we need to ask you something. Uh, now what? You guys have already figured out the killer, right? Hurry up and get to the voting already. At this point, you're just dragging things out. Nobody with a functioning brain is interested in this anymore. <laughs> we all know who it is. She just won't admit it. Shobai finally wakes up after eight years. Ooh, what a scoop! Thanks, Epta, for the donation. We're not voting until we've cleared up every shred of doubt. So stop whining and let me ask my question. Before the investigation had even concluded, you claimed to have solved the crime, remember? You deduced the killer almost immediately, noting that they had made a huge mistake. He said that? Shobai, this concerns you as much as it concerns us. Was your examination genuine? <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely not. Oh, thank you, cool Mitch. Kanadi's mad. Emma is tall. Emma would never. Oh, she's just jealous that- She's just jealous that I'm so tall and she's so short. That's what it is, guys. Believe me, let me cry some more. It's like some Vaseline on. <laughs> Oh, oh, see the tears that they keep falling. How could somebody who's crying so hard right now and is so pretty and has eyebrows that are so on point have done this? There's just no way. No way. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Cool Mitch, for the donation. Yeah, she was definitely accomplished. Now, I might be a piece of work, but as a broker, I take great pride in what I do. And that includes what the job stands for. That checkup wasn't a favor. I was hired to do it. It was business. What are you <clears throat> trying to say? Client confidentiality, kid. Never disclose any details about the client or the deal. As a broker, that's my number one rule. But this is a class trial! Are you really gonna stick to that creep crap when your life is at stake? <laughs> so we've all decided that he lied, right guys? Of course not. Nothing's more important to me than my own life. But that doesn't change. Ah, screw it. I'm technically not breaking that rule by coming clean here. My client was Kokoro Mitsume, a woman who's now legally dead. And I ain't got no problem with snitching on a corpse. Shobai, wait! Oh, wait, it's Shobai, but that, but that was actually that was actually me, homie. I'm still alive over here. Come on now. Kokoro Mitsume came to me with a request. The details are as follows. I was attacked by a void. I want to expose the void who attacked me. So please make a fraudulent examination for my safety. Okay, so that's how she did it. Finally, deliver said fraudulent examination to anyone who asks. And that's it. I said wait! <laughs> I'm still alive, you dumbass! You're breaking our contract! What? So, Kokoro really was never sick at all? That's the big question, isn't it? After all, we now know that request was not made by the real Kokoro in the first place. <laughs> yeah, Emma's getting so pissed. You said that you knew who the killer was, Shobai. Were you able to infer that from the request alone? Yeah, there was a lot that wasn't adding up. Since I take pride in my client confidentiality, she could have easily spoken to me normally, but it was just us two. Yet, she still insisted on using her iPad to communicate. That ain't all, though. Emma Magarobi said something strange, too. Right after Kokoro Mitsume collapsed and you'd all gathered round her, she specifically said that her body was scorching hot. Hmm. Show I'm ending his own rules and I love him for it. <laughs> simp, simp, simp. Thanks for the donation, by the way. Why did she say so when Kokoro Mitsume was attacked by the void and not suffering a disease? M maybe she got burnt with wounds. If you think about it, everything we did was based on Emma saying she had a fever. Hmm. After taking her to the room, we only gave her medicine and placed a wet towel on her forehead, which you'd only do if she was ill, not wounded. Okay. Well, well, well. It seems Emma had already begun beating us. Starting small with a fever, making us believe she's sick, then having Shobai's phony diagnosis as the nail in the coffin. And of course, none of us ever remotely considered the possibility of the disease being fabricated. Yeah. Well, well just wow. I did, personally. I, there, I was right! So suspicious. I felt like such an asshole, but I was right the whole time. <laughs> yeah! In your face, Emma! A healthy person suddenly gets paralyzed by an unknown <laughs> endemic disease? <sighs> Seriously, guys? I expected more. You guys are so stupid, man. I see. 
She carefully selected her words to make a subtle shift from healthy to unhealthy. That way, the diagnosis came as less of a shock. But ironically, that was what tipped Shobai off. What do you mean? The two statements directly contradicted each other. Emma Magarobi said it was a fever. Kokoro Mitsume said it was an attack. Granted, the disguise fooled even me at the time. But as soon as the body showed up, it all fell into place. It was Emma Magarobi in the dorm room with the disguise. Final answer. Yeah. <gasps> we just wasted hours going back and forth, <laughs> old man. Why didn't you say this earlier? I was busy, okay? I told you. I live by my own moral code, Shorty. <laughs> Shorty. But since you guys have pretty much done the elbow work, and my client is legally dead, I figured I'd come clean. So there you have it. Your last shred of doubt all cleared up. Oh no, is she about to go crazy now? And that's checkmate, Emma. No encore for you. <laughs> get it? Get it because you're an actress? Well, not anymore. You're about to be dead. No. Wait a minute. You must understand. I'm not the killer. <laughs> not even a Rojas believing you anymore, girl. I'm sorry, Em, but I think you're the only one who believes that now. Even I didn't want to believe Kanadai at first. <laughs> My reasoning is perfect. There's no room for doubt. It just says I am perfect. No, no, we're not done yet. We haven't discussed how the killer dealt with the body. I was outside of the room when the body was discovered. Oh my god, so girl. So we couldn't have anything to do with it. This is embarrassing. You gotta give it up. You gotta give it up. Just come on, let's leave with some class. Seriously, Emma? You could do that treatment in the morning. Once you were done with your disguise, there'd be no need to open the door for us. So you could do your job whether somebody else visited or not. By job? You mean the final step, yeah? That's right. Take the frozen kokoro out of the refrigerator and cut off every hand and foot to hide the severed fingertip. Okay, so that's when that happened. So she should have cut it after she was frozen. If I did that, then the room would have been full of blood, wouldn't it? And yet, there was no such trace. I mean, it's frozen, so I think it's, you know, <laughs> it makes sense there wouldn't be any blood. Have you already forgotten her body was completely frozen? There'd be no risk of blood being spilt anywhere. At most, the flesh would have been disturbed. I'm gonna be <laughs> sick. Oh, me too. Once that was all done, all you needed to do was return the refrigerator dividers back to their original position, then slap a liquid nitrogen labeled drum down as a distraction. But finally, get out of the room and mission accomplished. Man, Kanadi's kind of doing all the work this chapter. I'm not gonna lie. Hang on, that doesn't make sense. Kokoro was frozen by the instant freeze mode of the refrigerator, wasn't she? Not by the liquid nitrogen. Regardless of how long you freeze something, expose it to room temperature for a few hours and it'd melt on you. I do recall seeing some blood emanating from Miss Mitsume's severed limbs. Yeah, but she's like on the bed. Yeah, barely. If it was melting normally, we should have seen a lot more. Nikkei's right, her body was melting at an abnormally slow pace. Was that where the dry ice finally came into play? Because I think that's like the only thing we haven't uh, really tried. Emma, you're making our cult look bad. Stop this. Oh, no. Not even cool bitch is defending you anymore, Emma. <laughs> Perhaps because the killer used that thing to keep the body cold. I'm guessing it's the dry ice bag, right? Okay, cool. It was like, uh, it's like one of the things you really used. the killer used dry ice. Dry ice? When the body was first discovered, the room was unusually cold and covered in a thick mist. At first, we believed it was the liquid nitrogen, but it was actually dry ice. We found a bag of it at the crime scene. She maintained the temperature with dry ice in order to prevent the frozen body from melting. How about it, Emma? Finally ready to give in? Emmy. Aw, Emmy. Come on, girl. Come on. It's over. It's it's been over for a while. <laughs> oh, pfft. here comes the tears. <laughs> maybe maybe Emma's like mindset right now. Maybe if I cry more. Maybe if I it's like it's her like lipstick going and like mascara. Let me let me just try to look prettier. <laughs> what did I ever oh my do god, this? girl! I didn't do anything wrong. I just want to cope. Her. Is she gonna be crying during her TTA? <laughs> These are all just coincidences. I didn't kill her. I swear to you. I, I'm being framed. Um. Like, can you cut out the fake tears now? Someone shut her up already. <laughs> Give it a rest, woman. You lost. Maybe she's like just so prideful in her acting. She's like, no, I can never, I can never give up the, the fake tears. Oh. Uh. You believe me. Oh no. Don't you? 
I, I could never kill Kokoro. So are you looking extra beautiful? She starts like kidding on me. She's like, I'm gonna try to. She's like, my my final final trick. Try to steal Sora from Yurugo. Please convince them for me. We're all walking into a trap. It's hard to suspect Emma when she's crying. Like, nah, it's not hard for me, man. Jesus, Emma is so annoying. <laughs> Kanade, thank you for the donation. Uh, Kanade, appreciate it. But all the evidence is indicating Emma as the culprit. It's just an act. Another performance from the ultimate actress. Sorry, Emma, but the show is over. Ooh, got him. Let's present the final evidence in, in this trial for good. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's do it. Let's do it. She told the opponent's final arguments. The difficulty rises every time a third of the opponent's health is depleted. Trying to shoot down the true feelings. I just wanted to double check my... Uh, it's like, I think it was shift, I think, that does the... Bring present the evidence, break off piece of the armors one by one, screw on display to eight lines, opponent's argument, each line with the cursor. Press C to neutralize the opponent's argument. Yeah, opponent's arguments have their own HP, which can discern their color. Five, three, four, three, two, one, displayed. Come with the cursor into space in the middle. I can't remember if it was better to do the bigger ones or the smaller ones first. I think probably the smaller ones. Just short delay. T try to time it well. I think I got Seska's thing. Please, Setska, please save me. I know I'm obsessing you all the time, Setska, but please save me during this. Please, please. <laughs> Occasionally, you will see a black argument on the screen. This is the opponent's true feelings. True feelings are comments arising from the weaker parts of your opponent's heart. Shoot them down, you'll take damage instead. Okay, yeah. Should your opponent's true feelings arise, don't shoot it. Just let it fade on its own. After breaking all the layers of your opponent's armor, you'll have an opportunity to press the final piece of evidence. Okay, I think it's just like the arrows. Arrow keys, responding to the correct text of the words. Put together the evidence, so we'll give it the prompt. Okay. So that's a blow. Okay, I just want to make sure it was shift. That was the reload. Although I think I do have Setsuka's thing. Oh, look at her! Oh my gosh, <laughs> doing a, uh, what's your face? Cosplaying? You're all so cool. You have such a thing. You better back off. Why won't you believe me? We're all going to die. Thought we were friends. Oh I'm shit. Innocent. Hear me oh, out. You accuse me of such a so thing. Cool. Oh You're my god. So cool. to this. I'm innocent. Hear Why me won't out. you believe me? How could you accuse me? Seska, where are you, girl? Oh shit, now. So Fuck. Cool. You're all so cool. You have such you a thing. Reconsider. You better back off. Oh my Why god. Why won't you believe me? We're all going to die. Thought we were friends. I'm innocent. Crying during this part too. We're all going to die. But we are friends. So cool. I'm innocent. Why won't you believe me? We're all going to die. I'm innocent. Why won't you believe me? I'm innocent. Hear me out, friends. You must reconsider. I'm innocent. Girl, the guilt tripping is not working for you, girl. We're all going to die. You gotta stop this. Oh, here we go. Starting to get angry. Oh my god. 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 Oh my
This is it. Okay. What same place. Could you have linking Both were never seen in the same place. This is the end. Oh, God. Should be saying though. <laughs> okay, it was like Harley Potter in her tears. I was like, oh my god, she's cosplaying. That's cool. <laughs> Even at like the TTA, she's still like, how could this happen? That's not me. Ooh, ooh, it can never be me. She's not even pulling the I'm sorry, man. She's still gonna be like on the way to being executed. I don't understand how Madacro made this wrong decision. I'm being framed. <laughs> being fr uh, let me get the get, can somebody give me some win, please, for, for my crying scene, please? Uh, I'm being framed and my best friend Kokoro is dead. Kokoro from like heaven just like flicking her off <laughs> like you bitch. <laughs> How dare you use me? Oh man, thank you Kanade. Somebody hit me a bat real quick. Thank you Epta. Harley as Epta. Emma was Harley Quinn in Harry Potter. Scoop is scoop. Oh man, that was fine. It was getting a little stressful towards the end. Told you to listen to Kokoro. Ultimate victim. True, true, true. Thanks guys for the donations. I appreciate it. Jesus, it was so annoying. I do like Emma overall. Like, uh, she, uh, she's just really, uh, really committing to this, uh, lying thing. <laughs> really committing to it. Like, girl, the tears can only get you so far, girlfriend. Whew, man. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad I had, uh, so glad I had <laughs> Setsuka Stilda to help me. I, like, got confused for a second. I thought I it was, like, Kazuna's, but, like uh, ask I think it just gets rid of the delay, which, honestly, I think I prefer. <laughs> I prefer that over Kazuna's, because it just really helped me, uh, kind of get through everything really fast. Has anybody here ever visited Kokoro with Emma? Yeah. Huh? Oh, that's... Ah, her execution's gonna be really interesting. Like, the actress execution. Ooh, I could see that being really, uh, creepy. I thought not. And the reason why? Because it's impossible. It's like, man, I think even Mitch at this point admitted to it. As we've agreed, the bed-ridden Kokoro was none other than Emma. If Emma ever came to visit, the bed would be empty. What are you talking about, Sora? Yeah, it's like at this rate. definitely visited Kokoro's room. At this rate, Monica is going to be like showing footage of her doing it. She's like, I cannot believe somebody would dress up as me and show this. I can't believe I'm being framed. Yuki? Teruya, you two remember, don't you? Oh, that's true. I've definitely gone there with Emma before. Did you see her, though? As she was leaving the dining hall, I caught up with her and suggested she join us. But did Kokoro open the door when you arrived? Uh, no. <laughs> that was yesterday evening. The first time Kokoro didn't open the door for us. Interesting. As I suspected. After all, how could Kokoro open the door while Emma was outside the very same door? Ironic, isn't it, Emma? What Yuki just said makes you even more suspicious. You always claim to have no appetite, so you could sneak out of the dining hall and eat your meals as Kokoro. Mm -hmm. And as a result, you never sat with Kokoro during one of her meals. Wow, you sure did care for her, Emma. A grand <laughs> total of zero visits for your sick best friend. <laughs> Damn, everybody's coming after her. <laughs> Didn't even visit her once. More like she couldn't. Perhaps Mr. Maeda's suggestion caught her off guard. Mm. She certainly did seem in a hurry to leave that evening. It's over, Emma. There's nowhere to run. Finally given up? Good. It's time for your curtain call. Let's summarize the case once again and expose your crime. Oh god, the closing argument. Yeah, let me just remember, try to remember what these were. I can read the piece details by pressing a... Okay, I guess it has the instructions up there, too. I was like, I just can't remember the exact buttons. Top left screen. I know, it's like Nikki was being so savage. Your best friend. I feel like it's like, I don't know, man. It's just like, if she would admit to it, I wouldn't feel like, uh, oh, need to start the execution. Are you gonna get copyright claimed? Oh, thank you for the uh, heads up. I'll be sure to uh, keep that in mind. Man, let's do a copyright. <laughs> Summarize the case by arranging the cut pieces at the bottom of the screen in chronological order. Can read the pieces by pressing A. Press A to check specific details. The 
See to review it. Okay, yeah, I was like, see to confirm, X to cancel. Okay, I guess this one basically uh, tells you anyways. Pressing X. No penalty for setting page. But if your answer isn't correct, your focus gauge take damage, points be deducted, everything. Okay, start over the page, the focus gauge. Best to avoid that. Nikkei just slayed Emma before Monica got the chance. I know, man. Brutal. He do be right, though. <laughs> he do be right. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see. Melody Rhythms concert! They brought the fainted Kokoro to her room. We used her e-handbook to get inside. Ugh, Emma. Man, why are you looking so uh, freaking evil, too? The killer knocked out Kokoro during the performance. We all assumed she'd collapse. That makes sense, too. Oh, oop, no, god damn it. God damn it. I did not mean to do that. I meant to press A. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. I'll just uh, choose a random one. Okay. Cancel. Oh, wow, this like literally just tells you what to put in. That's crazy. Man, this is like so OP. <laughs> do I have to even like think about this anymore? <laughs> like, thank you, Aroha, for your overpowered skill, man. I hope that's right. I'm just so scared. <laughs> oh my god, literally just tells me exactly what I'm supposed to put in. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. It's like, we're gonna have to go through all this again anyway, so I was like, is there any point really in me reading? <laughs> you reading this? Man, this is hella, hella OP. Wow. I did not expect it to help me out this much. I just thought it would tell me, um, when, um, you know, it was like, wrong or which one was like the fake one you know what I mean <laughs> get her dressing up and then the statue wait that one we should have ignored her crying and had her executed an hour ago <laughs> no <laughs> oh my gosh I was like dang I can't believe it just gives you the answer oh p.s. shit I hope it's right, besties. I'm just so worried. Just so worried it might be wrong. I'm surprised they don't at least make you like figure out one of them, you know what I mean? We started with Mitch, then Bitch, and most recently Hitch, now revealing the most recent corrupted student. Which, I think we also had Fitch in there uh, somewhere though. <laughs> the skill's downright cheating. It really is. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Like, man, Aroha, she might be stupid, but like, she do kind of got an OP skill. I love how it's like the green man uh, cosplaying as her. Oh, wow. No wonder she was so nice, too. We should have known that she was out of character. Let's see. So then there is. Yeah, this one. <laughs> the green man and the cosplay. I love it. So funny. Who's cheating? Guys, remember, cheating's never okay. Even if the game allows you to cheat. Just know this that cheaters never case. win. Except when they do! <laughs> Except when you're me! It all started back during the performance Setsuka suggested. At some point during the performance, Kokoro suddenly collapsed. The culprit was the first to check her temperature. Got a little bit as scorching hot. To make us believe she'd fallen ill to some disease. Ah, uh, dang, we didn't, we didn't like suss her at all because they were besties. While in reality, the killer had likely attacked Kokoro during the noise and excitement of the concert. Oh no, Phoenix, we collecting these Mitches like Pokemon. Oh no, uh, because you said that I sensed Mitch Pokemon edits in the future. I cannot, I cannot handle Mitchachu. That is this too curse beyond words. I can't, oh God. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. We immediately brought Kokoro into her room. We used her finger to gain access to her e-handbook plus. The e-handbook pluses can only be turned on by its owner's fingerprint. Man, the killer made Kokoro. notice in their plan. Feigning concern over Kokoro, the killer made sure to leave her room last. Man, I want to see her true personality, dude. Since she's like, literally, she's just like trying so hard toward like, so the very end, you like the crying crap. I want to see her. Re I want to see the real Emma. You know. They needed to do this in order to subtly steal Kogoro's e-handbook plus. 
As soon as nighttime arrived, the culprit returned to the scene after making sure everyone else was asleep. Since the e-handbook plus's power was still on, no. they were able to re-enter her room. <laughs> no, gotta Mitch them all. No. no, Emma is Mitch. Gotta write this down. Oh my god, is that actual football? Oh no, is the really Mitchy Mon? No. Knowing they wouldn't be interrupted at night. The culprit began their preparations. The chat is losing their mind. First, they tied up Kokoro and then cut off her fingertip. Poor Kokoro, dude. Like, she was right to just, like, not want to hang out with us. Like, the one person who was trying, who was nice, literally was planning on killing her. It do be like that, though. It's sad, but it'd be like that. Oh, thank you, Kira. Into the Mitchyverse. No, God. No more Mitch. No more Mitch, guys. I can't handle it. I can't I can't get COVID again. They needed this in order to have permanent access to her e-handbook plus. Once the bleeding had stopped, they stuffed Kokoro into the refrigerator. By removing all of the refrigerator's dividers, there was just enough space to store her body in. After placing her body inside, they set the refrigerator's output as instant freeze. Man, wow, Kanata is so smart too. She like literally figured out exactly what she was trying to say with the icicles. I would not, would not have been able to figure that out. With the intent to freeze Kokoro to death. Next came the disguise preparations. The disguise was the most crucial element to this murder. Remember this really surprising me. I generally thought Emma was an endgame character. I could see that. She does kind of give me like Sonya vibes. I don't know why, but she always gave me like chapter three uh, killer vibes. <laughs> it's like for some reason, I feel like, uh, I think it was just kind of she reminded me of like Kenji having like that ele elegance about her that you wouldn't expect to see her like lose it. You know what I mean? But uh, the MCU, the Mitch cinematic universe, no! <laughs> no, why does it fit so well? <laughs> why, God? <laughs> Thank you for the donation, by the way. As they wanted it to seem as if Kokoro was alive for longer than she was. They stole the clothes Kokoro had been wearing, then set out to find a wig that emulated her hair. I am ready to see her true nature reveal, though, man. Fortunately for our killer, they'd taken note of the dressing room in the museum and planned to use it to their advantage. Naturally, people would be concerned over Kokoro, so the disguise had to be ready by the next morning, but the Monte Cruz had already closed its gates over the night. This left the killer with no choice but to create a makeshift rope and climb down the Monte Cruz from the fourth floor's balcony. Upon arriving at the museum, they took a wig that resembled <laughs> Kokoro's hair from the dressing room. Oh my god, there's an Ibuki wig! And a Makoto wig, it kind of seems like. Oh, that's cute! However, this would create a discrepancy with the dressing room's item list. So to accommodate for this, they destroyed the Yuki Ona statue and planted its hair in the wig's place. On the floor by J Ice JJ Mitch now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be checking out that channel anymore, Justin. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know they were uh, mitchified. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thanks for the donation. The destruction of the statue brought two benefits. Not only did it fix the discrepancy, but also made some fear the curse of the awakened Yuki Ona. You know, the dumbasses. It reminded me of Celeste's fake personality. Ah, uh, I can see that too, yeah. Just something like. I think that's probably another reason why she gave me like chapter three. Uh vibes. Considering the body state when we discovered it, the implications of the curse only increased. Act 3. The next morning, the culprit returned on board the monocruise right after the door opened, making quick work to remove the evidence at the balcony. They also used Kokoro's e-handbook plus to send a request to Shobai. I was attacked by a void. I want to expose the void who attacked me. So please make a fraudulent examination for my safety. Okay. Finally, deliver said fraudulent examination to anyone who asks. That was the request. Dr. Grumpy accepted this request, but began noticing something was off <laughs> while talking with the disguised culprit. You're really saying wig snatched in the <laughs> in the chat. A wig snatched. They made sure to remain silent even in front of Shobai himself. Yeah, I love that it has like the uh, the gray man dressed up as her too. Contradicting the killer's note of Kokoro having a fever the previous night, perhaps he was able to deduce the killer based on these two inconsistencies. Man, Emma just had to account for Kanade being smart too. It was the only the only time that she messed up. Either way, his false examination made us believe that Kokoro had begun to suffer from a disease. With us taking the bait, the killer no longer had to worry about the two biggest issues with their disguise. 
the height and the voice. The phony paralysis also allowed the culprit to request we bring them meals at three specific times a day. That was done to reduce the risk of an unexpected situation and to ensure they were in disguise for three set times. In an attempt to appear less suspicious, the culprit themselves faked a loss of appetite to provide ample time to disguise as Kokoro and eat her meal instead. And while effective at first, this ironically made them look more suspicious in the long run. Act 4. Over the next few days, <laughs> continued so to bring Kokoro her meals, unaware of the one beneath the disguise. Phoenix, why? 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 God! No! No! You did this on purpose! You did this on purpose to, to do this, to create this monstrosity! I will not apologize for what I've started. You should apologize! You should apologize for sure! Oh my god, all the Moid members have their own uh, Mitch, Mitchimon. <laughs> have Mitch at you? Mitch Zard? Mitchisaur. Oh god. Oh no. No, what have we started? No. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Daddy Clan Patriarch. And we became the wolf from Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, oh yeah, I see that. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. We all continued to believe oh, that god. while unwell, Kokoro was still alive. But the horrid truth was that the real Kokoro Mitsume was slowly freezing to death in the refrigerator. Oh god, it's so sad, man. Why did she have to kill her in such a messed up way? Right before she perished, though, she used the last of her strength to leave a dying message. Yeah. She broke eight icicles that were created by the instant freeze mode, proceeding to carve F on the front and O on the back with her nail. Then, on the last icicle, she carved I instead of O, and penetrated the longest icicle through the I icicle to complete the message. There are eight icicles with the letter F, and conveniently also eight females. Mm -hmm. That would mean the tallest girl among all females <clears throat> was the one who killed I, Kokoro. I still have no idea how Kanade figured that shit out, man. After all, the culprit was indeed the tallest among the females. Without the dying message, we never would have been able to pinpoint the culprit. Eventually, the real Kokoro Mitsume finally died, leaving the culprit with no further reason to keep up the act. That night, the culprit grabbed a pack of dry ice and an empty oil drum the following morning with the intent to complete their crime. By slapping a liquid nitrogen label onto the drum, we don't make the mistake of assuming Kokoro had been freezing via the nitrogen, not the refrigerator. The refrigerator makes an appearance yet again! There was also the issue of Kokoro's missing fingertip. Had only that been missing, we'd have caught on much sooner. So to cover the tracks, the culprit cut off both her hands and feet. Not only did this work in their favor, but again, it brought more suspicion onto the Yukiona's curse. Finally, all that was left to do was cover the room and body in dry ice, to force the body to melt at a much slower rate before fleeing the scene. The rest was like clockwork. Over time, we'd become suspicious that Kokoro wasn't answering her door, causing us to eventually discover the body. The culprit was incredibly cunning and careful. If it weren't for Kokoro's dying message, they may very well have gotten away with the crime. Perhaps this was karma for pretending to care deeply for her. The monster who had us all fooled. The one who murdered Kokoro. Monster, man. She is not holding back anymore. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. <laughs> it can be no one but you, Emma Magarobi. Girl, just please, please admit it. Please, I'm begging you. There she is. Boom! Freak! Nice. <laughs> Yay, perfect score. I'm just such a genius, man. It was so crazy how, like, just big my brain is. <laughs> I cannot believe how OP that skill is. It really just looks me cheap. You? you said no one but you? Yes, please. Please, come on. Come on, Emma. Come on, just admit it, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> Ooh. I like this. I like this evil sprite. It's a failure then. <laughs> ah, so be it. She looks even prettier when she's evil. Uh, I like that sprite though. Oh, so cool. Come on, come on. <laughs> 50 points. <laughs> I like. I suck so bad at that mini game, man. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, oh my god, I did it! A B! Yay! I did it, 
guys. I I manifested the V and I did it. I was so happy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, and the game didn't crash either. That's good. I was kind of scared it was going to crash again after the closing argument. Oh, hell yeah. Crow coins. Lots of stuff. Oh, yeah. It does kind of look like the... It kind of reminds me of... um. Was it like the bent neck lady in that uh, one show? Her uh, pose. Ooh, that was that was a good show. It was kind of creepy. It was like haunting a pill house. <laughs> it seems you have all finally reached a conclusion. <laughs> Manifested the bee. Just like the last trial, you only get one attempt at voting. <laughs> Honestly, Vote I thought I was gonna do better. Before you decide. Only got a fifty that one time, but you know, <laughs> whatever. I guess it really brought my grade down. Oh. Let us see if you have chosen wisely or poorly. Ladies and gentlemen, use the panel in front of you to vote for who you believe to be the culprit. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What is it going to be? <laughs> Frigged! Do -do -do -do. I'm excited to finally see her admitting it now. I mean, I don't know if I really recall. Like, I think like even Celeste, Mekon, like some of the really, uh, I don't know, more, I guess like firm or like uh, hard-headed culprits. Like I feel like they at least usually admitted it before the trial concluded, but like she really, she really did not want to admit it till the very end, man. Finally, it's over! <laughs> Gonna end it this way sooner! <laughs> Thanks, Kanani, for the donation. That's right. Miss Emma Magarovi was the culprit of this murder case. A rightful verdict, indeed. I must say, I'm impressed. I must say that your performance was splendid. Even I almost believed it for a second. <sighs> no way. Emma! Fuck. Darn it! We'd gotten the right answer. Emma was the killer. We had already worked it out during the class trial. Everyone must have voted for her with confidence, but even so, knowing the answer beforehand didn't make this any less of a shock. Having to accept that one of your classmates committed murder. Why? Aw, oh, Yuki. He was one of her biggest sips too. I'm so sorry, Yuki, but you gotta unstand. Just why? You were close friends with Kogoro. Why did you kill her, Emma? Why do you think she did it when she's the when there's only one possible reason? It's because she's a void. You're a void, aren't you, Emmy? Well. Hey. <sighs> hey, isn't it too early to say that? We're not entirely sure if her murderer is 100% guaranteed to be a void member. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You. It would be the best. It would be best if Emma explains it to us herself. Listen. Emma, please just tell us about your reason. She's like, hi. Starts crying again. I don't understand why you're all accusing when all me. <laughs> <sighs> There's no need to mind your presence, Miss Magarobi. Ah, uh, she is a void. Speak as freely as you like. Uh, what's he talking about? I tip my hat to you. Oh, your abilities are far superior to those of Miss Makinochi, so I put my trust in you. You may use the little time you have left in any way you want. <sighs> so I guess she is a void. A moid. Having kept silence since the end of the trial, Emma suddenly let out a deep breath. Oh no, she's about to like start laughing evilly or some shit. And began talking. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> no. I did it because I'm a void. Like you pointed out. That's all. Yeah, right, girl. Ugh. Now she's gonna just blame it on that. No, I want a real reason. I want a trauma dump. I have been dying for a trauma dump this whole game, but you guys keep just coming out seeing your voids. Man, she looks evil, dude. Just like Hachimi was. I am Mikado's co-conspirator and ally, too. I'm sorry if you expected something saintly from me. Emma's beautiful face became contorted as she spoke. I didn't really know if it would benefit them that much to, like, murder, to be honest. Since now that they know they have to die, you know? It looks surprisingly similar to Hajime's appearance in the last trial, and she obviously was trying to live pretty hard. <laughs> void! Yeah. Honestly, I thought it was gonna end up being that Kokoro was, like, a void, maybe. See, I told you. 
I didn't expect Emma to be one. But the voids, weren't they no longer willing to work with Mikado after he betrayed them? Listen. Betrayed, yes, Hajime. Yes, Hajime died, and we weren't told that we would die for real, either. From our perspective, it's true that Mikado betrayed us. Then why? Why did you commit murder? It's too late for us to turn back. Us voids. We cannot be saved even if we decide to abandon the plan at this point. Okay, so she was okay with it. Are <laughs> you guys simping in the chat right now? <laughs> oh my god. You guys are all like, we forgive you, Emma. You didn't do anything wrong, queen. <laughs> we changed our mind. <laughs> if we can antagonize Mikado and help you escape this island, there would be absolutely nothing left for us. <laughs> but you didn't have to go as far as to murder. I don't know about your motive, but we could have helped you get over it. It's not something that can be magically solved like this. You don't know anything about us. We have our own reasons for doing this. Um. Also, is that why you killed Kokoro? Was it to carry out Void's plan as a member of the group? It does seem like important for them to uh, do this killing game. That's why. Kokoro said Hajime's murder was coordinated in advance. They're like trying to repeat the last game too. They must have a goal that needs to be accomplished, no matter what. Even if it means killing someone and risking execution. Huh? So, M was supposed to murder too. How awkward. What is the point? That is one point that I find strange as well. Mama, I'm in love with a <laughs> Oh my god, not the Britney Spears suck. <laughs> the Kenja spray. <laughs> it's okay, I like I like my women evil too, cool bitch. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Thanks to the donation. I'm certain Miss Magarobi's turn was yet to come. What did you say? Huh? What do you mean? I will give a brief explanation. Each of the five voids has a responsibility to commit murder in a set order. Oh, so she went early. I believe Mr. Makanochi mentioned this before. Of course, anyone else is welcome to kill. You may think of this as a safeguard against possible deadlocks. You were supposed to kill in chapter three! It's like, that's why I was getting chapter three vibes from her, maybe. If only voids commit murder, the other voids with knowledge of the kill order would know the identity of the culprits long before the trial. Indeed. It would be like watching a mist. It would be like watching a mystery TV show after being spoiled on the ending. It would be neither fair nor entertaining. However, it is surely a great merit to know who was supposed to murder next. What are you saying? Then if it wasn't Emma's turn yet, who was it? Well, <laughs> Not so good. fast. I'm not going to tell you that. I was perplexed after realizing who the culprit was. The occurrence of a non-void murderer was within my expectations, but voids muddling up the kill order? It would have been nice if I was informed of this in advance. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mikado. I'm sorry, Mikado. I messed up the reenactment. You are forgiven. Um, no need to apologize. Although you may not have noticed it, you reacted the case to a fine extent. Oh, Good enough. Koko Mitsune. Because that woman got my nerves. Oh, she hated her. I had to kill her. Oh my god, she's pretending to be besties with her, dude. And then she murdered... She hated her the most, man. Man! I oh, think Gamer Bro shoves Monocro out of the way. I think I'll be doing the execution this time. Bye bye, Emma. Thanks, Gamer Bro, for the donation. I'm sure he's gonna he's gonna get some revenge for you. But ah. you were really close with her. Why? Since I'm going to die soon, I'll tell you. It was when we were watching the twins performance. God. She was dancing and her dance moves were terrible, disgusting. I was mortified. Uh, okay, let's see. I'll stop memeing. What's the matter, Kokoro? The concert's still going on. Well, why did you want to have a talk all of a sudden? This is also for your own sake. I hope you understand. Uh, Kokoro gonna be like, we're besties, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna look out for you, girlfriend. Emma, you have been encouraging me to join the rest of you for the past few days, correct? Right. Oh, do you feel like doing it at last? Well, I believe you can suppose so, but under one condition. A condition? I have plans to cooperate and resolve the situation with the rest of you if you decide to work with us, Emma. Huh? What do you mean by that? I don't know. Don't you understand, you piece of void shit? My condition is for you, a member of Void, to stop working for your group and join us. Huh? What are you talking about to me? A, a void? How could that? How could that be? 
I admit you've done a great job, but acting won't work here. Yeah, Kokoro's really good at reading people. You cannot deceive me, Emma Magarobi. You are a void. Oh, don't worry. If I had intended to reveal your identity to everyone, I would have already done so. I wonder what the name void means. Like, void of emotions? Void of happiness? <laughs> They'd be void of happiness until they do this killing game for some reason. I know a few others who are quite likely to be in void as well. Girl, couldn't you have told us, man? <laughs> Left us a note or something? Still, I am proposing this offer to you because... You always approach me with a friendly attitude. I think you could be of great help to us. Ah! Uh... <laughs> I hope you aren't considering attacking me. That would be an incredibly unwise decision. I'm not so imprudent, imprudent to ask to talk one-on-one -on -one with a dangerous individual such as you. Besides, everyone will witness your crime even if you do succeed. I asked Toria Otri to act as my bodyguard a few days ago. He should be watching us as we speak. Ah, oh, she's so smart, man. If you're planning any tricks, give it up now. What do you mean? Just as I said, come to our side. Tell everyone that you're a Void and share any information you have about Void in Mikado Sinoji. We need the Void's information in order to work out the problem. In fact, I have a fairly convincing suspicion about Mikado Sinoji. Man, ah, she knows so much. I wish you would tell us. If the Void's testimony backs it up, we may be able to escape this island. There are two more voids among us. Uh, among us. If I become a traitor, you know what they'll do. No need to be concerned. I believe I know who they are. If you choose to join us, I will make them follow you to join our side. With the power of friendship or some shit. That's easy for you to say. We voids have a reason to be committed to our plan. Even as far as to resort to these dirty methods. I don't know how you managed to expose me, but I can't give up here, even if it's against you, Kokoro. Do you know our pain? Our suffering? It's like, that's what I'm thinking, like, void has to do with, like, being void of happiness? Void of perf- perp Void of anything other than their purpose, maybe, is what it means? If you know so much, why don't you try your almighty mind reading on me? At last, you exposed your honest feelings. What? For the last few days, Emma, you've constantly tried to get along with me. As the ultimate actress, you played a pure-hearted friend with a level of sincerity that even I couldn't doubt. Of course, your real purpose was to keep a watch on me, someone who poses a threat to Void. <sighs> your overly perfect kindness, nothing but purity in your mind. I was able to deduce that you were a Void using these hints. <laughs> you were too perfect! But at the same time, I wanted to know how you truly felt. Regardless of your intent, you were the first to become this close to me. Aw. Kokoro. Only after pushing you this far, I do finally understand you. Which makes me want even more for you to work with us, Emma. Aww, it's so sad. But don't worry. Whether it's about you, about your father, or your adoptive parents, we'll do the best we can to help. Aw, she's almost doing like the Chiaki push. She reminds me so much of Chiaki. What? I told you earlier, because you showed me your honest feelings, I can understand you now. Naturally, when I read a defenseless person's mind, I can see their true feelings, your dark past, Void's motives. I saw all of it. You saw my... I apologize for doing it without your consent, but this was the only way to convince... Emma? Uh, uh, no! This, this emotion is... something twisted, no, monstrous! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no. She's having a moment, she's having a moment. No, 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 I'll do whatever you say. I'll bring money, just don't hurt me. Oh no. Wait, Mr. Otari. Oh shit, no. Ah, uh, she shit. lost it. I wonder if she went through some trauma being like an actress. I know actresses go through a lot of bullcrap, I'm sure at least, or you know, I've heard stories. But definitely, definitely some trauma unlocked, man. That's good grief. I see. Mr. Magarobi's old wound was carelessly torn open by Miss Mits Mitsume. Ah, oh, I'm so glad though. Trauma dump. Trauma dump. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for a good old fashioned trauma dump, man. I've been waiting so long. I guess it makes sense too if her parents were like uh, stage parents, you know? Like, uh. Ah. Ugh, they probably didn't do some really messed up stuff. No wonder she got triggered. What are you talking about? You see, 
Miss Magarobi has lived a terrible past, which she must, which she absolutely loathes to recall. I would say it's similar to psychological trauma. The mere act of recalling it is enough to cause her seizures, even in ideal circumstances. Man, Jesus, what do they do to her, dude? When combined with her complex feelings and the shock from being exposed, Miss Magarobi couldn't control her emotional outbursts anymore. Ah, uh, so no wonder she killed first. Certainly. Just because she couldn't, uh, couldn't handle it. So it was an accidental murder then. And not that I care, I still don't forgive you. Now I understand why Emma committed murder when it wasn't her turn. I'm sorry, everyone. As Emma just said, the day I woke up on this island, Kokoro gave me a personal request. She said she was going to focus completely on finding the voids. And she was concerned about the other voids targeting her. So she told me to watch her from a close distance and come to her aid in case something happened. But... She must have chosen you because you were the least likely to be void. Wait a minute, Kokoro said that? She made a whole announcement to tell us that she wasn't going to care about Void whatsoever. You see. She said that in order to throw the Voids off her trail. She wasn't sure who was in Void, so she pretended to be ignorant and work in secret. Yeah, that makes sense. Then... Kokoro really wanted to help us. Yeah. But I couldn't save her! I was distracted by the concert and took my eyes off! Damn you, twins! Damn you and your talent! Uh, I knew Kokoro wanted to help us there. She was just kind of acting, you know, she's kind of acting tough. Especially so that she wouldn't get targeted, but then, unfortunately, she was targeted anyways. I left Kokoro to get attacked and die right under my nose, right as I was standing melodic rhythm. That's... You don't have to feel responsible, Teruya. No one would have expected a killer to attack her in a crowded place like that. Yeah, and that would mean it's our fault, too, for doing the concert. We're just too talented. If Kanade and I looked more closely at the audience, this wouldn't have. The I knew the audience was looking towards the stage, but why didn't the twins see anything? Uh... Kanade always closed her eyes when playing the guitar, and I can't see very far when I'm focusing on communicating with people in the front rows. Okay. It out. Stop it! Now isn't the time to blame yourselves, everyone! <laughs> I'm not blaming myself, I'm blaming the twins! <laughs> that too! We just got unlucky that all these bad things happened at once. It cannot be helped. It's already over, but I don't regret it. I was it was bound to happen someday. After all, this is a curse ingrained in my memory. Even if Kokoro did not bring up my past, I would have never betrayed I would have never betrayed Void. This is my resolve. Hmm. Good to know that Taria will always be useless. No! <laughs> he's trying his best, guys. He's trying his best. Okay, he's working very hard. <laughs> Poor Taria, dude. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Even if you die from it? Even so. Yes, besides, I would be no better than a walking corpse if the plan fails. That's why I'm like thinking void means like void of everything besides their plan or their mission. You sure about that, Em? Huh? huh? Do you really have no regrets? Big Sis had a gut feeling that you really did feel happy when you were with Coco, Em. I sense the friendship vibes. Same when you were with us. Max said he enjoyed being with us, too. Yes. <laughs> She's right. Void is only doing this because they were forced to by some unknown reason. You guys are so Delulu, man. You guys are so... She's literally saying right here that she was not being forced and she would never betray Void and yada yada yada. It's not too late. You can recompense for what you did later. For now, you don't... Don't you think we should work together to give that Mikado a big kick in the butt? <sighs> Mikado... I'm done. Start my execution now. Ah! I feel like she's like experiencing friendship for the first time. She doesn't know how to handle it. Huh? Um, is that really all right? I... I don't think I can face you all any longer. If I stand here for another moment, I won't be able to remain a void. Oh man, we're touching her. <laughs> Being to Lulu helps. It really, it really do work sometimes. What? Emmy. Uh, no one but Emma herself would ever know whether she was putting on an act or not. But I could tell that she looked incredibly distressed at that time. Knowing that a classmate committed murder, hearing that she was a void, troubled by mixed feelings, no one knew what to say. Instead, we merely stood watching her. Look. I'll say one last thing. Shinji's plan, I don't think it was fundamentally in the wrong direction. If we had another way out, we wouldn't have gone- we wouldn't have agreed to the nas this nasty plan. I'm- Hajime felt it, and I did too. I'm sure that if we had met under different circumstances, we would have stayed as good friends. 
But while the plan is in action, all of the process means nothing. They're not being they're not being forced into it. I think she was just saying she, just, she felt like really committed to the goal. I'm trying to make sure I was like interpreting it right, but I'm pretty sure I am. That cannot be helped. No matter what you all do, the outcome is already set. Just like how I'm about to die despite my struggles. What did you say? The outcome is already set. That's why. Even though I will die as another sacrifice to the plan, you all should try working against it in whatever way you can believe in. That's all I can say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... Ugh! Em, are you seriously okay with that? It's your last chance! Can you tell us something to strike back at Mikado with, at the very least? Mm, please stop that. Your words of no use, like all the other voids. Miss Magarobi is already well aware of the state she's in. This is their only choice. They must put every bit of themselves into this plan. Say... Just what is this plan you keep mentioning? Nothing any of you voids say makes any sense. Now then. Well, it would not make much of a difference, even as Miss Magarobi or I told you our plan. Told our plan to everyone here. As Miss Magarobi said, the outcome is already set. Don't totally know what, what that means. Everything in here is only a step leading towards that outcome. Oh, amazing. In any case, I would like to show my respect for Miss Magarobi's towering intellect. Keeping calm in her current position isn't an easy task to do. Hmm? <laughs> Show respect to your intellect. Oh, I can see why Miss Magarobi enjoys these types of jokes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, the copyright thing in the beginning. It's also very brutal. You might want to do a real warning. Okay, I'm. Um, maybe I can put like a trigger warning in here. I'll do a second trial and execution. And then uh, I'll be sure to mute it. Since we're getting pretty close, I'll go ahead and add this. Don't know what the trigger warning is for, but I know it should be there. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this back up. But yeah, I'll mute it once it gets to like the monochro screen. I can see now why Miss Magrobi enjoys these types of jokes. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? We got it. It's just a for, for execution to do with fines. Thanks. I don't care. Just freaking kill me already. Uh, all right, all right. I'm glad to have worked with such an outstanding person. It's almost a shame that I have to execute her myself. But are you certain about this? The subject of death is not something to be taken lightly, even more so than you think. Ugh, man. I'm so nervous. Apparently this one, yeah, is going to be really, really brutal. Careful now. Only a few moments left. You'll be executed shortly after. Prepare to take in the full experience of the last moment of your life. Mm -hmm. It's just during the, okay, logo that there, after that there is any copyright. Okay, cool. I'll just try to time it. Hopefully it'll be okay. Oh, the excitement of the crowd has waned by now. It must be time for your curtain call. The execution. Let us commence. I prepared a special punishment for tonight's blackened. Miss Emma Magarobi, the ultimate actress. I'm... Die. Oh, oh, uh, I'm dying? I thought she was telling Monica to die. Hold on, don't start it yet. I think I'm scared. <laughs> I was gaslighting myself into thinking I wasn't scared, but now I realized I am. Then shall we start? Yeah, I get this. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, I feel so bad for her. Ah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we got a trauma dump though. It's punishment. Ah uh, shit! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, this is not a drill. Okay, let me go ahead and mute it. I'll unmute it once uh, execution starts. Ah! Emma has been found guilty. And get over here. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is what I, I gotta figure from the chat. This is what it was. Oh, is it the Harry Potter music? It kinda sounds like it. Oh. Team Void Pictures. Oh no! Oh, it is the Harry Potter soundtrack! Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay, I think the music's gone. Okay. Oh no. Poor Emma, dude. Let's see. Why so? Sweet? Oh no! Not the Joker brain! 
So am I in the woods? Oh, like the house in the woods or something? <gasps> okay, okay. I'm just chopping her up for a second. I like, like all her movies or something. It's okay, Emma. I forgive you. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> the Harry Potter thing execution. Oh! Ooh. Oh no! Ah, God, that one hurt. Already with a glass. <gasps> oh, dude, I remember this movie. It really was like Cabin in the Woods or something. It was in, in that movie too. Oh no! No, Emma! Jesus. Ah! Oh my god, dude! What the fuck? I was... Bro, they eat her alive or some shit? What the fuck? Oh my god. Guys, technically we didn't see her. She died off screen, so I think she's alive and well. I think she's alive and well. Everything is great. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that was such a crazy uh, reference. Uh, Emma in the Woods, so it was the cabin in the woods. That was my first thought when I saw the title, but I was like, it seemed kind of like a random uh, one to re I, I actually really like that movie. I know the movie is kind of like uh, hit and miss with a lot of people, but I like that movie a lot. I thought it was really interesting take on like the horror genre. Oh, thank you, gamer bro. Now with Emma gone, there's no in between me and Coke. <laughs> um, I got some bad news for you, gamer bro. Uh, I think Kokoro is in Mexico indefinitely. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for the donation. Man, that was fucked up, though. That room was so bloody, dude. Oh, God. Yeah, we're just gonna say that when it went dark, she flew to Mexico, and that was it. Oh, what a wonderful retirement to Mexico. <laughs> we love to see it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was like, so that was what the warning was for. <laughs> Take me a second. Oh, wow, Emma, that was such a great performance. Really made me believe she actually died. She is so talented, dude. Also, Friday 13th and the Ring movie references. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't quite catch all the references, but uh, yeah, that was cool. That was a definitely really interesting uh, execution. I liked it. I always thought uh, movie theme or like actress, that kind of theme for an execution would be pretty cool. I think they did a good job. Poor woman, you were never paid back for your efforts. <laughs> Farewell, Miss Emma Magarobi. May her remains, her remains, rest in peace. Uh, there's not really any remains left to uh, rest in peace, but you know. No way. Ah! Dear me, an excellent colleague, I must say, but you were nothing more than a predictable average being in the- uh, Fuck off, Mikado. So disgraceful. Pleading for mercy at the very last moment? How utterly disgraceful. You would do the same, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was just making Pokemitch Poke edits. That was dark. <laughs> for real. Is that Snorlax, Mitch? Oh, no. Thank you for the, uh, thanks for the donations. <laughs> How long do we have to keep doing this, Sniff? Sob? What? Damn it, damn it. Well, great. We down here. Can I leave now? Ugh, whatever. Uh, that was an okay execution, I guess. I like Tajimich is better. <laughs> Like, we're, there was no small monocro in that execution. Come on. A boring. It's a show by things. Uh, thank you, Matoshi, for the donation. I appreciate it. Hey, you, what gives you the right to act like that when you've contributed so little? Shouldn't you be using it by now? Mind your own business. Shobai, I don't care what you do, but aren't you in need of a way to get out of this place, too? I can look after myself. Quit bothering me. Now, that girl. Emma Magarobi, was it? I heard her speaking. Something about the girl she offed, Kokoro Mitsume. I can't help but wonder. Shit. Her death might have been a greater loss than I thought. Yeah. The hell? What was he talking about? She did like all the voids. She knew everything about the entire game. <laughs> she just died, you know? I think that's kind of what he was referring to, Nikkei. Seriously? He just left. Congratulations. Ma, it wouldn't have been full evening, everyone. I must thank you for your hard work. Our numbers may dwindle, but we cannot let our spirit falter. Let's return to our daily lives. Otherwise, those weary looks of yours may frighten away the sparks of joy. Foo foo foo. Okay, bye, Mikado. Bye, bestie. <laughs> He's a spiteful person, even till the end. The second class trial was over. The culprit of the second murder was executed. Regardless of who she really was, this was the death of a friend. <laughs> I, I mean... I mean, she was. I, I, 
yeah, I'll, I'll accept it. I'll accept it for Emma. I just feel like it's so funny when Danganronpa characters do that. I was like, it's kind of working for Void and stuff, but she did care about our friendship in the end, I think. So I'll, I'll accept death of a friend. We've been living with for the past few days. Oopsie, where are you? Like in Hajime's case, this wasn't a feeling I could just push aside. And all that remained in the courtroom was an extremely unpleasant feeling. Even Seska and Shinji, who had been our pillars of strength, kept silent as if they had lost their energy. <laughs> ah, sniff, sniff! Hey. Stop crying, Aroha. Guys, I don't know what to say, but we can't give up here. Show my ex buff monochrome confirmed. <laughs> oh god. Did I just create a new cursed ship? No. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Teroga. Think, man. What would they have said at a time like this? Damn it. Ah. Uh, everyone. Hey, well, I never thought I'd see the day where I'd agree with Mikado. Huh? Big sis? Ha. Uh, you guys. Aw. Ah, uh, Hibiki arc. We love to see it. Hibiki, please. Please stay in my room tonight, girl. I do not want you to be alone with Kanade. Huh? Hibiki. <laughs> What are you doing moving around like this? We can't let this beat us. Even Mikado knew that. Now let's hold our heads up and return to our daily lives. Or what? Do you want to stay all night in this creepy trial room, huh? What are you saying? Uh, what the heck? Did she suddenly get possessed by a spirit of Makoto Nike or something? I... Honestly, I'm feeling a lot of guilt right now. I want to try to forget all that crazy shit that Kanade did in the trial too. I'm indirectly responsible for both Jimmy and Emmy's murders. We threw the party that led to Rin Rin dying because I was complaining all the time. And I also helped with a concert, Suka Land, where Koro is murdered. What? Yeah, so what are you gonna burst into tears again? How original. Shut up, Nikki. Come on, Nikki. Be, be nice to her. She's trying to have a moment right now. And yeah, this is tough, but I keep being peevish. But if I keep being peevish and whiny, then I'll just, it'll just happen a third time. Another murder will happen because of me. No, at all. It's not your fault. Don't put the blame on yourself, you hear? In that case. No, it's okay. I realized that I have to change when Suka cheered me up last time. Oh, I'm happy to see the Kazuna voices. Uh, they get into chapter three. <laughs> Yay! Oh, thank you, Sean. Best girl. I like Ibiki a lot, too. I like both the twins a lot for different reasons, you know? They're both uh, very interesting. I like the way they, like, bounce off of each other, too. And even more so, I don't want to be a burden to the rest of you. Aw. <laughs> Uh, well, how about that? How can anyone say no to such a heartwarming speech from Little Bicky? Who are you calling Little, huh? Right. Right. What Emma said confirms my thoughts. The voids are... Attention. The voids are victims, too. Well, I don't know about their goal. I do know that the bonds we made with them over the past few days were real. To Lulu. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, okay, okay, okay. Emma did like us. Emma did like us. I think Hajime probably liked Shinji. Yeah, I think he said he liked Shinji too. Trio, Rohan, and Shinji, the holy idiot trio. So true, so true. Thank you, uh, Crystal Land, for the donation. Oh, and thank you, Frisbee, for the donation too. So if we just find another way to help them, we could solve everything. Yeah, that's it. Okay, time to find this other way. If we work together, we can save the voids and ourselves. Let's try it again. I know it didn't work out last chapter, but uh, let's uh, let's try one more time. I, Shinji Kasai, I promise you that I will never, ever give up. Everyone. It seemed as if Hibiki pulled us out of the bleak moment we were in. If you think about it, wouldn't she be the person who changed the most upon coming to this island? After going through seri a series of events, Hibiki had now developed a mature attitude that moved everyone's hearts. Yeah, she's developing. Hopefully, hopefully she's not gonna die. <laughs> die this chapter. I feel like character development's not a good sign. I thought she was gonna die this chapter though, man. With the way it was going. With a few exceptions, of course. <sighs> Freaking Nikkei, he is so, so negative. Like hell we will. What did you say? What? If you're going to be all buddy-buddy after this, be my guest, but I'm out. That worked out great for Kokoro, so I'm gonna try it this time. I'm gonna do this by myself now. Huh? Huh, Nikki, what's with you all of a sudden? What? It's not all of a sudden. Didn't I tell you before the trial, blindly trusting one another is just a recipe for disaster? I mean, like, I'm saying he's being, like, pessimistic and stuff, but honestly, I'd probably feel the same way. 
I feel like I would go along with the group, but I would be very suspicious, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Frosticate. I think Ibiki might be the literal last person I would have expected a hope, a hope speech from. Ah, uh, and she did it anyways! Uh, we love her. I like Ibiki a lot. She definitely is, um, you know, like, uh, developing a lot, and I appreciate that. Thanks for the, uh, donation. I appreciate it. We tried it twice now. Both times into the same freaking way. Shinji said voids are victims, too. But so what? That doesn't make them any less of a criminal. A chrono criminal scum. <laughs> I feel myself getting possessed by the ghost of Kenjo. And we don't know when they're gonna come after us either. Well, you all have fun with that. If you want if you want to still call them friends and whatnot, be my guest. But keep me out of this. I'm done. Are you for real? What? You made all that effort to join our group? And now you're throwing it away just like that? What about the friendship speeches? Are you hiding something from us? Could you be in void? This is pointless. Think whatever you want. It's just that I can't trust that your naive approach will work. It did literally fail two times in a row, so I, I get it. From now on, I'm flying solo like Shobai. Good luck with that strange jury guy. Later. Aw, Nikkei, no! Ah. Uh, uh, geez, what's up with that guy? Why is he suddenly acting like that? Please. Suddenly? No, Nick said so himself. Even before the murder, he had already had some gripes with our situation. Hemp, he can do whatever he wants. It's not like I wanted him with us or anything. Baka. That said, we should be going now. Now then. Right, we'll think of what to do next when morning comes. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, like, I'm not sure how you guys would act in a killing game. You guys can let me know in the, com or the chat, actually, because I'm kind of curious. But I feel like in this kind of situation, I would honestly have the mindset of Nikkei, but probably still want to keep an eye on the group. Like, so I'd probably still act as a part of the group, but I would be, like, very, very suspicious. I feel like, I don't know, I just don't know if it's really good, like, to be by yourself in this situation. I feel like it's almost better to be in a group because there's more witnesses and stuff, so I'd probably try to surround myself with people all the time, but I would not trust anybody in the group, and I would not be singing, like, friendship speeches, the friendship songs of the voids being like, we can fix them, you know what I mean? That's just, I don't know, that's just me, though. Roha, you feeling any better? Yeah, I'm sorry for the mess earlier. Uh, Yuki, we should go. Yuki? Uh, oh, you okay? What's wrong? You were spacing out. Uh... You remember Bing Utsuro, Yuki? <laughs> Is it all coming back to you? Yuyu was a big fan of Emmy. I know how you feel, but try to cheer up for Emmy, okay? What? It's not because of that. Oh. oh, you ran off? Huh, did you? Did I say something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, Looks like a few people are still a bit shaken. It's understandable, though. I promise it. Staying positive will pay off in the long run, I promise you. So for now, let's bear this hardship together. Come on. Okay, let's go up, Kanade. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Freaking Kanade. <laughs> this isn't how Hibiki's supposed to be. She's supposed to rely on me and be a bitch. Hey, Kanade. What are you doing, Kanade? Oh god. Oh no, is she gonna go off on her? Kanade, you're gonna keep your big sis waiting? Come on, let's go. I'm sorry. Sorry, big sis, I'm coming. Okay, I thought she was gonna I thought she was gonna stay in her demented mode that she entered in, in the trial. Our moment of delight was cut short by Nikkei, followed by a few others that looked and looked tense and uneasy. Oh, it looks like, uh, it looks like Yuki's still here. Oh, thank you, Magical. I'll be acting dumb to hide the fact that I wouldn't know what the heck is going on. Yeah, I feel like probably trying to act stupid would be a good idea. <laughs> would be a good idea if you were in a death game. Try not to... Don't want to be like Kokoro, you know, because then... Be like a really big target. Thank you for the donation, by the way. How would this affect our group? Only time would tell. Although we were all worried about the same problem, none chose to verbalize it. And we finally decided to get rest for the day. <clears throat> Back in my room. It's the night after the second trial. We all unanimously agreed to decide what to do tomorrow after some sleep. Emma. Void. We don't have any clues about them. What is their objective? For what reason did they come up with a plan like this and carry it out? Continuously turning over in my mind questions I could never understand, I descended into the abyss of the night. An ocean of sleep. Oh my god, is Void Theater gonna come up? I hope so. I wanna see it be like a little Emma doll now. That'd be so cute. Da da da. Oh yes, we have to be more careful from now on. Do my best to look for that thing you told me about. Be careful. Act normal and void. And don't let them find out. 
Yes, I know. Just count on big sis for everything. I told y'all she was suspicious! Everybody told me she wasn't! But she is! Mm -hmm. I gotta rewatch that one, dude. I gotta rewatch that one. I knew it! I fucking knew it! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Maybe it's too obvious now. <laughs> too <laughs> I'll have to check up on that, dude. I'll have to check up on that, but I told you guys! I I knew I was right! I knew my sus radar was right, man! About to see your <laughs> chicken. <laughs> man, that's crazy. I kind of thought I was Delulu, to be totally honest. <laughs> I would never trust anyone. I honestly would probably never leave my room. I just wouldn't want to be able to trust anyone with a chance to be a killer. Yeah, it'd be really hard to trust anybody, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> dude. Oh, God. I think I might be right about Setsuka being sus. Well, like, okay, so my you know, reasoning for finding her sus is just that she's setting up all these, like, events that people keep, like, dying at, you know? Like, she set up the first one in chapter one, the party, she set up the concert in this one. It just, I don't know, man, it seems a little sus, and now, obviously, I got more reason to actually suspect her, but I felt like it was a pretty good cover-up if she was evil to have all these, like, parties for morale, you know what I mean? Big sis, yeah, no, I'm emotionally clocked out now. <laughs> for real. Thank you, Phoenix, for the donation. <laughs> oh, God. Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait till next time for Void Theater. Officially reached the end of the chapter. Further chapters come out, please load the save you just made. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll literally have to see you next time. Thank you for your infinite amount of patience, and we hope to enjoy. Hope you enjoyed your time playing. If you found any bugs or problems while playing, please report it in the Troubleshooting and Bugs channel. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you for playing chapter two and see you in the future for the rest of the game. So uh, this is the end of the dub, which man, I'm gonna miss the dub so much, especially during those mini games. But they, you guys did such a great job in the dub. I gotta say like, I really, really enjoyed the actress who played Emma in this trial too. She did such a good job like uh, portraying the emotion. Now she was the ultimate uh, actress. Uh, but I really enjoyed the dub. I think you guys all did a really good job. I wish the rest of the game was dubbed, but I uh, appreciate all your efforts thus far. And uh, looking forward to uh, replaying the game whenever you guys do end up dubbing it. But yeah, thanks guys for that. I appreciate it. Be sure to check out the Super Danganronpa, another uh, two dub group too. I have their links in the description. And uh, be sure to support them, send them nice messages. And uh, I don't know if they're able to donate or not, but... Uh, if we're able to donate. I think like fan game stuff is kind of weird. It's so hard, man. I wish that uh, I wish that we could uh, donate for fan game stuff, but I don't think you can. But uh, anyways, thanks guys for uh, working on the dub with love. The Super Dong Rapa Another Team English Dub or Super Dong Rapa Another Two English Dub Team. Ah, they did such a good job, dude. Uh, I guess we will have to wait for the uh, theater for the next one. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get my save file and put in like the subbed version of the game, and then we will continue on with uh, chapter three. And, uh, in the sub version, which, man, oh, God, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard doing a rebuttal showdown. <laughs> oh, man, I feel so happy. I feel so happy that I called the sub good thing. Everybody said I was crazy. Everybody in the chat was gaslighting me. They were saying I was wrong. Best girl would never do this. I'm telling you, she's got something hidden. <laughs> Every time I was reading her lines now, I just, like, was thinking about closing my eye while doing it. <laughs> like, uh, what she does. Oh, man. Thanks, guys, for uh, coming to the stream. We will have another stream on Sunday. And I'm going to work hard to try to get videos back up again on, like, a like a regular time. I might have a few, like, uh, chill videos, just, like, let's play stuff to uh, hopefully build up a log. Because I'd really like to try to eventually get to doing, like, two streams per week. One day, I just need to have, like, a log of regular videos, too. But um, I also want to uh, stream Year to the Shine soon. Oh, man, I really got to catch up with that. And um, also the Hikikomori route for Amori. I need to do those. They're like my two quick project, <laughs> two pr quick project things. But uh, I don't know. I just, all I know, all I know is that Setsuko is uh, sus in that scene. And I was sus of her and everybody thought it was crazy. <laughs> everybody thought it was crazy, man. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I will see you guys on Sunday, normal time, 2 p.m. Central Time. And we'll start chapter three. The fun chapter. <laughs> Always the fun chapter. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming.
Alexia.